All right, am I finally live now? <laughs> Do we finally fix everything? Let me check. It says we're live. Okay, it's, it's showing you're live. Yes, it says but... I'm live, finally. <laughs> okay, I see it, I see it. Okay. Um, you need to change the thumbnail. It's still showing... Um, Shoot. It still shows Legends Arceus, doesn't it? One. Yeah. Uh, oh, Frel. Oh, fudge monkeys. Oops. Nope. Not At spike least approved. You're lying. <laughs> there we go. Not sp not the thumbnail from the video I just posted this morning. There we go. Okay. That should do it. Yeah, I saw one. Alright. Okay. There we go. That should do it. <laughs> And, uh, uh, I know there'll be in the chat yet, but everyone say hi to my friend TVC while she's here. Hi. And we're gonna go ahead hi. and jump into this. That was a loud sound effect. I heard that. I really heard that. Uh, let's... Sound effect. Let me see. Yeah, huh, I don't look... think my voice is coming through the computer. Yeah. Oh, settings. Okay. General text. No, speed. never mind. <laughs> oh, oh, you get different. <gasps> you can switch between English and French voices. Nice. Aww. Oh, and. Oh, R button. Okay. Global volume, music volume, sound volume, voices. Yes, we want sound. We want to. Okay, yeah, turn those sound effects down a little bit. Yeah, voices all the way up, so we want to be able to hear that. And then controls for Marinette's neighborhood. Okay. Uh, so, typical controls press A to interact with stuff. Do we not use X, Y, and B? We can move the camera around. Pause. L button for menu. Z, R to switch characters. Oh, we are going to be ignoring that once we get access to Cat Noir. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to switch to him, oh, and need, it's just going to be him. For some of I like the loading icon. That's cute. I'm glad that it's not just Ladybug, it's also Cat Noir. Oh no, you'll never know. Oh, oh, oh. My love can only grow. Oh, oh, oh. And when the sun goes down, that's when I become. I like the... I like the music. <laughs> In the daytime, I'm Marinette. Oh, just a normal girl the intro. with a normal life. But there's something about me that's only possible because of who Ladybug is to the people of Paris. A lot of people see her as a symbol of hope. As someone who would never give up. It may feel like wow, a burden sometimes, but <laughs> I guess it comes with the territory. At least they fixed we her invisible hair tie. To up to. Someone who helps us get a grip on things, especially in hard times. Someone who reminds us that whenever we seem to lose hope, giving up is not the solution. Also, this is season the two. News, it's just the news. Today, oh, Mayor hey, Nadia oh. launches his new Paris cleaning strategy. Nino. Supported by a squad of new and expensive innovative cleaning robots. Mayor Bourgeois seems to be intent on uh -oh. putting an end to, and I quote, an unsightly and stinky flying rodent problem. Oh, Mr. boy. Pigeon 68. Sixty-eighth uh, time. So you can take your revenge on Mayor Bourgeois and his shameful robots. They're in with the funny I'll number. I'll bring you, Ladybug. And it's the sixty-eighth time they've akumatized. That he's akumatized, Mr. Pitchin. Breaking news: Mayor Bourgeois. Which is that continuity error? error. If this is season two and he's been akumatized sixty-eight times, you know, in season four he's been akumatized sixty-two times. Yeah. I guess it was season three. three. No, Once again, Paris is relying Never mind. on our beloved yeah. superheroes, Ladybug and Cat Noir. Mr. Pigeon again? 
Yes, Mr. Pigeon, again. The sit for the 68th time. Yeah, we'll get used to it, Ladybug, because by the time you become Guardian, he'll be akumatized 71 times. <laughs> so I wonder if this will be where she makes her promise of uh, looking for a way to keep him from getting akumatized again. Because when we... Because in Mr. Pigeon 72, they actually say that she made a promise to him to try and find a way for him to not get akumatized anymore. It's just sad, the mental state of the man that gets akumatized 60 plus times. Oh, we already get access to Cat Noir, yes! Ooh, its cataclysm is already active. Oh, look at the tail, though. That is a nice detail. Hey, there's a point towards oh. the graphics. I'd also like how as soon as Ladybug dropped, you said nope. <laughs> <laughs> I like the I, I like the tail. <laughs> I like I like the the tail movement. That's really nice. Target an enemy. Oh, the left stick, and attack by pressing Y. Okay. Hey, hey! Oh, okay. Oh, we get hearts. Okay, so what are these then? Jump by pressing B. Press it again to perform a double jump. Ooh, we get access to double jump right away. Ooh, okay. What's X do? Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess it won't tell us. I like how immersive the world kind of is, but at the same time, it's funny how to stop you from going off to areas, they put a literal gate there. <laughs> it's literally gatekeeping. It's like, I'd rather have invisible walls stop me, but don't make me actively feel like I'm in a cage. Like, Cat Noir is already blocked off as it is. <laughs> True. Although, really, there's your invisible wall. It's like, it looks like you could um... go down the stairs. Yeah, because he can jump high enough. I was like, can he can he jump over that? Oh my god. Oh, wait. <laughs> don't go do, don't find glitches on day one, please. What glitch? No, oh. like, don't jump through the wall. You know, like FNAF, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. If you try and jump through the invisible walls, you can find glitches. Well, I'm, I'm at least on the van- on the rail <laughs> Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Back to mission objective. What did they say you should do again? It's supposed to go up the roof here. I was supposed to be. Are you sure? Oh! He <laughs> sneezed! Aw, oh, just the once. Aw, oh, I wanted to. I, I wanted to hear his cute sneeze again. Stop it! <laughs> Oh, it's a plant. I was like, wait, is there a power-up down there? But no, that's just a plant. I saw green, it's like, ooh, power-up? The Akuma! It must be in his bird I wonder how many hours this gameplay is. Oh my god, jumping through the roofs of Paris. That sounds that that sounds that looks so fun. Yeah. The background models look decent at least. So yeah, there's your invisible yeah. walls yeah, that you were asking do. for. <laughs> I was just asking for them. I just saw gates, and I was like, well, that's one way to tell somebody they're not supposed to go there. Yeah, we are. Imagine if this was open world. Orbs everywhere. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, and I missed that. Oh, dang it. It's like the orbs are leading the way. Okay, thank you, Chaton. It's like. I'm just gonna yeah. come... hmm? An open world Breath of the Wild type of game for this, where you're just <laughs> able to jump anywhere and go anywhere. That, would, that <laughs> sounds beautiful. I guess that's what happens if you uh, if you fall. I was actually oh, trying no. to. <laughs> <laughs> and then I fell again. <laughs> okay, okay. There we I go. I guess lives don't matter. Yeah. Oh, Tiki is very partial to macarons. Okay, but wh where's the cheese for plag? Where's the cheese for plag? I see macarons, but 
Where is where is Plague's cheese? Justice for Plague. Well, you already transformed at him. So. Yeah, but the game is assuming that I'm that I'm as Ladybug right now. Oh, and dodge with B. That okay? That's good because that'll be familiar for me. So now we get to the tutorial. Okay. Ah! It's so it's teaching me how to dodge. Whoops. Ah! Okay. Ah, oh, these birds do not like this cat. Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's like, stop picking on the kitty! One point. <laughs> I think you dodge. Uh, yeah, you, you you dodge a little too quickly, but you got the hang of it now. Yeah. So yeah, I, like this. Like if this does end up being a short game, then we're gonna do challenge runs and stuff today. But. Uh, like, I want to do an initial playthrough where it's, like, no challenge runs at all, just for the sake of, uh, yeah, I want to enjoy the game and stuff. If you're lost, follow the I yellow like marker. Yeah, thank you, I got that. I like how you're already saying, okay, this might be a short game. <laughs> Wait, how much did you pay for it? I paid 40 bucks because I got it on sale. Remember, I told oh, you I, I found think... it, was on, it was on sale while on pre-order. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's then I realized um, if it's, I think now it's like sixty bucks or something. No, uh, it's the the main price is fifty dollars. Oh. Okay. Oh, the, we got some graffiti on the wall here. Oh, an artiste. Uh, I can't tell what that says. I think it's stitches or is Japanese. I mean, it could be French. True, true, true. I was like, wait, what was the objective? Uh, hidden, hidden power up thing. What are you collecting? What are these things? I don't know. I missed the pop up. <laughs> I was pressing B to jump when the pop up appeared. I like the fact that this thing gives you an arrow because we would have been lost. <laughs> Ooh, that was so cool. Tricky. Ah. Oh. Uh. Oh, That's come on. That's a long jump. I think. <laughs> and I and it's not letting me rotate the camera. It said I could rotate the camera with the uh, right stick, but it's not actually rotating. I think maybe you should jump from the other roof. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, because I think you can rotate it from oh, there. Oh, there we go. And then, yeah. Oh. It just seems like they wanted you to do a long jump. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, parry. But I, <laughs> I was... Okay, so it's basically reflecting the attack. Hello, Inky Arts. Welcome to the stream. So yeah, this is essentially just the tutorial I'm part. Just too good at this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my boy, put your ego away. I mean, somebody's gotta pop prop him up, though, because Ladybug sure as heck won't. <laughs> but yeah, like, you, like uh, one of the challenge runs that I want to do is, like, I want to do Can You Beat the Game with Just Cat Noir? And I'll probably end up doing that with this anyways, but, uh, oh, oh, that's probably not supposed oh, to happen. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, like, I just wonder what Ladybug's movesets are. <laughs> because it just seems like, okay, this is a Cat Noir only run. <laughs> for the next three runs. So we get a yo-yo. Yeah. Oh, that's adorable. So, Shat, he holds his baton out to reflect, and she does a yo-yo move to reflect. Oh. 
Is this cataclysm just always on? I think so. Oh, uh, it looks like she's got a little, uh, little Speak. red streak behind her. Wait, let me see. Kind of faint. Yeah. We can get to him. Let's go. You can perform a super jump at a, at specific spots by pressing A. Okay, so that's here. Okay, and she uses her yo-yo. I'm sure. Oh. No rest for the weary. Okay, and let's see. So, how, let's see, Cat Noir. Yeah, Shaft. I think it is a baton. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's so faithful to the show. That's so cool. Yeah. I think they just switched you between levels. Like, that's an interesting way of doing it. And there was no, like, load screens. Mm hmm. Because I was wondering, since we started the game, everything has just been one continuous loop. <laughs> Today is the day final the boss time. Take a stand against those heartless Parisians who ignored them for too long. Now, give me your miraculous ladybug and cat noir, or else. Wait, how are the pigeons turning into robots? You won't get me this time. All right, it's X to Perry. Pigeons will reign supreme. Oh, okay. She uses her yo-yo to parry. You won't get me this time. Like as a shield. Yep. Oh damn. That's okay. Uh, ladybug, watch where you're hitting there, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you just murdered him in broad daylight. <laughs> At least, uh, and it oh. switched to cat. Oh, oh, he sneezed. Oh, you got some button mashing there, too. I think oh. those are called quick time events, I think? I can't remember. Yeah. Like your reserve army has just fled the battle zone, Mr. And I think they made Cat Noir do something, so even if you had just played as Ladybug, mm -hmm. it forced you to switch you to him. <laughs> it's the, like... the developers of the game are giving him more screen time than the show. Your days are <laughs> over, Ladybug and Cat Noir! Yep. I think Cat Noir parries Whoops. better than Ladybug. I think I was supposed to. We say in such circumstances again? Oh no! <laughs> and then it is the smog hawk moth. <laughs> Damn you, you, Keith! Why you gotta make that? <laughs> oh, Keith's voice is so good for hawk moth. Oh wait, he said something? Oh yeah, he's like, "What do we say in situations like this?" Oh yes, game over. Oh god. <laughs> But Keith's voice, though, like, mm. I don't know why he's so good at playing horrible f animated fathers, but <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I think I see why Emily uh, fell for him. If uh, if if I, Sorry, Ladybug. It's... we gotta tackle Mr. Pigeon. Meow. <laughs> we gotta tackle Mr. Pigeon. Meow. But uh, if, if I met a guy uh, who was mentally unstable, but he had a voice as sexy as Keith Silverstein's, I'd probably fall for him, too. <laughs> Today is the day the pigeons Like, if, if villain, why sound hot? Heartless Parisians who ignored them for too long. Now, give me your miraculous ladybug and cat noir, or else... Ah. Will reign supreme. ah, dang it. That was fast. <laughs> oh, he said something different that time. I was just gonna skip it, but he said something different that time. Well, I guess it keeps it interest. Yeah. That means I don't need to- I don't want to skip it every time. <laughs> oh. I can't believe how fast I died, though. So I guess we'll see uh, what happens when you, if you get to that point uh, as Cat Noir. Does Ladybug do something since I was playing as Cat Noir instead of her? What? Oh. Get out of here, I bug. I don't think I heard that. Oh, 
I was at, I was, cause you know how we, we had the cutscene of Cat Noir using his cataclysm and stuff? Since we were playing as Ladybug, yeah, yeah. I'm wondering if that changes if you start the game, start the battle as who ignored them for too long. as Cat Noir. Now, Ladybug. Me your miraculous oh, true, true, true. Cat Noir, or else. All right, Legends Arceus experience, don't fail me now. You won't get me this time. Got him. I'm surprised. Not. Tutorial. <laughs> what are they? Pigeon stunts? You won't get me this time. Pigeons will reign supreme. So yeah, I didn't start hitting him and I need when I needed to. Okay, yeah, it's still Cat Noir using his cataclysm. I guess that kind of flows a little bit, where it's like, okay, you're just doing the job on your own. Yeah. They really just assumed you'd play the thing as Ladybug and didn't even try and create an alternate of what if. Looks like the reserve army has just fled the battle zone, Mr. Pigeon. <laughs> Damn, the construction is really loud where I am. Sorry if you can hear that. I actually can't, so... I, I've Thank been God. Yeah, sometimes I can hear it in your videos, but other times I can't, so... I don't, I don't know if my, if my microphone sometimes just takes pity on me and just goes, Okay, we, we won't I let the public hear that. Oh, and now we get Ladybug's Lucky Charm. Okay. So I guess the game just forces you to switch. Huh? What am I supposed to do with this? Oh. Oh, well, I guess. <laughs> she's still saying, what am I supposed to do with this? Got it. Oh. I guess it was a candy or something? Or gum, maybe? Probably gum. At least they slow things down. Oh! Oh! Okay, that was actually really clever. Yeah, so it was gum, so... Yeah, uh, like them. Yeah. Like them. That Akuma looked more like a Mega Akuma. You, Akuma. But... Well, I guess there's not that much of a difference. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't okay. sparkling, so... No, I was keeping an gotcha. eye on your YouTube page. It refused to change it to the current Miraculous thumbnail, but it just did it, and I was like, okay, thank you. Because you just going to put more one. <laughs> yeah, YouTube's what weird. Happened? Where am I? Woo, we got 10 people watching! Yay! Again, I love this loading screen. <laughs> Oh, and since there are a bunch of new people here, just so you guys know, we do have a uh, game that we like to play. So if you have water or anything to drink, whenever you take a sip, call out for a water break to remind me to drink some water. I'm going to start one right now. Water break. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm also going to have a little bit of my breakfast, too. So far, so good. The game seems very fun mm -hmm. and immersive. The animation's gonna be a bit more smooth, but oh, we saw Marinette. <laughs> it's like, hi, I'm Marinette. Nope, back to the ladybug and cat noir. So, so, so she's just now questioning the orbs that they've just been picking up. Like we've picked up a hundred and twenty of them. <laughs> I wonder what these orbs are. Any ideas, Cat Noir? Not a clue. Do you think they have anything to do with the miraculous? Could be. I'll go check on Master Fu. I'm pretty sure he'll have a wise, correct what? answer to, to what it is. Master Fu cracking wisecracks? That's that's Cat Noir's job. Do you have any I like Marinette's model better than mm -hmm. Ladybugs. Yeah. And again, I'm glad they fixed that, uh, the invisible hair tie glitch from the trailer. 
Do you have any idea of what that orb could be, Tiki? I... I don't. It's the first time I've seen one in my entire life. Okay, I'd better go Hi, check in on Master Fu then. Hopefully he'll have a straight answer to what the, to what it is. <laughs> now we come back here. Can I switch to... Ah, yes! <laughs> Although, I think the game... I think the story wants me to be Marinette to walk up to him, but... We're breaking the, the, the <laughs> timeline. We create our own canon. Yes. They did a good... I'm just gonna look at the at the Marinette model for a little bit, but... They did a good job. Uh... Get it close. Oh, yeah, they even got all the detailing on her purse. That's nice. And all the stitching and stuff on her jeans. I can't wait for somebody to reverse engineer the game so the model can be used. Her, her feet are kind of weird, though. <laughs> the way they're pointed. Like, her, her feet look I think like... her default... Um... Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to make her do her marionette stand. Oh! Idle animation! We need to see Adrian's. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you look so weird from the front! I think it's also the fact that it's in the shadow. What the? Like, his side part is in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing that too. It's a little too close to the middle there. Okay, he does a little toe tap. Okay. Oh, they... I wonder how how Master will react to Adrian speaking to him. Will the game have an excuse to, for him to say, "Oh, I'm just an old man," and then when you come <laughs> as Marinette, he tells the truth or something? I'm so I curious. Mean, I mean, if this is season three, then Adrian does know Master Fu, so. Uh... Adrian is the guardian now. Oh my gosh, is it not even going to let me talk to him because I'm Adrian? Oh no! Oh! No! no. no. Oh. It's so not fair! How dare! The, the Marinette bias is <laughs> real! <laughs> it's revenge! They caught us, they knew, they it, knew we'd try that too. It's revenge for letting him win the poll by... by, se by 74%. <laughs> <laughs> Marinette, I saw you and Cat Noir fighting against Mr. Pigeon on TV. Are you all right? Him? He's back to feeding his pigeons. No worries. As for me, I'm concerned about a strange object I found on the way. Where did you find that orb, Marinette? Was Mr. Pigeon after it? Not that I know of. He was more interested in taking our miraculous as usual. Have you ever seen this orb, Master? I haven't, but I know exactly what this is. These orbs are linked with an arcane miraculous discipline, actually. The aim of this discipline is to grant the worthy is to grant the worthy holder of the miraculous a fantastic power with a great threat when a great threat is coming close. A great threat? What do you mean by that? The presence of these orbs doesn't bode well. It means that evil is lurking. Something is coming. You may you must stay alert, Marinette. And above all, you should go and retrieve all the orbs while there's still time. When you have gathered enough, come see me again. I will use the orbs to power up your skills. That way, Ladybug and Cat Noir may have a chance to keep Paris safe once again. Mr. All that pumpkin. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. I was, I was gonna say, dude, there's always evil lurking. Hawkmoth is literally there. Oh wow. Gami is literally has taken over chat. <laughs> uh, Mr. Pigeon singing that song from Phineas and Ferb. Uh, the pigeon one. I don't remember a pigeon one. I remember the squirrel song. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Basic damage. You know, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and put a bunch of stuff into health first. Uh, energy. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, and we can I power... think you bought something. 
Okay. Ricochet and spinner. Uh, I'm oh, I can't... I admit, a lot more stuff into this game than I initially thought. I can't back out of it? I, I can't undo the points? Okay. Well, okay. I guess I'm... I guess I'm stuck with that. Kwame Shop and Powers. Oh, hi, Tiki and Plague. Opening Attack Pigeon. Marinette Story. Oh, okay. Buildings Research. Ooh. Okay, so this is what you spend oh, the macarons no. on. Microtransactions, run! Well, no, these are uh, the macarons that we were collecting. <laughs> No, I know. I just saw a box, and the next thing I thought of was loot boxes. <laughs> nope. That's really cool, though. So, basically, you can collect the macarons to unlock extra stuff that's, like, uh, like behind-the-scenes stuff, and that's really cool. Making of... <laughs> that's really cool. Okay, and let's see here. Oh, powers. Okay, yeah, we saw that before. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to... Uh, I, I kind of wanted to check out some of the other stuff, but okay. I guess we've now got extra health. <laughs> you can never go wrong with more health. Yep. Ah, oh no, I need to step away from a bit. I think I'll catch you here like in another five hours. You good? Yeah. You have a good Chat, one. Chat, take company for me. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Alright. Which means that I should probably... Oh. Oh, it's Adrian. <laughs> hey, Marinette. What's up? Adrian! You turtled me! I mean, stutter! Steamer! Stars startled me! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, me? I know it sounds crazy, but my father decided to throw a party at my place for my birthday. <gasps> Wait. It's been a year? Okay, now that doesn't match up with the timeline, because... Um, okay, yeah, just more evidence of, of the timeline being all bonkers. Like, oh my gosh, he's turning 15! And of course, you're, and of course, you're invited. Invited? Me? Me? As in Marinette? Me? Of course. I want all my friends to be there. I already told Nino, who told Alia, it's going to be awesome. Alia knows. Anyway, anyway, your father is such a class act. He must be so happy. Actually, it was Natalie's idea. You know, my father's assistant. I kind of overheard her tell my father he needed to nurture his parent-child bond. Aww. Natalie, once again, being the best parent in Adrian's life. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mouthful, but I can't imagine how cool a birthday party at the Aggressed Mansion can be. And this time, there's no akumatized villain. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the first time we'll have a birthday party there, actually. Let's just hope no one gets akumatized this time. Yes, that's exactly what I was saying! Welcome to Marinette's Neighborhood. Uh, you can explore its surroundings to discover its history and other secrets. Yep. Uh, oh yeah! Yeah, that would be awesome if we could see... Uh, as Adrian talk to Chloe. That would be awesome if we could see uh, Plague giving Adrian a Quagatama. Oh, there's one of the Adrian's ads. Uh, don't forget to see Master Fu to increase your hero powers or buy treasure from the Kwamis. So does that mean we can actually talk to Master Fu now as Adrian? Yes. Does he say anything? Oh, he didn't say anything. Pick whatever you need. You can just imagine Plague doing the dance <laughs> they do when they make Quagatamas. Yes. I am glad that the Quagatama's gonna uh, finally make another appearance in the show, too. 
That's all I'll say in case anyone isn't keeping up with the trailers and spoilers, but... I'll try not to get too much and too heavy into spoilers because I know that uh, not everyone's going to be a, sub uh, a subscriber, so... Hey! Why you switch me back to Marinette? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 Switch me back. Switch me back. Switch me back. <laughs> How dare. How dare they do that? How dare. I want to play as my son. Oh, hello. Interact. Adrian, please tell your father I love his latest collection. Such great taste. <laughs> and make sure we look both ways before crossing the street. I doubt there are any cars in this game. Oh, hey, I recognize this background character. I can't talk to them, but... Oh, there's... Is that the thunder... Is that the bullet train? I almost said thunder train. It almost looks like the bullet train being taken over by a Heartless. <laughs> I played too much Kingdom Hearts. Oh, we got another person we could talk to. Hey, Adrian, what's this week's program? Photo shoots? A bit of catwalking? Catwalking? Uh, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, right, bottle. <laughs> uh, you just finished the game. It was fun. Wish you could have played as Reyna as well, but oh well. Yeah, especially since this does seem to take place during Season 3. Did someone say pigeon bots? Or should I cut down on coffee? <laughs> yeah? Uh, have they released new episodes of Disney Plus? Not yet. They're probably waiting for new episodes to air. Ooh! Hi, Kagami. They're probably gonna wait till they finish uh, airing uh, Season 5A. Hi, Kagami. Hello, Adrian. What a beautiful day. Okay, so I guess that's all she says. I know we're going the wrong way, but Chloe's that way. Wait a minute. Oh, we can't go in the street. We can only cross the crosswalk. Safety first, at least. Oh, we can't go in the manhole, either. Oh, it's Penny! Hi, Penny! How am I supposed to organize Jagged's concert when he's not even here? Oh, and is that the... Oh, oh, okay. It's the hotel. I was like, oh, is that the hotel? Yeah, it is. Awesome. We can actually go up here. So I'm guessing there's probably going to be something going on up here with Chloe at some point. Yeah, those were pretty cool. But just a reminder that this is my first time playing this, so... Yeah, we can't cross the street at all. Oh, hey, Tom! And that's not supposed to be Roger, is it? Because he's... So that would be, like, the only person who's off-model if that's supposed to be Roger. Sacha. Oh, I think this is supposed to be the quote-unquote racist cop that, uh is going to try to arrest Sabine, uh, who doesn't really say anything racist. Uh, please use the crosswalk when crossing the street, Adrian. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hi, Tom. Hello, Adrian. What a beautiful day. I'm sure he probably says something different to Marinette, but it's like, hmm. Maybe we should switch to Marinette to talk to everybody just to see what they say to Marinette, but yeah. Oh, and there's Francois Dupont. Oh, and we got uh, someone out here. Uh, Melanie is her name. Okay. What's the hurry? School hasn't started yet. You're not a teacher. Oh, it's not school time yet. Oh, we can't actually go in there? That's too bad. Uh, looks like they did a pretty good job with the model of the school, too. I might have to use all this stuff, because I want to go back to building in The Sims 4, making all the miraculous locations. I guess that's as far as we can go. But uh, I might have to reference this game for The Sims 4 because this will actually have like actual 3D models and be built specifically for 3D. Uh, unlike the show where it's built specifically for a show so they can have the dimensions be all weird and stuff. So looks like, ah, oh, Troublemaker. Looks like we got a Troublemaker poster over here and it's blocking an Adrian's ad. So that's interesting. 
I am probably gonna end up missing fast travel. Oh, okay, basic movement. Yeah, we've been moving for a while now, thank you. Oh, there's Chloe, okay. So I guess we just went around full circle. Hi, Chloe. Good morning, Chloe. What's up? Uh, wow, what was that? Uh, something just happened. I often get photocrowd without any warning, but usually it's by fans. You don't get it, Adrikins. This is for my art project I need to deliver to Mr. Mon... Monletang? To Mr. Monletang. The assignment was to capture the moment. Utterly, ridiculously vague. So this is why you walk around taking pictures with everyone? Yes, it's actually a lot of fun! <laughs> well, it's a change from your usual selfies. So Also, it's nice to see you opening up to people. It suits you well. Marinette's house. You can access Marinette's room by talking to her father, Tom. Oh, hi, Nino! Nino, find Alia and ask her about Adrian's birthday party. Hey, dude, can't wait for your birthday party. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, and please don't get akumatized again this time. Marinette's room contains all the treasures you have unlocked during your adventure. Okay. Hello, Adrian. What a beautiful day. Uh, we're supposed to be able to talk to Tom to access Marinette's room. Can we only go up as Marinette? Oh my gosh, we can only go up as Marinette, can we? Hey, Dad! Marinette, is there anything I could do for you? I'd like to see my scrapbook. I'm here to check my scrapbook. Oh, I'll give you some privacy then. Okay. So we get artwork, music, friends. Okay. Lots of pages here, but so I guess we gotta fill this out. Stickers, uh, ornithologist, okay. And then moments. So can we really only access this as Marinette or is this like with Master Fu where we have to activate it with Marinette? Go down the stairs I passed. Uh, I didn't see any stairs, but I can go back. Also, TBC mentioned not having any loading screens, and now we've got all the loading screens. <laughs> oh, no, you'll never know. Oh, oh, oh. oh, there it goes. Okay. Let's switch back to Adrian. So, can we. Now look at the scrapbook. Oh my gosh! It's gatekeeping him! How dare! Like, from a story standpoint, I guess it does make sense. Cause like, oh yeah. Why would Marinette's father allow her to- Or allow someone besides her to view her scrapbook? Oh! Max is here, and Luca. Hey Max! Adrian, I can't wait for you to test out my new video game. <laughs> a video game and a video game. Uh, I would tell you not to get akumatized, but I've seen that game we're supposed to be in this, so... And Luca. Hey, Adrian. Wait, is Adrian taller than Luca? I remember them being the same height in the show. I mean, Adrian is a tall boy, but still. And Lila. Ugh. Hey, Adrian. Your birthday party is gonna be off the hook. You're not invited. Okay, Adrian wouldn't say that, but... Oh my gosh. Can, so can we uninvite her, please? Some dialogues with your friends allow you to increase your friendship level with them. I'm guessing this has to be with Marinette. Yeah, it won't even let me talk to her as Adrian. <sighs> the bias! Alia, code red! I need a kid for Adrian's birthday! Why didn't you tell me he was having his own birthday party? What am I gonna wear? What is Lila going to, what is Lila going to get him? Why can't I stop talking? Breathe, girl. It's because you can never think straight when it comes to Adrian. And it's just a birthday party. It's not just a birthday party, it's the birthday party. This is my shot at getting him at getting the perfect gift for Adrian. 
I mean, you already got him the perfect gift, but then it's, but then Natalie kind of stole it and told him it was from his father, but that's, again, that's not even Gabriel's fault, though. That is Natalie's fault. You mean, you mean you intended not to completely ruin everything just like last time? Yikes. Hey, again, that was not Marinette's fault. Okay, yes, she could have put her name on it in a more permanent fashion than a sticky note. But again, if she had put it on there, she, Natalie probably would have unwrapped it and then rewrapped it again. That would have been a really easy workaround. Anyway, let's just say you want to get him something he, he'll never forget. What is your plan? I'll need the help of my friends. I can work things out by myself. Uh... Hmm. I'll need the help of my friends. I'm going to need the help of all my friends, and you before anyone else, Alia. Oh girl, you know I'd do anything to help you getting close to Adrian. Also, because it's so much fun. Thank you, Alia. It's so good to know I can always rely on you. Oh, and the friendship went up. You've unlocked a special picture. A ten of ear. It's been saved in your scrapbook. Okay. Are... Is the arrow broken? I guess we're supposed to talk to all the friends. Adrian is throwing an amazing party for his birthday. I'm guessing you're not invited. Too bad. Actually, I am. Oh, he invited the whole class, I guess. That's so Adrian, never letting anyone aside. Anyway, I have the perfect gift idea. Uh, I'll have it shipped from Italy especially for him. I'm sure he's going to love it. But is that even the truth or what? Ugh! This Lila girl is getting on my nerves. Spelling error. There's a typo there. Surely Adrian will love her special gift from Italy. And when he does accept it, he'll only look at her. And then they'll fly off to Italy together and they'll settle there forever in an everlasting pizza romance. Don't mind Lila, Marinette. Just focus on your gift for Adrian. You're right. But what am I going to get him? I can never beat the fancy things Lila can get from this glamorous world of hers. Girl, you know she's lying about most of it! Adrian doesn't care about the fancy and expensive stuff, Marinette. He's already got it all. You're right, Tiki. If I want to get him the best birthday present possible, I must get him something that he holds dear. First order of business, find Alia. She's usually a good source of advi good advice. We just talked to her. Oh, now we're in school. Talk to Nino about Jagged Stone's concert. Ugh. Chloe, an old friend of Adrian's? Who would have thought? Yeah, considering the fact that their parents are friends. I guess we can't go through the doors. You have to talk to Nino a while later. <laughs> Finally, school is over. Nino said something earlier about going to Jagged Stone's concert. I certainly don't want to miss that. Sounds like fun. How about asking him? Right you are, Tiki. I should go talk to Nino now. Okay. It told us to go talk to Nino, but I guess we had to have that cutscene first. Uh Oh, it's okay. Going that way. Oh, we can't go up these stairs. Okay. Well. Ah, Francois Dupont High School. It's where the cool kids go. <laughs> that S supposed to be silent. I have no idea who this Francois Dupont is, by the way. But I guess she must have done great things. Um. Okay, Christina. The S is supposed to be silent. Oh, I think we accidentally left school. Nino's supposed to be in school. Also, I saw Milan's dad. Let's go talk to him. Julian. See you tomorrow, Marinette. Yeah. I love I love that we actually do get to see Milan's dad a lot. I kind of forgot his name was Julian, though. Well, maybe we are supposed to go outside, because it doesn't look like we can really do anything else in here. Uh, oh! Okay, are we supposed to go this way? The arrow is pointing this way. Maybe we are supposed to leave? 
Yep, we were supposed to leave. Okay. Oh, hi, Kagami. Oh, we can't talk to them. Okay. Alright, so let's go talk to Nino. Hi, Nino. Phew, I thought this day would never end. That surprise test Miss Bustier gave us really did uh, did take the cake. Oh! Uh, oh, what was that, Chloe? And since when do you photograph other people than yourself? Oh, come on. Can't you take a little flash? You should have seen your face, Nino. A, ri a ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. Hey, what are you up to, Chloe? I am working on my art project. Nothing of interest for people like you, I'm afraid. What does that even mean? Hey, come on, everyone. Let's calm down, okay? How about we all go out and have some fun? I think I'll pass. Thank you. I think I'll pass. Thank you very much. I don't need losers in my orbit. You weren't even. You weren't invited anyway. Hey, how about we all go to Jagged Stone's concert at the Grand Palais? That sounds perfect. Let's. Go. It's about to start. Let's go. You thought his name was Fred? Uh, that's a good point. Hey, Marinette. You ready to go to Jagged Stone's concert? I was born ready. Let's go! Jagged Stone, here we come! That's the spirit. Let's head there quickly or we'll miss the beginning. Marinette, the others have left the, to Jagged Stone's concert already. We can head to the metro to join them at the Grand Palais. That, or we could just walk around. Hmm, yeah, that's an option. I'd rather walk around as Adrian. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you mentioned some stairs that we could go down. Uh, oh, I guess we can't go any further than that. Oh, here we go. I assume these are the stairs you were talking about. Is it Leads to the subway. Can I not go through as Adrian? <gasps> How dare. How dare! Why is Adrian not invited? Later at the Grand Palais. <laughs> hey, what was that? Ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Just ignore her, girl. Let's get inside the concert. It's, let's get inside. The concert is about to start. Is this where we get to see Chloe akumatize? There's Roger. Excuse me, Miss Penny, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to cancel this concert. Sorry, what did you say? Are you suffering from eardrum damage? I said I've come here to cancel the concert. Cancel the concert? And on wh whose authority? Yours? Actually, it would be mine. Oh! Chloe, what did you do? Mayor Bourgeois? This has got to be a misunderstanding. This concert has been planned for weeks. Noise pollution is not something I'm taking lightly, Miss Penny. Many residents have called the police station to complain. Surely we don't want to upset honest voters. I mean, honest Parisians with noise nuisance. But no, this can't be happening. Oh, is this where Penny gets akumatized? I can't believe it. All this work for nothing. Really? Soundwave. Neither this policeman nor this mayor clearly know anything about music. So from now on, nothing will stop you from spreading the exquisite sound of revenge. So she's not troublemaker, she's sound maker. Okay. Also, I apologize, I'm not Keith Silverstein. I can't do the vo I can't do Hawkmoth's voice perfectly. I'm sorry. In return, you must bring me Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous. Bring the noise, Hawk Moth. Okay. And we're probably gonna play his Cat Noir again. <laughs> Cause I, I've, gotta, I've gotta rebel against the fact that they wouldn't let us uh, play as Adria. The, rebel against the fact that he's not invited to the concert. How dare they not allow him to come to the concert. How dare. Adrian loves Jagged Stone too. Also, you can finish loading any time now, please. Wow, this is a really long loading screen. Mm -hmm. 
Music is different though. And there's Ladybug, but ooh, check out the uh, check out all the lights and stuff. They really went out all out for this concert. Is there anything else we can spot from around here? Oh, there's a macaron. Oh, the heroes can walk in the street. Okay, I guess that makes sense. You can really see the streaks a lot better now here in the now that it's dark. So yeah, just get a good look at that. Oh. Alright, here we go. I got this. You can chain combos on enemies from anywhere. That's how it's done. Oh. Oh, we got energy, okay. Yeah, the streaks are cool, but I especially love the way his tail moves. Like, the fluid animation on the tail, that's really good. I like that. Let's see here. The shiny orbs allow you to increase the abilities of your heroes with Master Fu. Yeah, we figured that out already. Thank you. Oh, hello. Are we sure it's safe? Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's really cool. I like that. Anything else over here? Guess not. We can't go that way because of the fence. We can still hop on the fence. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so we got to actually jump up there then. Ah, oh, dang it, I missed it. Oh, platforming. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. Okay. Let's get back up there. Okay, I think we're lined up, so There we go. Oh, okay. I like that you can hop on these instruments and actually play the sounds. Okay, so let's grab that and another macaron. Okay. I'm hoping that there's that there's gonna be like hard mode and these stuff. Arrows point in the right direction. Yes, thank you, Kitty. Thank you. I, I figured that out by now. But you could at least let me explore. The macarons allow you to buy great treasures for, from the Kwamis by talking to Master Fu. Yes, we saw that. Thank you. Grab that. How can those things fly anyway? Is it the work of her sound waves? That is a good question. Oh, we got some more graffiti up here. <laughs> it's an arrow. <laughs> I think there was something else over here, wasn't there? Or maybe not. Oh yeah, there is a drum over here. Uh, how do we get up there? <laughs> Cat graffiti. Can I not get up there? Uh, maybe from this spot? Oh, come on. Can you stop? Go there we go. Ah! Come on. Oh! I just barely. Oh! I just barely missed it. Okay. Okay, I've almost got it. Oh, come on! Come on! Oh, so close! I just want to get up there. 
Yes! Ha 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 ha! You can't stop me! You cannot stop Cat Noir! The city is just like any rocker's dream. Surely Kitty Section would love it somehow. <laughs> Wait Careful. A second. You know Kitty Section? Ooh! Hello, Ladybug. Come on! Who doesn't? It's like, um... <laughs> I can see why she'd be surprised he knows Kitty Section. Got it! Ha 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 ha! I think I'm starting to get the hang of this thing. Just a small sample of my many skills. You could perform a flip over nearby enemy and get behind them by pressing the B button. Okay. Yeah, yeah, nice. Oh, it looks like they were stunned anyways. Okay. Looks like that's all there. Grab these orbs. Also, it's, I just noticed that it's the uh, the transformation music playing. Oh, and then we get this battle music. Okay. Well, it would be nice if they could have made like made the arrangement so that it loops nicely. Oh, can we not get up there? Ah, uh, I guess we can't get up there. It's, it feels like there should be something up there, but I guess not. Okay. Oh, we need to go this way. Alright. I have to sneeze. <laughs> uh. <coughs> Excuse me. Gotta move the mic away from my from me so that I don't uh, kill the headphone users. I could do this all day. Perform a final blow by pressing R on stunned enemies. Whoops! Nope. That's all you've got. I thought I'd stun them, but I guess not. Okay. I kind of want to see this final blow. Alright. And I guess we go this way? Okay, sound- okay, I just noticed that it actually does say sound wave, so her name- it, even though it's a similar design to Troublemaker, I guess, you know, this is technically Soundwave and not Troublemaker. Okay. Whoops. Uh, we need, can we get back up there? Yes. Okay. Yes, I know I'm going the wrong way. Oh! That's cool. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. I like the piano. Oh! Some cat noir graffiti. That's cool. Oh, this is a uh, a jump spot, a super jump spot. But we can't actually do it here right now. Okay. Or something to do with cat noir's baton. But I guess we just can't do whatever that is right now. I guess we'll unlock that later. Okay. Ah, okay. We're supposed to go this way. That is confusing. Oh, we got the super jump spot activated. But there's still stuff over here for us to get. Ooh. I think the game just lagged a little bit. Yeah, it felt a bit laggy there for a minute. Can we go this way or... Nope, guess not. Okay. I think that's the end of it. Yeah, that's not an actual building. Okay. Is 
So let's move on then. Alright. And super jump. But hey, it's still worthwhile to go and get all the collectibles and stuff. Okay, and there's one. We can't get through. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. It's a it's a literal sound wall. Okay, it's a wall of this sound. Your name on it. By neutralizing an enemy, you have a chance to recover life and energy to heal yourself. Okay. I could do this all day. Okay. I think I finally did it, but it didn't feel like I did a super attack or anything. You're in for a treat. I'm not going to fall for it. Uh head towards the speaker. It's telling me to come right here, but Okay. There's a soundboard here and that's where the arrow is pointing. But it says to head towards the next speaker. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, okay. Um, it seems- it feels like we're supposed to do something here, but... Um, okay. Ah, great. Oh, there's a Macron up there. Oh, what? Why can't I super... Why can't I high jump up there? Oh, what? What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, do I have to do this as Ladybug? No? Ladybug's not getting any extra actions with this either. That is so weird. Ah, Frel. Oh, come on. Ah! Come on. This is locked, but we have Okay. So what are we supposed to do here? This makes no sense. Okay. Noise over flowers. Penny's been akumatized. Only Ladybug and Cat Noir can stop this new deafening menace known as Soundwave. Bring the noise. Okay. What are we supposed to do here? This makes no sense. Like, it doesn't... It's not telling me what I'm supposed to do here. Ah. Oh, and I started all the way back at... What? Can I jump this way? No. Nope. Something about the stick here, but... What am I supposed to do? This makes no sense. Because the arrow is pointing over that way. But there's nothing to do over here. I wonder what Plag thinks of all this. It is a lot of noise. Yeah, there's nothing to do right here. Is this a bug? Uh, exploration, super jump. Oh, we don't have the power up. I think we're stuck because we don't have this p specific power up. Because I see it. Okay.
Okay, we're missing this power up. We need that exploration power up for. Okay. Well, that would have been nice if they would have actually told us that we needed that. So, what the heck am I supposed to do then? We can't get through the sound wall. Is there something else that I missed or? Is there a spot where we can go talk with Master Fu? Are we stuck? This is not good game design if we are stuck like this just because we didn't do something that we weren't that we didn't we had no I way of knowing that we were supposed to do okay we can't go back that way we have to go the other way uh that's so weird Like, let me back up, please. Ah, oh, dang it, I missed it. Oh, maybe if we go up the piano. Dang it! Oh, what? I pressed it! Oh, I think we're stuck. I think we're stuck. Oh, how are we supposed to activate that? Oh, that's the way we're supposed to go. Okay. That is so weird. It's like it really does feel like we missed something. Something that we would have no way of knowing that we missed it. That is not good game design. If the player needs something, you need to have some sort of indication that they're going to need it. Okay, well, let's switch to Ladybug because it looks like she can do something here. And it's there's no activator. Okay, that is not good. Yeah, because Ladybug has something here too, but we can't activate that. How are we supposed to activate that? That makes no sense. There's. There's no tutorial telling us how to do this. There's no way to go back we the way we came. Oh wait, here we go. Maybe? Nope. Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, how are we supposed to do any of that? Like, there's gotta be something we missed. You could do it once I've bought all the abilities from Master Fu's shop. Well, then how are we supposed to proceed if we can't get back to Master Fu's sh Like, are we able to get back to this, the shop? Is Master Fu around for us to talk to? Oh my gosh, do we have to restart? Because that's, that's just not right. Like, there should have been some sort of indicator that we were going to need it. You don't need to do that to complete the mission. Okay, well then, what are we supposed to do? Because it's not letting me do anything. 
Like, the arrow led me to that soundboard, but it wouldn't let me do anything with it. I tried pressing all the buttons, but there was nothing to do. And I switched to Ladybug. She couldn't do anything either. So it's not that they just hate Cat Noir. Oh, there's a item we missed. Go ahead and grab that orb. I love how the arrow points is that way, but it's like we can't go that way. And yeah, I just fell. Okay. So I'll go back, but there was nothing to do over there. Although I will say this, I definitely feel like I'm getting the hang of moving. Oh yeah, I forgot you're supposed to go this way. So if you know what I'm supposed to do, then can you tell me what? Because I have no idea. It's not giving me a tutorial pop-up or anything. Oh, come on. Come on, let me up there. It's like, it tells me to do something with this, but we can't. There's no button pr prompt or anything here. Oh, there's another... Is, is there another path over here? Nope. Thought maybe there was another path, but nope. That's not another path. Attack it! Oh! Oh my goodness. Head towards the next one. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you. Okay. Thank you. That was that really was not clear. Get this sound wall down. Okay, there's the next one. Okay, now that we know what to do, oh my gosh. I feel silly. Now on to the others. Also, I was talking about how Keith Silverstein always does really good jobs with uh, with horrible father characters in animation. And Bryce Pappenbrook also does a really good job of making me want to adopt every character he voices. Because <laughs> he also voices Kagura in Boruto, and he voices Theo in the Persona games. How many are there? Oops. Ladybug can throw her yo-yo at an enemy's head to stun them if you press the button. Okay, but... Oops, nope, I'm... Wrong button. I was pressing... I was trying to press the R button. Back to Cat. Cat! Okay. Yes. You die. I'm just too good at this. Okay. Also, I haven't really seen any save points either. Does the game autosave or something? Is there anything over this way? Nope. Okay. I got a macaron over here. A huge speaker. Looks like it's where the base is coming from. Is there anything up here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. The game autosaves when you exit. Okay. Okay, so nothing else to do there. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, and we got another one of these. I hope we'll be able to come back to these this places. Has your name on it. One point for Cat Noir. Okay, and there we go. Just a small sample of my many skills. And that's a wrap. 
<laughs> oh, I love him so much. Okay, here we go. Alright. Well, I will say, though, this isn't the first time that I've had a game uh, not tell me, at least right away, that I needed to do something. Uh, and then I just sort of feel silly afterwards for not even thinking about it. Because, uh, I had that in Legends Arceus, too, where I had no idea that you were supposed to send out a Pokemon to destroy the, the Tumblestones. There we go. I am not good at platformers. <laughs> you ever dreamed of playing drums, Ladybug? Now's your big chance! I mean, Christina V is a much better Down singer. Me. Actually, well, I shouldn't say that, because I've never heard her play the drums. But I have heard her sing. Fall for it. And it is a real shame that they don't have her singing the theme song. Because she did a cover of the theme song with Nathan Sharp, and it was so good. Maybe it's just my feline sense, but it looks like there's something hidden up in that giant guitar. Stinks to be you! That felt like it was supposed to be a pawn? That's a wrap. Okay, that was a pawn. I don't get the stinks to be you, though. Unless he's poking fun of the fact that Maybe she, maybe he's trying to say she looks like a skunk or something? In which case, that's kind of mean, Cat. Okay. So, he said something is up here. Unless it's... Okay, it's telling me to go this way, though. Got it. Awesome. Alright. Anything back here? Doesn't look like it. All right. And up here. Oh, another macaron. All right. Oh! We got the big one. Ooh, nice. So we'll be able to get all those power-ups from Master Fu after this. Which is good. I want to get all those power-ups so that we don't miss out on anything from now on. I think one of the challenge runs we might end up doing is can you beat the game without boosting any of your stats? So it's basically like Just hard mode. A small sample of my many skills. You think Plague sees Adrian as a little brother or a son? I'm just too good at this. Uh I would say it's more of a brotherly relationship than anything. I mean, yes, Ka Adrian is responsible for Plague. All right. Now I'm a guitar superhero! Uh, was that supposed to be uh, a reference to Guitar Hero? Oh, I love this boy. <laughs> I love him so much. Once again, Bryce, I want to adopt every character you voice. Alright. Got that one. Nothing else. Okay. Bring it on. One point for Cat Noir. So my question is this: If I were to close the game right now, would it auto save? Because I think that might be an interesting challenge as well. Can you beat this game without taking any damage? I was born ready. I'm just too good at this. Essentially, this, this initial playthrough is going to be like me looking for challenge runs that we can do. Do you prefer Cat Blanc or normal Cat Noir outfits? How many are there? I mean, I think they both look good. But... No pain. No game. I do like the the fact that uh, the uh, I, I do like how the black looks with his green eyes, and uh, I liked that before he had that line uh, in Befana, where he's like, "But I look so good in black." It really brings out the color of my eyes. 
It's like, that is true. It does. He does look good in black. Cool! Keyboards! Okay. This is gonna be interesting. Got it? Okay. Got it. Alright. <laughs> Whew! That was odd. That that took some uh some careful precision. Oh, oh, come on. Ah, oh, dang it. Be the macaron. Oh my gosh. What? No! No, 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 stop! Oh my gosh, give me the macaron! Why can't I get it? Cat Blanc is just sad kitty who needs a hug. Oh my gosh, why can't I get that macaron? Why? Why? Like, I feel like I'm going right through it. Because you should be able to just walk right up to them and absorb them. Do I need to reload the area or something? Because I'm definitely getting close enough to it to be able to absorb it. That's so weird. That is so weird that I can't get that macaron. And the part of me that likes to 100% things is definitely going to be bothered by that. I don't have time for this. That's all you've got. All right. I do like that I can button mash my way through enemies, though. That's how I play Kingdom Hearts as well. Uh, I honestly don't really have a favorite to Kwame. I mean, I guess I do like sass and ways. I do think they're both pretty cool. They both have that uh, wise old mentor this side to them. One point for Cat Noir. All right, here we go. And there's the speaker. Finally! Let's try reloading the area. Let's go back and see if it... Oh, can we not go back? Where's the super jump point? Oh, we can't go back. Oh, I should have stuck around up there to make sure we could get everything. Oh, there's a macaron up here. Exploration was worth it. Uh, you seriously wish season four had treated Luke and Nett and Adragami better? You were sad when they broke up, especially Adragami. Yeah, that one scene of Kagami and Adrian in the art room it is so uncomfortable because she's like she pushes him up against the wall and he's like you could see that he's visibly uncomfortable and she's like yeah this is you you're perfect it's like no that is not what you should strive for that is inappropriate okay I am kind of upset that I can't Go back. Because I don't know if I missed anything or not. Stinks to be you! Alright. Favorites will have to be Plag, Dusu, and Long. Yeah, Long's kind of cool too. Got. All right. Oh, we got some stairs here. The sound of the base is getting louder. We're on the right track. Let's just... Yeah, he kind of floats on the stairs, though. That's not too great. But also, the stairs seem kind of small. Because, like, it really looks like his 
feet don't fit on the steps. Yeah, his feet don't even fit on these steps. That w that's really weird that they did that like that. Uh. Oh yeah. I'm just too good at this. Just please don't kiss your muscles again, sweetie. <laughs> that was cringe. That was so cringe. Oh, we got some scaffoldings up here. Awesome, more macarons. And looks like Ladybug gets to do something up there. Hopefully we can come back here later. Anything else over here? There's a balcony. Doesn't look like we can get up can get up there though. Oh, maybe. Nope. Can't get up there. Okay. So I guess that's it. How about this way? Yes! We got an orb! We got a sound. We got a soundboard. Hey, come on. Cat, get over there. There we go. And it's telling me to go that way, but I want to check the other direction to see if there's anything over here that we might miss. There's some stairs over here. Oh, here we go. There's an orb. I love when games encourage exploration. Which is definitely something I'm looking forward to with uh, Scarlet and Violet. Getting louder. Think We're of getting Muse close. of the Fairy of Music. Yeah. With the sound of the waves, you are always here. Oh, there we go. No magic can make you reappear With the song of the waves You are always here This game has so many bugs. I don't doubt it. Oh, oh we gotta destroy the speaker first. Okay. Now we can super jump. You were on one and you fell through the floor and had to restart the whole level? Oh, no. Oh, it'd be a lot more simple if you just handed over your miraculous... You like the sound of that? Get some vitamins, kids. Sounders, attack! Sounders, take care of them now! Tick -tock, okay. Tick tock, boom! Oh, uh, why can't I move anywhere? Cat, move! Like the sound of that? What's the treble? Lost for words. Can I destroy these? Aha. How does that sound? That's how okay. You have to destroy them. Base, kiddos. Okay. Oh man. Dodge! Dodge! Must be in her microphone. Cataclysm! I should probably do the do that with, uh, with my hand too. Oh, we gotta press the B. You destroyed my stage. Whoopsie! I guess the show's over. <laughs> oh, and the music stops, and I'm the DJ here. All right. I don't have time to waste on your uh, scrubs. Sounders, take care. Why couldn't of I now. attack her? I don't have time to waste on you scrubs. Sounders, attack. Let's clean up the place. Okay. So we've got to destroy all of these. You like the sound of that? 
Oh man, we move so slow here. Ah! Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Stop her! Oh man. You're the only one who wishes that they kept Cat Noir's old transformation music from seasons 1 through 3 in season 4, because the new one just isn't as good. Oh, catch it! Ah! <laughs> okay. Is that a bowling ball? Cat Noir, the board! Gotcha! Oh. And let's see if she gets a strike! Oh, did she just break the lucky charm? Mic drop. <laughs> no more evil doing for you, little Akuma. Mic drop. Yeah, don't drop your microphones, kids. Those things are expensive. Gotcha. Bye, bye, little butterfly. Miraculous ladybug. Oh, okay. It was the uh, the disco ball that she broke. Okay. Welcome back, Penny. What happened? Found it. Oh, that was an abrupt. That was a. <laughs> that was really abrupt. I just realized my food's gotten cold. <laughs> I think my frappe's melted too. Yep. I need to start eating during these cuts, these uh, loading screens. And also, since I'm taking a drink, water break. Head to school. Oh, the next day. The game looks really muddied and bad on Switch. I mean, it could definitely be better, but it could also be a lot worse, too. Like I've said many times, I have a GameCube. I've seen how bad GameCube graphics are. This is not GameCube. This is more like Wii. This, is, this may not be the highest level that we're used to on the Switch, but it's not GameCube. GameCube levels of bad. Trust me, I will get out Bratz Rock Angels if you guys want to see some bad GameCube graphics. That better be f that that better be it for these weeks of comatizations. I wonder if I could ever spend a whole week at school just like a normal girl for once. Oh, that hurts. That that actually hits a little uh, with uh, today with the episode that we got yesterday. Anyway, I still have some time before heading to school. I could go there now, or I could just walk around, see what Paris has in store for me today. Hello, Alia. Project X. It has been saved in your scrapbook, okay? Hi, Alia. Hey, girl. Have you been thinking about what you'll get for Adrian for his birthday? I have, but I can't seem to come up with any idea. What should I buy him? Girl, you have an entire chest in your room of stuff that you have for his next like 70 birthdays you've got plenty of stuff in your room that you can get him buy something girl you have a talent for crafting your own stuff besides what could the boy who has everything want except for something truly unique good point the more personal the better no it would feel we are too direct yeah no make something for him Make something for him! You're right, Alia. I definitely should get him something that he can't get from any shop. Something he can keep forever. You mean, like that lucky charm you gave him when he came over to your place to play video games? Exactly! Sounds like a good way to beef up your game with Adrian, girl. Now you need to think of what you're going to craft. Ugh, I have no idea. 
Yo-Yo Hook. You have unlocked the power of Yo-Yo Hook for Ladybug. This power allows you to pull certain elements of the level. Oh, is that what we needed to do, or? Oh, Adrian, okay, Adrian can't talk to Alia, but Marinette can. Again, is this game open world? No, not quite. But uh, I do want to go and talk with Master Fu so we can get some more power-ups. Because I want all those exploration power-ups. You can go crawl in the ditch for what you did to Penny. How dare. The Morris Columns in the neighborhood allows you to access the levels you have already completed to replay them. Okay, so like this thing or... No? Okay. Something. Maybe it was the subway entrance? Oh, hey, it's Adrian's house! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> We're at Adrian's house! Okay. Too bad we can't go inside. That'd be really cool. I mean, you'd think Adrian would be able to go into his own house. You'd recommend combat for Ladybug and health for Cat Noir? Uh... Well, I want to get those power-ups, because I don't want to get stuck like that again. Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, we don't have to go through there, but I like being able to explore. I want to get everything. Uh, do you think if there was an AU where Doofenshmirtz met Adrian, you'd adopt him? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I forget his name, but I know Doof's uh, voice actor is on YouTube. You could ask him. Uh, oh wait, no, we've just passed the- oh shoot- oh gosh, we went all the way around, okay. So if we had just gone this way, uh, and passed Chloe, we could have just come straight over here. Well, that's good to know. Master! <laughs> we need power-ups. Pick whatever you need. Okay. So yeah, let's get the spinner, super spinner, uh, oh wait, ricochet. Oh shoot! Oh, that's what we wanted. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, we could get health- more health points. Yeah, let's get another health point. Just so we live longer. And Kwame Shop. Opening, Attack Pigeon. Marinette Story. Soundwave early concepts. So yeah, we get sound waves for, or we get to early concepts. Clon Clonica? I'm guessing it's Clonica because Chloe. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Chloe. Clonica. Okay. Gamer 3.0. <laughs> I get it because Gamer 2.0. Soundwave pigeon robot concept. Soundwave screenshot. Okay. Sphinx. Clonica Goons Making Episodes We might come back for this later. Final Combat Beauty Shot Wandering in Paris Light of the City Errands to Run Spirit of Doubt Chatting Mood Fun and Friends Something Doesn't Add Up Double Trouble Love on the Rise Rooftop Chase The Great Pigeon Takeover Oh boy Drop the mic. Oh, okay, so... Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna come, come back for this stuff. Probably near the end of the game. You see someone cross the street? You get that wiggle song stuck in your head. Okay. Also, water break. Yeah, these loading screens are going to be good for getting food and drinks and stuff. There we go. Stop auto-switching me back to Marinette. I was Adrian before. Let me stay as Adrian. <laughs> We 
We want to play as best boy. Hello, Chloe. Have you seen the pics I posted online, Adrikins? <laughs> so funny! And then Penny. Hello, Adrian. I certainly hope we can work on another Jagged Stone soon. I'll let you know. I certainly hope we can work on another Jagged Stone soon. Like, making someone else who's just as successful as Jagged? Is that a typo or something? Or a translation error, maybe? Jubilation was something. Oh, yeah. I've got my review up. Uh, yeah, those, uh... Those babies. Uh, that was, uh... That was something. Oh, yeah. The school is this way. Oh, we got the park over here. You, th me sh sh you think she made a Jagged Stone concert? Yeah, probably. Well, there's Kagami. Oh, and Mr. Ramier. Hello, Mr. Ramier. Aw, I scared his pigeons. I tried to talk to him and I scared his pigeons. This sound wave clearly had no respect for the pigeons. <laughs> Aw. Well, I just scared your pigeons away too. The carousel is actually moving. I don't think we really see the carousel move in the show either. I mean, we see it move in the first episode, but that's about it. And looks like somebody's having a picnic over here. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, they did a really good job with this park too. Oh, I spoke too soon in the trees. Although, Sword and Shield has the same issue with the trees. Like, I'm trying to give the be the the, tree the graphics the benefit of the doubt in as many areas as I can. Uh, they had the Giga Titan baby looks decent. Why didn't they just repurpose the model for their children? Yeah. Well, I think, like, I talk about it in my review. I think a big part of it is because of the fact that they don't age up Ladybug and Cat Noir for it. So, they still look 14. So, I think the reason that they made it baby dolls is because they're 14. They don't want to insinuate that they, to use Sims terms, woohooed. Because they're 14. I was so busy with my game that Markov had to remind me about my homework. Hello, Logan. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Luca. Hey, Adrian. It's been a while since you last played with kitty section it's hard to read that thanks to max like max can you move your speech bubble please oh, hi roger um roger why can't i talk to you it says i could talk to him can we only talk to him as marinette are they once again gatekeeping adrian oh it's okay yeah story thing stop right there young lady um, Roger, she's a student at this school. She has to go to school. Why are you stopping her? Mr. Ray Raincompry, is something wrong, officer? Yes, with your memory, apparently. Did you forget about your little act from yesterday at your parents' bakery? I was there, you know. Yesterday? What happened yesterday? After those shenanigans, a lot of people have come to the station to complain about your offensive behavior. Offensive behavior? This is a misunderstanding. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm innocent. I'll be the judge of that. Just take me to your parents. Um, okay. M. Dupin, I'm sorry to announce that- um, I guess that's supposed to be Mr. Dupin? Mr. Dupin, I'm sorry to announce that your daughter is the subject of many complaints we received from your clients yesterday evening. And by clients, I also include myself. Marinette has been very offensive towards a dozen people, judging us by our clothes, calling us names. Our Marinette? Impossible. This has to be a misunderstanding. Marinette always welcomes our clients with a smile. She'd never do anything like this. Plus, she was saving the day as Ladybug last night. That and the fact that I wasn't even at the shop yesterday. I was attending Jagged Stone's concert. You should know better than to lie to a, than to lie to a police officer, Marinette. Who am I to believe? You or a dozen honest citizens? 
We'll make sense out of this jumble. I promise you, Marinette. At least they've got her back this time. Unlike in Ladybug, when they didn't have her back and they just accepted Lila's story about Marinette abusing her and stealing from her uh, without any question or anything. Like, they claim to have her back, but then they essentially grounded her. Here's a fine for multiple insults to a police officer and the performance of his duties, Mr. Dupin. Okay, that has got to be an abuse of power. I don't know anything about French law, but that is not something you can find someone for here in America, at the very least. In the show's timelines, when is this game based? This seems to be season three, because... Because uh, Master Fu is still around, but there was Mr. Pigeon's 68th time getting akumatized, so that means that it's very close to Mr. Pigeon 72. If payment comes after the due date, extra costs will be will apply. Have a nice day. A while later. A oh, fine? This is the last thing we need. As if we didn't have enough paperwork to deal with already. We'll manage the paperwork, Tom. I'm more concerned about those people who've been slandering Marinette. You're right. This doesn't make any sense. I know in my bones that you'd never act this way, Marinette. I'm guessing we're gonna get Where Dad next. Thanks for trusting me, Mom and Dad. And you're right, something's definitely off here. We'll get to the bottom of this together as a family. You're amazing. But for now, I gotta hurry back to school. Bye, love ya. As for me... I had better go check our accounts to try to figure out how we're going to deal with this fine. Yeah, that was total abuse of power. Like, if anyone is familiar with French law, please let me know if that's something that is that is legal in France. But it's definitely not legal here in America. Hey, Marinette, you look concerned. Is everything alright, girl? Something really strange just came up. Sabrina's dad came to our shop today. He fined my father, pretending I slurred him yesterday evening. Him and a few other people at my parents' shop, no less. But you were in school all day, and then we all went to Jagged Stone's concert. How could this have happened? I know, right? This got me all turned around. I can't seem to make heads or tails of it. Wow, this, all, this is all kinds of weird, girl. But don't worry, it's gotta be some sort of stupid prank. Something tells me we'll find out soon enough who's behind it. I hope so. Anyway, for now, I'd better go find the people who are involved in this and apologize to them. Sounds good. Rendezvous at school when you're done. Guess we have to play as Marinette then. Just say there's an imposter among you. <laughs> uh, it's fine, Marinette. Everyone has those days. I was a teenager too, you know. His name is Leon. Okay. I love that they're giving names to all the background characters. That's really cool. Yeah. I know. It's a bakery. Yes, Marinette, we know too. Ooh, look how shiny this girl's hair is. Why is this... Okay, I know people like to rag on the graphics and stuff, and this definitely looks like a blurry PNG, but at the same time, this still looks better than some episodes of the show. <laughs> like, look how shiny this girl's hair is. I've seen it in the show without any shine at all. Your father's bread is so good, I will forgive you anything, Marinette. No harm done. I appreciate your apology, Marinette. Don't worry. And that brought, brings us to school. Okay. A while later. French law states that you can find a person or their parent if they are under 18 for offensive behavior in public. Wow. Okay. So, not abuse of power then. Okay, well, I stand corrected. Well, here in America, it's definitely abuse of power. It's as if I spend more time dealing with paperwork than baking. And this fine- and this fine just takes the cake. Where, Dad? This policeman clearly takes advantage from his- from his position. Supposed to say of. This policeman clearly takes advantage of his position without care for honest workers such as yourself. I give you the opportunity to reverse the rules for once. In return, bring me Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous. Fine by me, Hawk Moth. After school. Okay, I want to look up something real quick. Because I don't remember off the top of my head if Where Dad is uh, from season 3 or 4. 
I've got the episodes on my computer. I just want to look up real quick when where Dad takes place. Let's see here. Uh, Baker X, so season three. Back order, reflect. Okay, where Dad is season three. So, okay. So this could still end up being a repeat then. Hey peeps, haven't you heard? About the pictures of random people Chloe's been posting all over the internet all day? No, another Akumatized... Another Akumatized person is out there, causing mayhem in town. It's all over the news. Oh, this sounds ominous. I'd better go home and warn my parents. And I... I have a piano lesson to attend at before Ch to attend to before Cheney's class. I have to go. Bye. <laughs> nice excuses, everyone. Alia, you believe in Marinette, don't you? What's up, Marinette? You want a location on the akumatized person of the day? Wait, are you about to leave Marinette's neighborhood? Uh, maybe some other time? Give me a minute. Sure, suit yourself, girl. Uh, can we do that as Adrian too, or...? Okay, so yeah, we do have to talk to Alia to continue. So I would assume that we can continue as Adrian too. This game have little side quests you could do by interacting with people. Uh, it definitely felt that way in the trailers, but we haven't really had any side quests yet. So I guess we'll see. Okay, so we do have some some classmates around that we can talk to. Uh, so there's Milen's dad. Uh, I suggest you stay within these walls, Marinette. That's Adrian! It's dangerous outside. Um, that's Adrian! Dude, you need to get your eyes checked. <laughs> Again, they're just assuming that you're playing as Marinette all the time. Adrian, protect me! I'm afraid of this monster the news keep talking about. Shut up, Lila. Max, at this rate, Paris will change its name for a Akumaville. I think he meant two. Wow, the typos in this game are real. Adrian, please stay safe. There's a rumor about a monster roaming around. Oh, Chloe. Luca, apparently Alia knows something about the Akumatized villain that's been sighted outside. That's clearly meant to be... Uh, just a guide, but at the same time, it's like, I think that it's like, it's almost like he knows that they're Ladybug and Cat Noir already, even though that doesn't happen till season four. Hey, Adrian. Ah! Again! They're being biased against Adrian! Lila served no purpose in season four. Yeah. I mean, aside from, like, in the finale... I honestly feel like we could have gone completely without penalty team and had the heroes and had the heroes scattered throughout the season instead of having them all in that one episode. Alia, what's up, Marinette? You want a location on the akumatized person of the day? Yes, tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. He's been seen around Notre Dame. Uh, let's say we go find it. Hopefully, Ladybug will be there. Uh, maybe some other time? Suit yourself, girl. Honestly, Chloe has the right to worry. Remember where Dad beat the crud out of Cat Noir last time? Oh my gosh, imagine where Dad going after Chloe for making his daughter's life miserable. For the past four years. Sabine even says in the uh in Origins, uh four years in a row? Is that even possible? Yep. So I can finally get the last bite of my breakfast in. Uh, yes, I've already got my uh, review of that episode out. The episode is Spike approved. <laughs> I actually thought about uh, having the text in the thumbnail, thumbnail just be Spike saying, Looking good, Cat Noir. <laughs> And switch!
Okay. I think we'll go back to the previous area once we unlock Cat Noir's next thing, too. Okay, so... Just a small sample of my many skills. Oh, they're mummies this time. Okay. That's all you've got. I'm guessing this is supposed to be, like, a horror theme? Even though Miraculous is very kid-friendly. So it's like, kid-friendly horror. Okay, that's the way we're supposed to go, so... Is there anywhere else over here we can explore? Yes. I'll... Is that supposed to be paperwork or... Oh, no, that's bricks. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like any we can go that way. Wait, did I just get stuck behind... Oh my gosh, you can actually come behind come back here. That'd be an interesting place to hide stuff, though. That is sticking out of the wall. But it doesn't look like you can do anything with it. That's interesting, though. Track we're dead along the docks. Jubilation means shout with joy, which is a thing you do on Christmas and Easter. Okay, now this definitely gives me the feeling of paperwork. Oh, come on, let me up there. There we go. I want that macaron. Newsflash! These arrows point in the right direction. Yes, thank you, Cat Noir. Are they gonna say, are they gonna say those things every time? It's down to you and me. Do you guys think we should uh, do at least one level where we play through as day. Ladybug? Or should we just keep be, keep favoring Cat Noir since the game itself wants to try to force us to be Marinette all the time? Oh, hello. Oh, we actually get to see her vision there. Okay. Oh, okay. We have to pull this close to us. Okay. At least now we know that this is, like, something that we get along the story and not something we have to unlock through Master Fu. Yuck. Oh, and another one. Okay. Cat no more supremacy! Yes, agreed. Alright, does anyone remember that Wow Wow Wubby video game where you had to watch out for falling eggs? Uh, no. I don't remember that game. Mac! Love the paper airplanes. Okay. But I, I will say, though, that is a very clever use of uh, Ladybug's yo-yo is forcing those uh these airplanes to come closer how many are there all right no pain no gain there we go that took a little a little bit longer that time around probably because i've only upgraded his health so far I might have to actually start That's all you've got. Uh, using, uh, using that combo. Okay. Well, that's the way we're supposed to go, apparently. Oh, I guess we can go both ways. It's down to you and me. That's got it. Easy. All right, grab all these orbs, cause we want power-ups. Yeah, we have to actually unlock that, okay. 
<laughs> MLP reference, by the way. Yup. Oh yeah, like I had to. Does anyone think Adrian is love poisoned for Marinette in multiplication? No. He's just start finally realized what we've known for a while now. That he does have feelings for Marinette. Administrative chores got to his brain. I kind of feel sorry for him. Yeah, I'm sure you can relate to that. But no, like, he's, he's, it's been clear for a while now that he has feelings for Marinette. It's just Seems that to be you. his feelings for, uh, for Ladybug were blinding him to the One fact that he had for feelings for Marinette. Which is ironic, considering the fact that they're the same person, but he doesn't know that. Got it. Ha ha ha. Alright. And this is not something that we have access to yet. Okay, so we can't get up there yet. Probably because we need Ladybug's power-up. Okay. I could do this all day. Oh. Of course, by the time they get paralyzed do this all day. or stunned, it, we're already one hit away from defeating them anyway. So it's like, what's the point of doing the finisher when they're already almost dead anyways? Like. All right, here we go. Hey, that hurt. No pain, no gain. Also, all the hearts, like the fact that our lives come in hearts, kind of reminds me of Zelda. Sure reminds me. I probably should play one of those games sometime. I've lost my copy of Breath of the Wild, which is sad. Alright. Although I am... Uh, I am thinking that I might be able to uh, activate Wi-Fi again soon on my Switch. So I might be able to... Uh, to set that up where we can like access online features. It's a shame that you can't uh, do multiplayer through online features in this game. They just, it's local only. Because that would have been really cool if we could play with Dem and then he could play Ladybug. Just a small sample of my many skills. And that's a wrap. Yeah. Okay. He really brought administrative phobia to another level. Well, I mean, to be fair, he's being overloaded right now. Ah, we can't quite get up there. There we go. So yeah, those things I thought were bricks really are papers. Cause like, I thought they were papers at first and I was like, oh no, those are bricks. But nope, it is papers. It's just not textured very well. Like, the piles of papers are are, very, are nicely done. It's just the, the ones that are stacked nice and neat. Those are kind of weird to tell. I got this! Hey! How dare you! Anything else over here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, it looks like we're supposed to... Okay. It's hard to tell if we're supposed to go up the roofs or not. Ah! Oh, I just barely missed it. Okay. Let's grab these orbs along the way and see if we can get back up there. Okay, start from there. Oh, what? What? How was I still not able to get that? 
The day Plague figures out that Kwame's arcade, she's going to be horrified and angry. I'm glad that you're that you uh, like this game, Logan. Like, there, like I was honestly a bit worried that this was going to be not that great of a game, but I I will admit I am having fun. The graphics aren't nearly as bad as the trailers were letting on, which is also good. I especially love that Cat Noir's tail is all floaty and follows him around. And like, flies in the wind. Alright. Oh! What? What? Why? Why? Why can I not get up there? Come on, okay. Oh no! <laughs> I was almost there! I was almost there! Gosh darn it! Like, if I could, like, you know this would be super easy for the real Cat Noir, because he could just be like, oh yeah, let me just use my stick real quick. But it's like, ah, oh, I can't use his stick whenever I want to, however I want to. Because it's a game. Oh, man. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is painful. All this just to get up there. I don't think there's even anything up there. Oh, no, yeah, there's an orb up there. I want that orb! <laughs> I want that orb! Uh... Oh, hey Dem, welcome back. Uh, yeah, TVC had to go, so it ended the call, so... Uh, let me just pull Discord back up. So that we can... Talk. Oh my goodness, why? Does it not want to be nice to me? I could have sworn I switched the window. Or switched it to my other monitor. Guess not. Okay. So I'll go ahead and start the voice call now that you're back. Hopefully TVC's not busy with something right now. Hope that I'm interrupting. <laughs> hey there, Hello. Dim. Welcome. You haven't missed too much right, uh, right now. Uh, I'm just trying to get to this platform that I can't access. Marinette's dad got akumatized uh, because uh, basically, like, somebody's been going around impersonating Marinette. Ah, oh, so close! Yeah, someone's been going around and uh, impersonating Marinette and uh, that got, you know, they... they and Roger came by because apparently the uh, Marinette impersonator was insulting people. And he came by after getting offended and slapped a fine on them. Oh! So close! Why? Why is that so hard? I to get on the street lamp before. Can I, I don't think you can get on the street lamp. Yeah, there's nothing to get on. Uh. Oh, that is very bare. That is the most bare I've seen anything here. Oh, okay, it's the... Oh, we're along the Seine! Okay. That that explains why that's so bare, then. Okay. That makes sense, then. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'll get my game tomorrow. Yay! Would have gotten it today if the delivery man <sighs> didn't decide it. Because no one's there, I have to take it with me again. So it was supposed to be dropped off today, but they didn't? Yeah, my friend was not home and they just left the cards. No one's there. Oh, you no. You can get it tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, can we get up there from here? 
Oh my gosh, I was trying to platform my way up here and I just had to come over this way. Ah! Hey! How dare! I could do this all day. Oh, there's another orb over here. Yeah, we collect these orbs because you can spend them with Master Fu on power-ups. Oh, wait, did I just see a... There's a Macron up here. Yes, got it. All right. All right, so let's go. All right, grab that one. I'm trying to get all the orbs. All right. Hopefully we'll get Cat Noir's power up soon. Oh man, I fell. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, good, we got it. Okay. Turn Paris into a corporate wonderland? Not on my watch. Oh, there's Notre Dame. You know, I don't think we've actually seen Notre Dame in the show yet. So that's really cool that they included it. So this is a brand new location that we've never been to in the show. No, I don't. I don't think we've ever been to Notre Dame in the show, like at all. No, uh, I think, but I think it was shown. That's was what you said, at least. But you don't think it's been shown. Mhm. Mm oh man, I almost missed that. Oh. There's a golden macaron up there. We got all the- Okay, there it goes. Oh my gosh. For a, for a second there, I thought we were going to have the same situation that we had on the last level, because there was this one macaron that we saw that we just could not get to save our lives. It's like, ah! Not sure I want to be dragged into this administrative nightmare all. with you, big guy. Sorry. Oops. Oh, don't worry. You'll you'll have plenty of that going on when you join the family. Oh, come on. Get over here. That's all you got. There we go. And now it's going to force us to switch to Ladybug. Yeah, pull pull this silver. There we go. And back to cat. Whoo! Okay. I was a little worried about hitting that, but we got it. Okay. Alright. Uh, was there anything over there that we missed? Just in case. Okay. Nope. Okay. It's a straight path then. Alright. Okay. You're uploading the episodes to your channel. Uh, do you have the right to do the copyrights to do that? Cause, like, Division Kids will be uploading the episodes uh, next month. Make sure we're all, you need to make sure we're supporting the official release too. I know I said that a lot in my review today. <laughs> there and I realized afterwards that there was some stuff that I forgot to talk about too. But uh, I was sleep deprived. <laughs> all right, bring that over here. And switch back. So yeah, when we do our challenge run to see if you can play as just Cat Noir, uh, that will have to be the exception. Is you know, if there's a space where, that we have to play as Ladybug to get through, then that's allowed. Uh, but otherwise. we have to. 
but we have to immediately switch back to Cat Noir afterwards. And all fights have to be Cat Noir. So like even if it makes us even if it forces us to switch to Ladybug, uh, then we have to switch right back to Cat as long as we can. How many are there? Okay. Who accidentally pressed the uh, the switch button? One point for Cat Noir. There we go. Okay. And is there anything else over here that we missed? This seems like a pretty big area. It's hmm. an orb. Oh, you did see an orb? Oh, there it is. Oh, it keeps blinking in and out. Got it. Oh, hello. Oh, I think this is the same spot from before. Or no, it's not. Okay. Yeah, I still feel like there might be some stuff we've missed. Yes! That wasn't the corona. Big orb. There was a macaroon too, right? You saw a macaron? Yeah, back in the on the roof. Uh, go back and look. To the right or left? To the left. There. The left. Oh, there it is. Oh, and there's more stuff over here too. Okay, and Ladybug can access this. Ooh, we got a red macaron over there. Okay. Oh, it's a pencil. <laughs> ah. Oh, come on. Use those cat-like reflexes. There we go. The power of the Akuma will always amaze me. Oh, that's what this takes us to. Okay. Oh, never mind. Okay. That just brings us back here. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's nice. That was at least convenient. That meant we didn't have to jump all the way back. Let's hop on this boat. And there's another enemy up there. Down to you and me. Oh. Okay. Ah. That's how it's done. I don't like that it automatically changes your target without you pressing anything. Yeah, that's kind of. The auto targeting is a bit wonky. It shouldn't change your target until you defeated the, the current one. Unless you yeah. press something specific. Ooh. Okay, I think we're supposed to go get up the, on that tower there from that arrow over there, so... I don't think we can get over there from here. Alright. Let's get on the roof. There we go. Oh! Missed an orb. There we go. And there's a macaron. There we go. <coughs> Alright, got it. I got this! Oh, come on. Get over here. Die! I'm just too good at this. Oh, I think I forgot to uh, share my screen too. Oh, I see. Oh it. no, it's okay. I did. I didn't forget. Okay, awesome. All right. 
And we got another spot for Ladybug. We gotta move this back. Okay. Thank you. Alright, and I was born ready. Got it. Okay. For a second there it almost looked like I was gonna push him off the roof. That's too easy. Alright. Oh, there's a cat noir spot up there, but we don't have that uh, power up yet. Oh, we need this power up too, okay. So we're missing another power up. Oh, okay, so we've got... So, in order to explore this part, we need both Ladybug and Cat Noir's power-ups. Okay. It is cool, though, that you get to come back and re-traverse these areas later. Yeah, that's good. So that gives it a lot of replayability. I wonder how they do save files and stuff in this game. Just a small sample of my many skills. Alright, and no here pain, we go. No gain. Oh, okay. I was apparently supposed to go this way. But, uh... Yeah, that would have been interesting to try and uh, hit that, too. Uh, is there anything down here? Doesn't look like it. Ah! Oh my goodness. Come on! Use those cat-like reflexes! Hey, you! I smell stinky fur, and it's not me. I mean, your costume's not furry, so... Maybe he means his hair. Maybe? You're in for a treat! Trick or treat. You're a bit early for Halloween. Before Paris turns into a giant office. You know, I have to say, if we do do a challenge run where we see if we can beat the game as just Ladybug, it'll be interesting at the very least to hear all of Ladybug's different uh, voice lines for this, for exploration and stuff. I do have an idea for a ladybug inspired costume that I might uh, be interested that don't I was thinking tell about making. Me you don't enjoy paperwork. It's what kids your age enjoy the most. No, they don't. You can't be far. You can't escape the ah. lasso. I'll get you, you nincompoops. Hey, he's already got a well, okay. He, this is before he starts carrying around the piece of paper in his bell. Ah. Come on. The way, you little squirts. Why can't I hit you? Tom, get back here! There we go. I'll get you, you nincompoops! That is your future son-in-law you're talking to! I don't have all the time in the world. My work is piling up. Ah. Sheets, reports, polls, finds, forms, manuals. I've got all the good stuff for you. Get over here. Tom! Tom! Yes, I know he's technically we're dead right now. Tom, get your butt back here so I can kick it! You're in the way, you little squirts. At least that dodge roll fixed the lag. I'll get you, you nincompoops! Found you! Ah, I was trying to parry that, but it didn't work. You're in the way, you little squirt. I can sniff him. Got it. Cataclysm! All right, we finally got to the cataclysm part. Time for 
button prompts. Oh, okay. Get the water, get the paper all soggy, I guess. Wretched early cat. Now I'll smell like a wet dog. You'll learn to love it eventually. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I could actually move there. I'll get you, you ninkum poops. It's like, uh, get over here. I need to kick your butt. You're in the way, you little squirts. Come here, Tom. He must be around. Gotcha. Ha 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 ha. One more, one more hit, one more hit. Come on. I'll get you, you nincompoop. Ah! Get back here. I'll get you, you nincompoops. You're in the way, ah! you little squirts. Found you. Gotcha. There we go. Lucky charm. All right, finally, jeez. Good thing Cat Noir already cataclysms the. Uh, Point out of the park, Cat Noir. Watch and learn, my lady. The fire hydrant. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. my eyes! My <laughs> eyes! I can't see a thing. No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. Gotcha. Gotcha. Bye, bye bye, little butterfly. butterfly. Miraculous, Miraculous ladybug. You know, I have to say, I almost wish that they would do this sort of thing in the hey, show. What's going on here? Where all of Paris transforms. Yeah. One star. Apparently, I'm not good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> also, water break. Oh, buddy. Uh, yeah, these loading screens do take a little bit, though. There we go. Thank you, Ladybug and Cat Noir. All the credit goes to Ladybug. I'm just here for the puns. You did everything! You did everything! All she did was use her, her lucky charm. You did everything! Hey, officer, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. What is it? I'm here on behalf of my best friend, Marinette. Is it true uh, you find her dad for an offense she never committed? That is police business. You don't seriously think I'd share confidential intel with you, do you? Well, look at this picture of Jagged Stone's concert that Chloe Bourgeois posted last night. You can see Marinette, right? Now look at the time it was posted. Doesn't it match the time you met her at the bakery? Oh, this is something to consider, all right. Okay, kids, I'll cancel Mr. Dupont's fine. But unless Marinette can be everywhere at once, I can't explain how she was also at the bakery. Crisis, crisis averted, Tiki. Dad's back to normal, and Sabrina's dad canceled the fine he filed against him. That's right! And all thanks, and all this thanks to Ladybug! And, and Alia. Still, we have no clue if, as to how a clone of myself could have pulled this prank yesterday. Give Cat Noir his credit! Yes, the game allows you to play through as just Ladybug, but I did that as Cat Noir! How dare you! Can I- How dare you, I will claw your eyes out! <laughs> I actually can reach her face with my- with my hand. How dare you! You're right, Marinette. The mystery remains. I guess we're not done with this copycat situation, and something tells me we'll deal with it again pretty soon. I mean, it's clearly not an akumatized person because, uh, you know, we've been seeing akumatized people 
And Ladybug was fighting uh, an akumatized villain at the same time that the imposter was at the schools. Or was at the bakery. Unless Lila is masquerading as Marinette, which wouldn't surprise me. Hey, Marinette. How are you holding up? I heard about your dad being akumatized yesterday. Is he alright? He's fine. Thanks for your concern, Luca. With the help of Ladybug and Cat Noir, he made it home in one piece. What would we do without those two, huh? Anyway, I wanted to tell you, Marinette. I may not have superpowers, but you can always confide in me. I'm sad to be a- I'm sad to be a good listener, you know. I know I can confide in you. You've always been a good friend. <laughs> I mean, this is the part in the show where she does kind of like him, so... I know I can confide in you. It feels good. It feels great knowing I can confide in you, Luca. I could use someone I can totally trust sometimes. Especially with all those akumatizations like, happening all the time. Never hesitate, Marinette. You know that whatever sentiment, uh, I will never judge you. Thanks, Luca. I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm throwing a party on the Liberty after school. Max is going to show us his new game. Wow, this sounds like an excellent plan. Count me in, Luca. Cool. Oh, actually, almost everyone will be there. Adrian has to return home for his Chinese class and fencing class. In that order, I think. Why do they keep gatekeeping Adrian? I just want to play as him. They keep forcing me to play as Marinette in between... <laughs> uh, why? Oh, hopefully Max's game will make up for it. I can't wait to test it out. <gasps> why? You have unlocked the power of push for Cat Noir. Yes? What? You were breaking up there. Hello, Kagami. Marinette, I've heard about your father's akumatization. Is he alright? Hey, thanks for the concern, Kagami. And yes, he's okay. He feels even... He, he even feels sorry for blowing such a fuse, actually. I've been there. Trust me, I know the feeling. So, about Adrian's birthday. Yes, what about it? Kagami is being silently is being suspiciously silent. Did Adrian invite you? Why don't you go with Luca? <laughs> Are they hinting at Luca Gami? Did Adrian invite you personally? Did Adrian invite you himself, or have you heard about the party from the others? Why does that change anything? I'm just being curious. You are curious. Sometimes a little too curious. Oh. Sorry, sorry about that, Kagami. I was just trying to make conversation. I appreciate the effort. I should probably try to be more curious about my friends as well. Don't be so hard on yourself, Kagami. You don't always have to bottle up your feelings all the time, you know? Thank you, Marinette. I tend to clam up in front of people I, in general, you know. And you're right in that I should consider you a rival. In that I shouldn't consider you a rival. I know, but you can be open with me. I'm your friend. Okay, I'll tell you then. Adrian did come over to me and invite me in person. But he did the same to you, right? I guess he did that with everybody. Yes, he must have. I... I'm not sure what I was thinking in the first place. Everything's going to be fine. Oh good, our friendship with her got a little bit higher. Hello, Luca. Ready to go, Marinette? Max is expecting us. I'm sure this game is going to be awesome. No, not yet. I still need to talk to people. I still have an errand to run. Sure, Marinette. We'll wait for you right here. Come see me whenever you're ready. I might go back, because we should be able to fully explore Soundway's area now. Hey, girl. Not that I enjoy seeing your old man being akumatized, but he's really outdone himself this time. It really felt like the city was going to sink into an administrative nightmare. Anyway, how's your dad doing? Uh, what about what happened before we're dad? Uh, what about what happened before we're dad? Actually, I'm more concerned about what, ha what happened before my dad was akumatized. You mean the spooky fake marinette story? Yeah, I still have no clue what happened back there. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Those kind of mysteries don't remain mysteries for long. You're right, but we'd better keep our eyes peeled for anything weird until then. Let's go ahead and switch back to Adrian, see if we could talk to these guys. Nope. 
Oh, we can't even talk to Kagami? Come on, those two are friends. Nino? Why? Why do they keep limiting him? Try and get some rest during the weekend, Adrian. Oh, it's the weekend, so we're not going to come back to school the next day. Oh, hi, Natalie. What's Natalie doing here? Is she here to pick up Adrian? Oh, come on. I understand you want to spend more time with your friends, Adrian, but we need to go. Ah, oh, why? Why do they hate Adrian so much? Now I feel like that poll was revenge. Cat in a war, you're way too nice. Uh, this paperwork swamp is still giving me goosebumps. Okay, let's try talking to Natalie as Marinette. Maybe Marinette can convince Natalie to let Adrian go? Oh. I don't have time for you. I'm waiting for Adrian. Rude? <laughs> Paperwork can indeed be a little stressful, you know. I'm guessing he also tells us to have a good weekend. Do you have any plans for the weekend, Marinette? Uh, hello, Dino Coffee. Welcome to the stream. Oh, okay, we could talk to Nino. Why won't Nino talk to Adrian, though? Why do we have to do all this as Marinette? So, Marinette, have you been thinking about what you gave Adrian for his birthday? Actually, I have, but I'm drawing a blank here. Oh, yeah, you missed it, Dem. Uh, Adrian's getting an actual birthday party. Okay. You know, I've been doing some thinking myself. I want to get Alia something, even if it's not her birthday. Great idea! Every day is a good day for making gifts to the ones you love. Right? So I want to make her a mixtape. A special 100% Nino blend that'll speak from my heart somehow. Aw, that's so sweet! Hello, uh, Prince and friends and family. Welcome to the stream. I think it's an excellent idea. Alia loves listening to music with you. Music is like a second language to you guys. It may even be more meaningful than just words. You're right, it is. Thanks, Marinette. No wonder you're Alia's BFF. Now I want- now I better get to work then. This tape is not going to mix itself. I'm confident you'll drop an instant classic. Break a leg, Nino. Okay. I'm gonna switch back to Adrian because... yeah. Because Adrian is best boy. So... Oh, we can't even do this as him? Really? Why do they force us to do it to do every- Oh, okay. Oh, uh, there's supposed to be a way back. I forget, was this it? Oh, there it is. There we go, okay. So yeah. Ah, okay, so we go behind there to transform, okay. That ex- okay, so that's how we go back, okay. So we should be able to explore this completely now. I'm doing all right, considering the fact that I only got two hours of sleep last night. Somehow I'm wide awake, and I don't think it's just the coffee. Did you say four? No, you said you tried for four hours. I tried for four hours, and I couldn't actually sleep. And then all of a sudden I just felt wide awake. Oh. It was... <laughs> it was ridiculous! Utterly ridiculous! Oh no, she turns into Chloe. <laughs> I am looking forward to seeing uh, Chloe's akumatized form because I'm I'm fairly confident that the selfie girl was Chloe because she's been doing an art project where she is taking pictures of people. You're down with the flu and you only got three hours of sleep. Oh, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. I hope you feel better. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun so far. Like, I know there were some people that got that uh, got access you? to the game early and were complaining about it, but uh, for it. I'm having a lot of fun. Yes, the attack animations could be a bit more smooth, but other than that, it's been pretty good. Also, I just noticed this over here. She does all that with just sound waves? Now that's something else. So do we like completely redo this level Are again? We sure or... it's safe? Like is this gonna be like complete story mode again? All the orbs that we gathered before are gone, so. It'll certainly be interesting. Also, 
Uh, we came up with the theory that this is actually taking place during Use season flash. three. These arrows point in the right direction. Yes, I know, Cat Noir. Thank you. But uh, the, re the reason I th and I'm thinking that this is actually How taking place during season three. Anyway? Is it the work of her sound waves? Because uh, we actually do get a uh, bit where, you know, when you t fight Mr. Pigeon at the start of the game, uh, he's actually referred to as Mr. Pigeon 68. The city is just like any rocker's dream. Surely Kitty Section would love it somehow. Wait a second. You know Kitty Section? Come on. Who doesn't? Bring okay. it on. I have to say, it is kind of a good thing that we can actually uh, get through this. Uh, that it actually does go back through the story I could do this all again. Because that means that Dev can see all the stuff he missed. Well, at least they didn't call him Mr. Pigeon 69. I think they know better. Let's see here. Was there a, a spot up here? Yes. Okay. Oh, we still don't have access to this one yet. Dang it. Okay. Whoops. Went the wrong way. Ack. It's like you can't even see the platform, so it's like, where are you? How, many How are you are supposed to know where to go? Oh yeah, we should also go and talk to Master Fu too, and uh, get some power-ups. That's a wrap. All right, and up here. Okay, here we go. Yes, we get access to this. Oh, oh, cool. We get to see Cat Noir Vision too. It's like we had Ladybug Vision before. So we actually do get to see Cat Noir Vision, which is nice. Uh, so, do we go up the piano steps? Yes! Awesome! Oh, the and... The power of the miraculous will always amaze me. Oh, so we're still blocked. Dang it. Okay, well then let's keep moving then. That stinks that we're still blocked from that. Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 we didn't fall. Okay, good. Oh, the lag. You wouldn't think a digital download would be so laggy because, you know, it's installed on the Switch. Oh, shoot. Did I... I just t went around in a circle. Uh, now I don't remember which way I'm supposed to go. Oh, that's right. Super jump spot. Do I play Genshin Impact? No, I don't. A sound wall? We can't oh, get through! My cup of tea. I have seen that one point for a friend. Noir. Is this game free on Switch? No. Uh, I was able to pre-order it for $40, but the game full price is $50. Uh, but you can also get it on Steam, too. Which, I wanted to get it on Steam, but it wasn't available for pre-order right away. Like, this wasn't I'm available right away either. This. But I got tired of waiting. And when I saw it was available on the Switch for pre-order, and that it was available for, uh, that it was on sale for $40, I was like, yeah, I'll just get it on the Switch. Okay, so what did that just do? I activated something. Now, on to the others! Something activated, and I have no idea what. Oh! Is it this macaron that we just activated? Or did that ju just appear? Cause 
Because we clearly did something there. Gotcha. We cut the feed, get this sound wall down. Okay, that didn't seem like it did anything. Also, I love how the sound wall is literally a wall of- it's literally a wall. It's a nice pun. It's a wall of sound. Doesn't look like it can really go down. Okay. That felt like kind of a letdown though, because like, there wasn't really anything to do there. You're in for a treat! I might power up his attack. Also, it's a shame that we don't get more. Looks like it's where the base is coming from. Yeah, it's a shame that we don't get more orbs for just going back. I guess I thought it would be too easy. Many are there? Yeah, you can just farm. So yeah, I guess I could see why they wouldn't want to let you farm orbs. I got this. Considering the fact that they are kind of a currency in this game. I could do this all day. Because people would then just go over and go in over and over until they completed everything. Never dreamed of playing drums, Ladybug? Now's your big chance. That's too easy. Alright. Maybe it's just my feline sense. But it looks like there's something hidden up in that giant guitar. Even though there was nothing up here the last time we came up here. But yeah, still nothing up there. So I guess we'll wait until we've uh, gotten unlocked all of the power-ups before going back to re-explore these areas. Also, I'm so glad we were finally able to get that, uh, that macro on, because that was annoying before. We were just going right through it. Alright. It's down to you and me. Not going to fall for it. I wonder if you can. I wonder if there's going to be any speedrun right. challenges for these. Now I'm a guitar superhero. Get it? Guitar superhero. It's a guitar hero reference. Ah, I missed the jump. Well, and the opposite of guitar villain. All right, so we get this. So switch back to cat. Oh, we unlocked a macaron. Okay, so I guess that that is what that unlocked. Then was a macaron. Okay. I was born ready. I'm just too good at this. Alright, here we go. Get these guys. Come on. Ah. Get over here. Yeah, Die. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Oh, I missed this macaron before. It's down to you and me. Alright, we've got over half the macarons. Eight. Hey. There we go. I'm just too good at this. Oh, he was stunned even though we didn't even hit him. That was interesting. Oh, there's another he orb said. over here we didn't get. Cool. As he said, Keyboard. he's just too good at it. <laughs> oh, okay. Another macron in here? Yes. Awesome. Sweet. 
Oh, this is the macaron that we were having trouble with before. Yeah, I don't know why it's not letting me grab that. It's like I'm hitting it right on. And it's not letting me grab it for some reason. Oh my gosh! It finally grabbed it! Oh my gosh. I hate it. I hate it. The hitbox was nowhere near where the model was at. It's like, come on, game mill, what are you thinking? I don't have time for this. Oh, relax, Cat Noir. I could do this all day. I thought you have no time for this. <laughs> Right? It's Can't like, <laughs> it's like I don't have time for this. I could do this all day. Make up your mind. It's funny how they have these cute piano keys make noise. Yep. Yeah, I think all the uh, the instrument sound effects is really cool. Okay, now I wanted to see if there was anything over here that we missed. And it looks like there is literally nothing else, nothing over here. Okay, so I feel better now that we didn't miss anything over here. Alright. So let's go ahead and take these guys out. Got it. Nice. Alright, also, Dem, I showed this off earlier, but these stairs are modeled super weird. Because if you look closely... The stairs are smaller than his feet. Like, how are you supposed to actually walk on these stairs? They the on tiptoes. The getting louder. <laughs> We're on the right track. That was a weird choice. I could do this all day. Oh, come on. And last one. That's how it's done. Yes. And there was a spot up here for a ladybug. Come on. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait, no, this is a cat's noir spot, but we can't access it right now. We need the power up. Dang it. We don't have that specific power up yet. Oh, well. So, yeah, we're definitely going to go back and explore once we have all of the power ups. Okay, we went that way before. Let's go this way just in case there's... Oh, wait, no, that's right. I remember now. Yeah, but we should still see if there's anything else over here that we missed. Because I think you can get back up there from here. I love the, the sound effects of walking on the drums. Well, my friend and I are going to play it in co-op tomorrow. Sounds like fun. Yep. Yeah, I invited Raven to join me, but A, they're sleeping right now, and also, they're kind of shy. I was going to uh, let them uh, play on my Switch Lite. The music is getting louder. Which is We're one of... close. Yeah, which is one of the uh, benefits of getting the Switch version, is that I get multiple save files, and I can play it on my Switch Lite as well. You know, it'd be a lot more simple if you just handed over your Miraculous. Check out this new jam. It's gonna be a blast! How does that sound? I don't have time to waste on you scrubs. What's the treble? Ah. Lost for words. You hear that? What's the treble? Tick tock, tick tock, boom! Oh, good. There's one right over here. Destroy these before they go off. Take this, alley cat. Hey. No need for insults. Legends Arceus has prepared me for this. Especially the Arceus battle, right? Yes. Right. 
Akuma must be in her microphone. Soundwave has nothing on Arceus. Cataclysm! You destroyed my stage! Whoopsie! I guess the show's over. Only when the music. Hi, starts. Monkey. And I'm the DJ here. All right. How does that sound? Ah. Get some vitamins, kids. Yes. <laughs> You're too slow. Can you keep up with the tempo? Ah. Sounders, attack. Okay, I guess I've got to defeat these guys first. Miraculous. And we Dang it. Quits. Deal. Ah, oh, I didn't get a chance to hit her at all. I don't have time to waste on you scrubs. Sounders, attack! Ah, oh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh, come on. Sound blast! Ah, come on, get it, jeez. You want some more? Come here. Let me kill you. All right. The Akuma must Got it. Microphone. There, finally. Lucky charm. Well, it's not really the animation that's laggy, it's the game that's laggy cuz there cuz most of the time it doesn't have any issues. Okay. I wonder what happens if you miss those button press for prompts though. Kenoir, the board. Gotcha. Like, do you lose the fight and you have to start over? <laughs> and she dropped the mic. Mic drop! Although, when did he hand it over to Ladybug, though? Time to de evilize you actually don't see him hand it over to Ladybug. He like he holds it out for her, gotcha. but then all, all of a sudden she's got it in her hand. Miraculous Ladybug. What happened? Found it. Yeah, that that cut is so abrupt, though. I mean, that's more of an editing thing than anything else, but it's just, it's just so abrupt. Okay. Moving on. Ugh. Also, water break. Alrighty. We've got some more points to spend, so we might go talk to uh, Master Fu, too. Get more of those abilities. Marinette, go away. We want Adrian. <laughs> There we go. I'm so mad that we can't talk to any of these guys. This Adrian's like, why? Why do they keep being so mean to Adrian? Like, at least Natalie talks to him, but like, dang. Hello, Adrian. What a beautiful day. Like, he can't even see the scrapbook. Like, it does make sense uh, at, for, uh, at, uh, it does sort of make sense that he can't spew Marinette's scrapbook because like, why would Tom show this kid uh, his daughter's scrapbook? Yeah. Oh, we can redo the Mr. Pigeon fight, too. Okay. Uh, let's go talk with Master Fu first. Interact. Is the game on Switch for pre-order? Because it's on PC. Yeah, it's it's out up for, to, to the public now. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, and we can get more power ups. Supercharge. Details. You can send back the enemy projectiles by spinning your gadget. 
<laughs> like, just call it a weapon. They still call it what call them weapons in the show. Gadget. Um. Yeah, that's it's just his baton. And tornado. You're unstoppable. Oh, okay. So we can. Okay. You're unstoppable as long as you hold the L button. Okay. I want to play with those, actually. And we've got just enough for one more hit points, but we could also use a bit more damage. So let's increase our damage. Oh, dexterity. Ooh, okay. Ability? You are agile and can attack, dodge, or counter your enemies. Okay. You move and hit faster and harder when you attack your opponents at the right time. Base damage. Po the base damage indicates the power of your strikes when you attack the enemy. Energy indicates the number of special techniques you can use in a fight. Okay. So... I kind of want to boost dexterity. What do you think of the game so far? I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, we're only uh, two villains in so far. So I'll, well, I'll hold my final judgments until the end of the game. But I am, I am having fun so far. And uh, I'm already coming up with ideas for challenges. Also, welcome to the stream, Tudor Raznov. I hope I said that right. Uh, and also, uh, Ron, uh, welcome to the stream to you as well. Uh, uh, on Steam it just says approximately one more hour. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I pre-ordered it, so it was already downloaded onto my Switch. I wish it wouldn't constantly switch me back to Marinette. Yeah, I pre-ordered it, so it was already downloaded on my Switch, so I was technically allowed able to play this at midnight. Uh, let's see if we can do anything else uh, with Mr. Pigeon. So I don't recall there being any uh, more spots or any like traversal areas, so that we could check. From what you've seen, it's three hours long, depending on how fast you finish. But I think that was early access so you're unsure I don't know if it was early access or not uh, I do know that when you order physical copies through Amazon sometimes you can get them a little bit early depending on uh, how the delivery is going Mr. Pigeon looks so derpy I don't think he looks that bad I think that's just Mr. Pigeon in general in the daytime I marinette oh we get the whole cutscene again with a normal life but there's something about me that's only possible because of who Ladybug is to the people of Paris. A lot of people see her as a symbol of hope. As someone who would never give up. It and they fixed like the glitch sometimes. in the scene. But I guess it comes with the territory. In the trailer, we one of her hairbands is invisible. Someone who helps us get a grip on things. Especially in hard times. Someone who reminds us that whenever we seem to lose hope, giving up is not the solution. Ladybug saved Paris it's again. News, what about Cat Noir? Today, Mayor Bourgeois launches his new Paris cleaning strategy, supported by a squad of new and expensive innovative cleaning robots. Mayor Bourgeois seems to be intent on putting an end to, and I quote, an unsightly and stinky flying rodent problem. No wonder he got akumatized. Mr. Pigeon 68. I may have given you your power so you could take your revenge on Mayor Bourgeois and his shameful robots, but in return... Six, it's a 68. I'll bring you Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous... So yeah, he looks Breaking on model. News. Mayor Bourgeois' Operation Clean Paris has just been sabotaged by none other than the infamous villain, Mr. Pigeon. He just deployed an army of ominous pigeon bots that are causing havoc in the city. Once again, Paris is relying on our beloved superheroes, Ladybug and Cat Noir. Mr. Pigeon? Again? Yeah, thank you, Nadia, for actually giving Cat Noir some credit. Blong. Uh, did you get the extra version of the game with the... Cat Blong and Ladybug upgrade suits. I didn't know there was an extra version of the game. Uh, neither did I. I did see a Ladybug upgrade suit uh, 
was posted on Twitter. Is that extra DLC you have to pay for? I need to switch back to Cat Noir. <laughs> I love that he's thesis there. Yep. And of course we got some stairs over here there that we can't uh, do anything with. Okay. I could do this all oh. day. Oh, I forgot about this part. One point for Cat Noir. It'll be interesting to to just try to speed run this. Orbs, orbs everywhere. Where? <laughs> <laughs> there are no orbs anywhere, Cat Noir. Maybe it's his energy. This has your name on it. Oh, and yeah, because this is the tutorial spot. So we have to dodge everything, so... DODGE! I think there's DLC coming soon. I mean, the game already costs enough. That's a wrap. But I am looking forward to doing some challenge runs in this, especially if it does end up being a bit shorter. It's like one challenge run I want to do is, can you beat the game without any power-ups? I think that would be an interesting challenge run to do. Oh, there's a Macron over there I never got. Okay. Many are there. Oh, and there is a ladybug spot over here. Okay, so we need to go over there with ladybug. Which means we do definitely want to explore over here. Yeah, yeah, nice. Some areas are not available right away. You should come back later. Um Oh no, okay. Yeah, we still don't have it. Okay. All right, fine then. Don't let me explore a little bit more. You're too stubborn for your own good, Mr. Pigeon. Oh, there's an orb over here we missed. Yeah, but that still doesn't make there orbs everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> If I'm sneezing, that means... Oh, they cut him Today off. Today is the day the pigeons take a stand against those heartless Parisians who ignored them for too long. Now, give me your miraculous ladybug and cat noir, or else. You're miraculous. I want them, and I want them now! Also, that scene is really awkward with Ladybug because she's so short and he's so tall and it's like, Ladybug, watch where you are hitting! Jeez! That, like, she gets relentless! <laughs> that was the single herb he was talking about. Looks like your reserve army has just fled the battle zone, Mr. Oh. Pigeon. Oh. You're too stubborn for your own good, Mr. Pigeon. Feast on this! Pigeons will reign supreme! Here we go. Mr. Pigeon's face, rest in peace. <laughs> what I'm wondering is, if you don't press the button in time... Yeah. Huh? What am I supposed to do with this? Yeah, I kind of want to do a test of that. Maybe we'll come back here and see what happens when you don't do it. Because this is the shortest <laughs> level. So, like, can you beat these without doing the... without the button prompts. And 
And there we go. No more, no more evil, evil doing for you, little Akuma. Time to de evilize! Gotcha! Gotcha! Bye bye, bye, -bye Mr. Butterfly. Miraculous Ladybug! See, one of the reasons why I did want the Steam version, though, is because the Steam version will most likely get mods. Where am I? And I would love to be able to play this with mods. Oh, it's gum. You thought it was a coin? No, yeah, it's gum. Yeah, I thought it was a coin at first, too. How do we only get the one star? We sped through that so quickly. Is it because we still have... Uh, there's still orbs and macrons to find? Probably. There doesn't seem to be a time indicator. Because we sped run that. Okay, should we move on, or should we go back and try again to see what happens if you don't do any of the command prompts? I'll let you guys decide. Uh, actually, I think we could do a poll, too. Usually had DV DLC levels, but I think someone said you'll have to defeat Mr. Pigeon 72 times for new villains besides the main six. <laughs> uh, I read... That sounds like a, like, it sounds like they were memeing, like they were, uh, joking, but that would certainly be interesting. That sound that's, that sounds to me like Mew is under the truck. Oops, wrong way. That whole theory of defeating him 72 times just sounds like Mew is under the truck. There is a costume pack. Oh, okay. Interestingly, it says a planned release is the 25th, but it's not out, but there's no price yet. <laughs> Today or? To yeah, 25th of October. Okay. But it's. And I could check no the shop. I am in the store right now. At least Does not it let in you Germany. At least. It? No, it says um, a planned release is twenty fifth, twenty um, fifth of October, twenty twenty two. Hmm. Maybe it's referring to the fact that the game is released today. In the daytime, I'm Marinette, just a normal right, girl. All right, and skip. Cause we just watched that. Oh yeah, there's a and one of the costumes and the only costume for Shanoa is uh Shablon. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do they have to do him so dirty? Is this revenge for him winning the poll? That would take like eight hours to defeat Mr. Pigeon seventy two times. I could see it being sixty eight times. Since this is Mr. Pigeon 68. You like to dance? Yeah, I'm gonna try doing this as Ladybug this time. Because we're not on the challenge run yet. I do kind of want to hear her dialogue. I can't, down, I can't put it in the... Card. These orbs are everywhere. Yet. Did you hear what she said? Not gonna let you turn Paris into a pigeonocracy. <laughs> we can get to him. Let's go. Maybe tomorrow. I'll let you know. How many are there? Yeah, we'll see. A ladybug's got more health than Cat Noir. Cat Noir started with two hearts. She starts with four. We haven't upgraded her at all. Ow! I thought I did. I thought I did dodge that perfectly, but okay. Score one for ladybug. Uh, you're lazy, so you're using voice to text. So if there's anything that 
Oh, no worries. I mean, even if you weren't doing voice to text, typos happen all the time. Sorry for disturbing you, little birdies. The only time I ever really I can't handle. uh nitpick Oh, there's two orbs over here that I missed. Okay. The only time I ever really nitpick spelling and grammar is if someone is being a Chloe, uh, or, like, if someone's being a real biscuit, or, uh, if it's, like, a friend of mine that I'm just, you know, teasing them about. You like to dance? Alright. Gotcha. And, yep. Alright, and one more. And the fact that you're pretty much dyslexic. Hey, no worries, it's fine. I don't even see it. <laughs> yeah. It is perfectly understandable, though. Yeah. Even if I would see it. <laughs> yeah, but like there was this one jerk who was like uh, being really rude and arguing because I made a because I made a comment on somebody's video about Pokemon remakes about how I don't think we're gonna get uh, black and white remakes until the next Nintendo system because when you think about it, all of the Pokemon remakes no are. Risk for the weary. Always, like, it's always one remake per game console, uh, per, per main series console, because we got uh, Gen 1 remakes in on the Advance, Gen 2 remakes on the DS, Gen 3 remakes on the 3DS, and Gen 4 remakes on the Switch. So I was saying that we're going to get black and white remakes on the next big Nintendo console. And somebody's like, oh, but, you know, there were technically two. And I'm like, no, let's go. Was it wasn't technically a remake. Yes, we returned to Kanto, but it was a spin-off intended to sell more intended to bring people from Pokemon Go over to the main series. And this bis this total biscuit decides to argue with me uh, about it and then he keeps bringing up completely other stuff. And he's like, "Oh, well, the game de developer said that it was said that it's not a spin-off. It's a main series game." It's like for right. one thing, main series games are not, like, remakes are not main series games. They're remakes of main series games. So by you definition, they are guy. not main series. They are remakes. But yeah. Again, Ladybug, watch where you're hitting, girl. Jeez. But he decided to be, be super rude about it and continue arguing. And he called me the R word, trying to say that I'm stupid. So I wasn't giving, oh yeah, I was about to do it, but, so I decided not to give in to his bullying. Let's get to work dealing with these robots. Yeah, I decided not to give in to his bullying and just, uh, you know, Dodge basically this. I replied by laughing, saying, you know, I would be offended by you trying to use a mental illness, uh, trying to use a mental disorder supreme. to call, to insult my intelligence. But I'm too busy laughing at your poor spelling, because he spelled it art rarted, which I actually couldn't help but laugh at. And he also had a couple other spelling errors in there. And he kept being childish about it too, calling me a grammar Nazi. And it's like, I was just showing you that you're not going to get to me. Normally I don't care about people's grammar, but he was being childish, so I was like... Well, if you're going to be childish and rude, then I might as well respond to you in kind. You're miraculous. But at the I same time, I also wasn't I about to play now. his game either. So I basically told him afterwards that I was muting him. Oh, my work alarm. Okay, so I guess it's a... Uh... Okay, so I guess this answers our question, though. You have to push it. Yep. Yeah, you have to press the button. Yep. Otherwise, it's always a redo. Yeah. 
Just infinite re reduce. Looks like your reserve army has just fled the battle zone, Mr. <laughs> Pigeon. <laughs> Dodge, pigeon bots! For a second there, I thought you said dodge, pigeon bots. Dodge! Dodge this. Okay. If you insist. Are you happy? Good I did luck. what you told me to. Pigeons will reign supreme! Or not. Yeah, Cat Noir is taller, so he actually hits Mr. Pigeon Lucky in the right charm. spot. Ladybug, on the other hand, is like, dang, Ladybug, watch those kicks! Like, jeez, girl. What am I supposed to do with this? You know, they have updates for the open world source, maybe like space time and unifications, like power ups and all that. It'd be nice if they had like a DLC <laughs> where you can play as some of the other heroes. <laughs> like, yeah, you would still have these cutscenes here where you play as Ladybug and Cat Noir. But that's also part of the reason why I wanted to get the Switch version, or the Steam version, so I could play with mods, because I'm sure somebody's going to mod the PC yeah, version little, to be able to play as other heroes. Because, like, how cool would it be if someone modded the game? Gotcha. So that you play as Lady Noir and Mr. Bug? Miraculous Ladybug! Like, even if it's just different skins and stuff. What happened? Where am I? Found it! Thing that's making fun- yeah. Making fun of someone with a mental disorder, mental disease or whatever you call it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not cool. And I even told- I even said that, uh, in my, uh, original comment where I was, uh, laughing at his, uh, bad spelling. But yeah, I ended up just blocking him, because people like that, they're not worth your time. Uh, like, when I get the people like that, like, I try to show them that they're not getting to me before I block them, just so that they know that they're not winning, I'm just removing myself from this toxic situation because they're not worth my time. Yeah. Because you could continue to argue with people like that, but it's really, there's really no point. Also, water break. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't deal with that. Yep. We're, we're here to have fun. You'd like a Mr. Bug skin for Ladybug and a late Noir for Cat Noir. Would be cool. Or maybe instead of akumatized villains, we could have senti monsters. Yes. Uh, and I kind of need to use the restroom. So I'll be right back. And then I'm also going to charge these Joy-Cons a little bit so we don't have to worry about them dying today. <laughs> and then we'll go talk to Luca and move on to the next level. Alright, so I'll be right back. Also, if anyone wants to make a Kitty Noir skin, I would be eternally grateful.
All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Ron. Welcome, uh, welcome back to the stream. Uh, no, no worries. I was just going to the bathroom real quick. We will be continuing once I fix my blanket. <laughs> I was, <laughs> was my avatar in a weird position? <laughs> All right, moving on. All right, Luca, let's go. Ready to go, Marinette? Max is expecting us. I'm sure his game is going to be awesome. Okay, let's go. I literally just read that. I'm not reading it again. <laughs> ha! Take that! Adrian does get to go! Join the gang at the barge to play Max's game. Looks like someone just sat on me and I'm a shoe. What are the police officers doing out here? Was there a crime or something recently? Shouldn't you be in school, Adrian? Uh, school's already out for the day. Also, I just noticed that Adrian does not have any hair bounce at all. Marinette has hair bounce, but not Adrian, which is a shame. Oh, Chloe's here. Me? I'm not doing anything. Just walking around, you know. Oh. And there's Gamer 3.0. So that'll be how we uh, replay this upcoming level. Oh, and we got someone here. Uh, Zelia. Have you ever played Ultimate Mecha Strike 3? It's the best. Uh, girl, Adrian was... Uh, well, almost was supposed to be in a tournament for the game. Also, I know this is the size of the bridge in the show, too, but it's really small. Ah, oh, we can't talk to anyone. Guys! Guys, I made it! I stuck away from the house! I'm here! <laughs> I want to play, too! Guys! Guys! Why? Why do they hate Adrian so much? Oh, we can't go downstairs, I guess. Okay, we have to play as Marinette. After playing a few games... Talk about next level stuff, Max! Your game is totally off the chain! You really nailed it this time! You're trying to be nice with me, aren't you? It's not final. There's still room for some improvements, and the format is not so smooth when... Take credit where it's due, Max. You're a natural at creating games, and that one just beats everything. It's even better than most of the games out there. You... you think so? Take my word for it. I think we just got our hands on a masterpiece. This is the ultimate Mecha Strike 3 champion speaking. I should know. Uh, you and him. It's like, you were both... Uh, in that tournament together, Marinette. After a while... You have some nerve slamming my game right in front of me, especially after the five of you all said it was great in the first place. Do you even know how much time I spent developing it? Oh, um, the Marinette uh, imposter must be back. How didn't I- Oh, Imposternet! Imposternet! That's it! We're calling her Imposternet! Uh... Would you like to see Style Queen Adrian suit? Oh, oh, like his actual, his modeling outfit? Reflect all outfits, the pajamas, swimwear, and Adrian ber with his beret from Chat Blanc, yeah. Uh, don't be mad, but even if season 5 is still perfect, Luca and Marinette ship. I mean, they, they were good together, it's just that, you know, things happen. If Luca had found out her identity before that episode, then there wouldn't have been any issues, so... How didn't I realize sooner you were nothing but a bunch of hypocrites? Max, what's gotten into you? What is your game, all of you? If you decide to gang up on me, do you actually enjoy making me feel terrible? I wonder if uh, Hawk Moth... Well, no. Uh, he doesn't have the Peacock Miraculous yet. Did maybe Mayura create a senti monster that is causing all these negative emotions? Take it, e take it easy, Max. None of us said anything about bad about your game. You know why? Because we all enjoyed it. All of us. 
You know, we do, we did see uh, Mayura in the trailer, so that might actually be it. It's true, your game is great. I don't put up with lies, especially when they're being told to my face. Now, how about leaving me alone? I'm out of here. Huh? What just happened? Ask Alia where Max is gone. Uh, Nino? We talked to you first? Is this game worth the $50? So far, we're having a lot of fun with it. What just happened? This is crazy! We just walked out of the room and then BAM! Max went raving mad about us tearing down his game! I know, it doesn't make any sense. The poor Max sounded truly hurt. Are you gonna talk to him? Or Adrian can talk some sense into him! Uh, Adrian's not here. Uh, I would love to talk to him as Adrian though. Can we just say Adrian could talk sense, some sense into him? If there's one person who can talk some sense into Max, it's Adrian. He wasn't here with us, which means Max didn't see him talking smack about him or his game. You're right, it totally makes sense. Adrian is probably the one Max would trust the most right now. I know, I know, it's because he's so, I know, it's because he's so perfect. I mean, respectful. Marinette, why? Oh, it only went up a little bit. Maybe because we claimed that Adrian was perfect, so it only went up a little bit? He's not perfect, Marinette. Nobody's perfect. Just know if every game goes on a price discount for Christmas. Uh, I mean, I pre-ordered it for $40, so I don't know. <laughs> Marinette is a whole simp. Can Adrian actually talk to them, though? Nope. Uh, I was hoping to unlock something for Adrian, but nope. What just happened? It's like Max has been hallucinating. I know, something's decidedly stinky here. I tried to talk some sense into him, but he just ran off. I'm really afraid he'll do something he'll regret. What should we do, Marinette? Don't worry too much, he'll be just fine. You're never wrong about people. Stop freaking out, Alia! Max is a big boy. He'll be okay. Okay, that actually sounds kind of rude. Oh, no, 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 no. Trust me, Marinette. His face and babbling said otherwise. Trust me. Max is not okay at all. We need to find him as fast as possible. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, so I guess this is kind of like how in Persona you can say the wrong thing. Like, there's the right thing and that increases your friendship the most. But then there's also another option and if you don't choose the right option, then you don't get the best results. That is kind of cool that they're taking a little bit from Persona. He's, it seems he was running back home near the uh, Place de Fassage. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, that's really cool. As and Persona are really great games, so it <laughs> should be taking something from it. As Adrian talked to Max, I can't believe what Max just said. None of us could have told him such terrible things. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Marinette? No need to say more, Tiki. A malicious copycat, killing off innocent people's self-confidence. Does that ring a bell? It has to be the same person who tricked the customers of the shop earlier, but pretending to be me. However, Max was very specific. He saw all of us slamming his game, not just me this time. Could be... Could there be more than one copycat? Something's definitely off here. You're right. This does bear investigation. First order of business, find Max before he gets accumatized a third time. Oh, too late, hun. Oh, Roger's here. I think I saw your friend Max running towards the Place de Fassage. Yeah, Tiki does look cute. So, it actually wants us to play as Adrian and I'm happy. As Adrian, go talk to, Mar to, go talk to Max. Okay, Clonica. Oh, she can actually create clones. Okay. That explains why her name is Clonica. And we can't actually go this way, so we're gonna have to go this way instead. And cross the crosswalk. Yeah, because as civilians, we can't walk in the middle of the street. Whoa. Um, what just happened? Was that Joy-Con drift, or...? What? Do I have to go through as Marinette? 
Because that's where it tells me to go. What the heck? Why is it not letting me go that way? Let's see here. I know we can access the park from Marinette's house. Oh, maybe we can cross the street over here or... Okay. Okay, yeah. Because I... Because we can def I know that we can cro uh, get into the park from Marinette's house, so... Hopefully, we can actually go this way now. There we go. Lila, you better not be uh, acting out as chameleon. Adrian, I heard Max calling for you from the Place de Fossage. Hi there, Chloe. Chloe... So you found Max? Oh, Adrikins, I'm so glad you're not hanging out with at the barge with Dupin Chang and her bunch of losers. Was taking a picture of Max really necessary? He's not exactly doing well right now. Oh, that. It's just for my personal diary. Don't worry. You spoke to Max? How is he? Not that I care, but apparently that baker girl and her gang all attacked him about his lame new game or whatever. Yikes. Poor little Max. You think you know someone, but at least now he sees how worthless they are. Alright, I'll speak to Max and shed some light on all of this. So did they actually talk to Adrian? Because we never really saw them talking to him. And Adrian wasn't able to go there by himself, so... That was weird. Alright, Max. You don't like Chloe. Yeah. Uh... Welcome to the club, I suppose. <laughs> Max, hang in there. What happened for you to be so upset? Adrian, thanks for coming over. I know you're very busy, like 92.8% of your daily 24 hours, which leaves you an average of 7.2 of actual free time a day. I always have time for a friend. Chloe told me terrible things about the others, enjoying taking down your game in front of you. Please tell me none of this is true. Marinette, Alia, Nino, these two, those two-faced friends. It turns out even Chloe pales in comparison to them. Even she wouldn't take so much pleasure in making me feel so bad. I find it hard to believe, Max. There must be an explanation for all this, and I'll make sure to find it. There's nothing you can do. They hated my game and made sure and made it sure I know it. Snap out of it, Max. You're a great game designer, probably the best. Don't let such thoughts get into you, please. We meet again, gamer. Surely I won't let those two-faced friends of yours lessen your talents. I give you the opportunity to turn Paris into your playground, where you can reign supreme as the game master. The goal of the game is to bring me Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculous. Talk about next level stuff, Hawk Moth. I'm 100% game. <laughs> so here you are, Ma Marinette and Kagami. <laughs> Even though she's a main part of the story, I still don't like her. I mean, it's fair to find stuff the, that you don't like about her. Like, I don't hate her as a character. I just hate how sometimes her uh, her feel her crush on Adrian is portrayed. Like, it's not it's not always portrayed as true love. Sometimes it is. <laughs> the Hawkmoth voice. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not Keith Silverstein. I can't do the voice perfectly. That's the best that I can do. Also, water break. Okay. Find the vortex that leads to Gamer's world. Oh gosh, I have a feeling I'm gonna love this level. Like, the... The, the Mitsuo Kubo level in Persona 4 is one of my favorite levels just because it's such a, a it, it's such a nod to classic 16-bit uh, video games. So we get another cityscape which is fun. Although I think it's still technically the same city and everything. We're just seeing it with different skins and everything. Yeah, this is pretty cool, though. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. 
Also, I just noticed the sound effects. And we're up here. I really like the sound effects when you're on specific platforms and stuff. Stuff that's like unique to each level. Like, there's some pretty good details in this. Oh, can I not press this button? Okay, that's interesting. That looks like the buttons that we usually press with Cat Noir's baton. I got oh, this. Oh, there we go. That's how it's done. Oh, I missed one of those. Okay. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, platforming. Oh my goddess. Ah, oh. there we go. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, that's how we press that. Okay, that's interesting. You're in for a treat. I'm just too good at this. So we're supposed to go back down. Can we go this way? Oh, we can't. Okay. Okay, so we're supposed to go this way now. Oh. Got another power up, or another uh, orb. Gosh, I love running on these things. That's so cool. Okay, yeah, we've already been that way. Anything over here? Any more orbs or macrons? Okay, we were already over there. Okay, grab that one. All right, it's down to you and me. Welcome back, Dino Coffee. You just finished the game. Well, no spoilers, please. This is my first time playing. We're we're taking our time and exploring. So yeah, hopefully we can actually get a decent amount of game of. Uh, of gameplay out of this. It's like, I've heard that it's, uh, that it's only three hours if you're, like, not really exploring. So, I guess we'll see how long it takes us to get through this initial playthrough. But we will eventually do, like, challenge runs and stuff, too. Oh. Hello. Oh, okay. We entered the vortex. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't think we can go back now, though. There was a super jump spot over there. Oh, well, I guess we'll do that later. Oh, okay. Oh, but this stage looks really cool from, to me. I like this one. Oh, yeah. This seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, that's literally just where we came from. Okay. So, we just go in there to get that macron and that's it. Okay. Interesting. I'm guessing just it's because we pressed that button. My many skills. <laughs> I'm just too good at this. Also, I want to try that to uh, that tornado spin that we got to. I mean, I'm a button masher at heart, but I still want to try the other moves and stuff. If you go fast enough, it always plays a song. Yeah, that's cool. I want to I wanna do that again. Oh, there's a platform over there. Ah, I fell off and I messed it up. <laughs> Cat don't worry, the explorer. Oh, uh, there's a super jump spot over there. Uh, looks like this is where we're supposed to go. Okay, we're supposed to go that way. 
But, uh... Let's, let's explore this then, because there's an orb down there for us to get. Oh, can we not go down there? Oh, we can't go down there for some reason? Okay, I guess we can't access that yet. Unless we have to access it from this specific spot right here. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess we move on then. Oh, hold on. Let's oh, that was just a street lamp. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and grab that. And that. Oh. Got another one of these. Oh, shoot. Uh, I guess we can't. I guess we only get one shot at that. I could do this all day. Oh. Get all these mini gamers out of the way. I could do this all day. Oh shoot! I wanted to test out the uh, the tornado. There we go. And looks like we've got another wall here. Doesn't look like we can interact with that. Also, that's another one of those platforms that we can just run around on for a while. So, does that eventually come back, or are we just not able to do that again until we try the level again? I mean, I'm assuming that's probably the case. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So let's do our super jump. Grab that. Doesn't look like there's anything really Oh hey, we actually can land on that ledge there. Okay. Got this. Alright. Yep, I was I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, nice. Uh way to go! Oh, I'm out of energy. Okay, that's why. And that's a wrap. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to do the tornado and I ended up doing the other skill instead. Oh, hello. Even though it's literally like right there, like why? Like it you could literally just press that in with your hand. Oh, okay. Do we need ladybug for this? Okay. We do, but it looks like it's just to pull this platform over. So we should be able to... Ah! To just do that. And... Ah! Oh, come on. Yes! Made it! Awesome! And now we can super junk back. Awesome. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay, and <laughs> that was traumatizing. Uh, okay. Ah, why can't I do it? Yeah. All right. That's too easy. Why can't I do the tornado thing? Oh wait, I, oh wait, did I buy it? Now that I think about it, I don't remember if I actually bought that or not yet. Uh, let's see here, powers. Spinner. Oh, wait, that's Lady. Okay, no, yeah, it's Cat Noir. Okay, so yeah, we did buy this, so we're good then, okay. And we're still missing one exploration power. Uh, I think for both of them, actually, too. Yeah. Okay. And protection. Protect yourself from enemy projectiles by spinning your gadget. Yeah, I think this... Let's see here. Concentrate your power by holding down the button 
to spin quickly by releasing it. That's what we were doing. Whoops. Super spinner. Hold the button to make the spin even more powerful. And as you're unstoppable as long as you hold the button. Okay, interesting. That was the funniest thing you've ever heard. Uh, oh, your cousin came into the room and whispered in your ear that you <laughs> farted. <laughs> okay. Not gonna lie, that sounds like something Ben Tennyson would do. I got this. Okay, come on. Meow. Ah. Okay. Okay. Not worth it. Not worth it. Ah, get over here. You're not going to fall for it. Yeah, we're losing health quickly. Uh, okay, we're supposed to go that way. Is leveling up Cat Noir worth the grind? I mean, I'm mainly using him, so... If you're only using Cat Noir, I'd say it's definitely worth it. Of course not. Why level up the character you're using? Would make sense, Down right? You and me. Cat Noir is perfect the way he is. That's all you've got. Cat Noir doesn't need any leveling up. He's already perfect the way he is. Alright. Oh, we're actually sliding. Ah! Oh, no! Why? Why did it make me go all the way back? Because it can do this. It's mean. Oh, and we got another cat in the war spot here. I'm glad that this level actually is like, yes, play as cat noir. Open sesame. <laughs> really? Oh, <Go> down. <laughs> that just makes me think of that one uh, commercial for McDonald's uh, when Aladdin the King of Thieves was uh, getting ready to come out. And McDonald's was going to do uh, some, uh, was going to, was going to do Happy Meal toys and stuff for them. Why can't I get over there? I guess I got to do this first. But, uh, like, it was the daughter and her dad were at, uh, were, were at McDonald's. Or was it Burger King? But, like, they, they go to this, they, they, they go up to the door uh, and her dad's like this total dork and he's he goes up to it because you know they do the whole open sesame thing in the movie and he's like open sesame expecting the door to open and then it doesn't open and her, his daughter's just like come on dad although not gonna lie my dad would totally do that oh cool. I love how if you don't want to do the platforms jumps there you could just come up here instead Ah! Come on! Oh my goodness! Why? Why did you turn the camera? I'm right back. Okay. Oh my goodness! Why? I can't see what I'm doing now. Oh hey, there we go. Why did it force me to turn the camera? Well, now it's like it wants me to go this way. Oh, because we landed down there. Okay. Alright, here we go. Hit me up here. Thank you. Okay. Oh, platformers! No, I just want a button mash. Why? Why must you make me platform jump? I'm Cat Noir, not Mario. Maybe if we were playing as Marinette, 
It's -a me, Malino. It's like, ah, oh, we get the reference there. Ah! Okay, good. We actually fell all the... So, as long as we don't land on the platforms underneath of us, then we don't have to restart completely. That is super annoying. Ah! No! No! Oh, it's so painful. Oh! Kador is standing like an aggressive caveman. Okay, come on. Ah! <laughs> Why? Why? Oh my goodness, I'm going to hate having to come back here. We are not coming back here until we've got every single power up and it will actually be worth our time. No! All of my hate! There should be times where you can use your baton instead of jumping or using the yo-yo. Yes! Yes! If this was the show, they would definitely be using their weapons. Ah, oh, I wish I had starlight so I could use feather mode. Oh, feather mode would be so convenient right now. Okay, we made this to this platform. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I almost fell again. <laughs> At the very least, there shouldn't be anything below us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Finally. Finally. There was nothing in here either. I don't remember seeing anything in there. Now we can go over this way, though. Oh, okay. Then what's the point of them spinning? Cat Noir just defies the laws of physics. It's like, this would be an interesting challenge if you actually moved with the blocks. Got it, jeez. Depth perception there was crazy. Oh my gosh, we're finally away from that. Oh, okay, we can't go that way. That's why. Okay. What? I don't have time for this. Thank you. Oh my goodness. That's how it's done. And we can't go through there. Oh, there's a macaron up there. All right. There we go. Okay. Oh my goodness, I almost fell again. No! <laughs> this is why I don't play Mario. Oh my goodness. Well, you summoned that. You said you almost fell, but didn't. Okay, okay, we can finally move on. Uh, it's, it's, I got it for $40 on sale pre-order, but it's the full price old. 50. Lady's favorite, Ladybug's secret crush, Cat Noir. Ah. Technically, he's not wrong. <laughs> Unstoppable, beware of the power of these enemies' blows. They're, they are impossible to parry. No pain, no gain. Oh, it's impossible to be to to parry. Be careful. Just hit him with the stick.
All right, and, oh, there's more this way. Gosh, another one of those? Jeez. Oh, we can't do that until we defeat this vortex over here. Oh. It's on sale for the Switch at the moment for $35? Wow. It's $35.99 right now? Oh, well, there's Max. This has your name on it. Ram, beware of his minions. They are fast and coming to get you. Oh! Ow! Awesome! Ow! I don't feel no. so good. Stop! Okay, Ladybug has her own health bar, so... Oh man, I have to switch to Ladybug, because... Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. Oh, this is crazy. Kuma, it's gotta be in his controller. I should be extra careful. No! Oh! Stay in such circumstances again? Oh, yes. No! <laughs> no! Why must you taunt me, Keith? Oh my goodness. Oh, that was painful. Oh my gosh, wow. That was hard. Yeah, F's in the chat. Oh wow. Cause they stunned me. And it said that uh, these guys are... You can't parry them either. I mean, I guess I could try doing some dodge rolls. Oof. And we can't go back to Master Fu to get uh, boosts either. Ack. Oh, come on. Get over it. And the second time. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. This is painful. This has your name on it. Beware of his minions, they are fast and coming to get you. It doesn't say that it's unblockable. Okay. Meow. Ah, that was wasted. Awesome. Ah, no. Way to go. No. You brought this on yourself. Ah. Oh. No R. Although I didn't think beating you would be so. <laughs> Go crawl in a ditch! <laughs> ah! Stream went down? Uh oh. It says it's still alive on my end. Okay. Yeah, it's still live. We're still good. Uh -huh. Yeah, Ron says saying that uh, the stream's down for them. Yeah, but it's, we're still alive and everything. Do I play any other games? Uh, yes, we play a lot of Pokemon. In fact, we're doing a challenge right now in Legends Arceus where we can't leave the Fieldlands until we perfect the decks. I should be extra careful. Oh, jeez. Hey! 
Oh my goodness, why? Oh. I don't oh. feel so good. No. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think I finally got it. Oh, I somehow managed to dodge that. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, I can't do anything with that. Dang it. I just have to live. And that's a wrap. Whoo! We lived. We made it. Oh my gosh. Oh, we finally got through there. That was tough. But now we can finally move on with our super jumps. We got a macaron. Okay. No, I don't play Genshin Impact. I already asked it. Act! You answered it, I see. That time I just ran right off of there. Oh. Turn Paris into a video game? Ah. Really? One other one of those walls that we have to smash, but we don't have the power up for it. Oh, we've got to go this way. Okay. Oh. Oh, hello. Okay. Well, the very least we can confirm we haven't gone this way, because there's... Yeah, I thought we did, but there's orbs over here, and this definitely does feel familiar. Or, er, does feel new, so. Oh my gosh, is this gonna be another one of those? Nope. Oh. Okay, good. It did, it did give us the macron. Okay, that's good. Alright, Ladybug. It's your turn. Bring the platform over here. There we go. You don't know a bunch about Pokemon, but you like Jaden Animations videos? Yeah, I love playing Pokemon. I've been playing Pokemon since I was a little kid. Back when there were only 151 Pokemon. Like, I remember seeing the first movie in theaters. Yeah, yeah, nice! Oh, that's better. Oh, man. Oh! It's Macron over here, too. And also an energy orb. Oh, come on. Stop falling into the void. The okay. void is calling. It's calling. And no one... Oh, gosh. Okay. And no one knows how deep it goes. Oh, my gosh. Stop that. Just jump. Oh, do we have to press all of these buttons? Oh, okay. Yeah, we do have to press all of these buttons. Well, there's that. Okay, and that's gonna unlock a super jump. Again, your the button is right there. You could just press it with your hand. You don't need to use your stick. In what fact, fun. in fact, Ladybug could do this. Like, I get the one in the, uh, in the sound wave level, because that one is a bit out of reach. So yes, I get needing to use Cat Noir Stick for that, but Ladybug is fully capable of pressing a button. Well, I suppose technically she could also do that with her, she could also reach those buttons with her, with her yo-yo too. Okay, I think we've got to come up here first. Yeah. They they form stairs, that's why. Okay. Oh, and we just barely missed this platform. <laughs> stick or rip. <laughs> rip the stick. Yeah, again, we're sliding on this thing. Oh, come on, though. Ah! No!
One too short, one too far. <laughs> there we go. Oh, can we? Oh, okay, because we have to super jump. Okay. Oh, and my knee's blocking the webcam. Oh, uh, hello. Why is my avatar stuck? There it goes. Okay, that was weird. Okay, find the next vortex. So we're all sort of supposed to go after this then. Do we have to backtrack? Okay. Yep, we go this way. Now! The camera padding! Oh my goodness. Can I make it up there? Yes! Oh, that's as far as we can go though. Okay. Yes! Ah! There we go. You're in for a treat. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Your dream is finding the ancient city of Atlantis. Well, good luck. Me. One point for Cat Noir. All the points for Cat Noir. He's putting in literally all the work. I love how this level is basically, yeah, this is the level where you play as Cat Noir. Oh my goodness. And now we have to do this vortex again. Oh, that was my crew. Besides the one I just got? See that orb there? No, no, uh, go right. Oh, okay, there it is. Thank you. You're welcome. And the super jumps, Bob. Yeah, but we have to do the vortex first. Yeah. Find, uh, oh, yeah. I thought it said find the find right the order, drop. but... Okay. Oh man. Ah, oh, so much platforming. Ah! Oh! Got it. Can I make it to that one? Ha! Ha 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 ha! Take that platformer. Ah! Oh. Take that platforms. I have out. defeated you. And then jump down into the void. Yup. <laughs> okay, now we can move on. Uh, do you think Plog would enjoy chocolate milk since that's more milk than chocolate? Or milk chocolate. Uh, I mean... He's more of a cheese. There. I don't think we, we've really seen Plag really being like, yeah, I want milk. Plag is just like, I want cheese. Ha! Gotcha. I could do this all day. Okay. And another vortex already, dang. I could do this all day. Yeah, yeah, nice! Come on. Meow. Hey, I actually got the tornado to work. I'm not going to fall for it. All right. Let me get the orbs back. All right. Oh, we immediately start with a lucky charm. Okay. Interesting. A camera. Okay, that's unexpected. Are they supposed to blind him with the flash or something? What did Frightening Gale want to turn Paris into? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh wow. Oh, this is, do you want to be a millionaire? Uh, a giant musical. Good answer. Oh, that animation takes a while. What did Reverser use to get around? His feet, a giant paper plane. Paper wings are a trampoline. Giant paper plane. 
Poor gamer. It's like... Uh, what oh, I weapon- I didn't know that. <laughs> what weapon did Paris- did Princess Fragrance- Fra Princess Fragrance Weird. wield? Perfume gun. At your service, Princess Fragrance! May would kill me if I got that one wrong. <laughs> what happened when Despair Bear touched someone? They turn into teddy bears, turn into toddlers, sing them a lullaby, he can manipulate them. There we go. You gotta work on classwork. Uh, so you'll just be lurking? Okay. Good luck with your schoolwork. Befana punished the bad guy, or er, pat punished the bad by turning them into spinach, licorice, oh. coal, or chocolate. Coal. Good answer. <laughs> spinach, chocolate. Yeah, she turns you into chocolate. The girl who was akumatized into stormy weather lost a contest for TV Weather Girl. Miss Sour France. Sauerkraut girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sauerkraut girl. <laughs> what was the specialty of the mime's weapons? They were made of chocolate. They all came out of his hat. They never worked. They were invisible. Never mind. You just check the classroom. Chocolate. There's nothing for you to do. Oh, that's nice then. Uh, it's currently $36 in the UK until November 1st. And then it's $40. Or er, 40 quid. Okay. Well, hey, get it on sale. Uh, who was- cause I- cause I will say, I am having a lot of fun. Uh, who was Frozer before being akumatized? A ski instructor, a refrigerator salesman, a snowman, a figure skater. Snowman, of course. <laughs> we still need to get Hawk Penguin trending. What happened when no. the Sapatis ate? They disappeared, they fell asleep, they multiplied, they turned into food. They multiplied. They turned into food. <laughs> Good answer. And for the last question, what lucky charm did Ladybug use against Pixelator? What? All right, I'm drawing a blank here. You... Uh, oh shoot. I think it was a camera. How am I supposed to remember every lucky charm I used? Any ideas, Cat Noir? No, but how about we make a sel we, we make a selfie with that pocket camera you got from using your lucky charm? Don't you want to see ourselves in a vintage style romance? Ugh, you mean you want to see how you look in a vintage photo? Why not use a mirror? Stop flirting, you two. I'm still here, you know. <laughs> hawk penguin. No, H A W penguin. H A W K penguin. Like hawk moth. Unless a mirror. Hey, I remember now. My lucky charm we defeated Pixlater was a pocket mirror. Oh yeah, that's right. It was a pocket mirror because they got him to take a picture of himself. Thank you, Cat Noir. I wouldn't have made it without you babbling around. He is doing all the work. How dare you? Yes, Hawk Penguin. We need that trending. Oh. No. Yes. No. But I didn't do anything. You're doing everything! You answered all the questions! A pocket mirror. The answer is correct. N no! Ha ha ha! Game over, gamer. System failure? No, this can't be! I'll allocate more memory to the recovery system. No! Oh Oh, and there goes the controller. No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. I think Plague would tell Ladybug to treat Cat Noir better, or else I'll give you bad luck. Adriana would. Or Starlight would. Gotcha! Bye-bye, gotcha. little butterfly. Miraculous Ladybug! Yes! Yes! Hawk Penguin! All the hawk penguins. <laughs> well, where am I? Found it. Also, I notice how she uses her magic ladybugs to fix everything, but everything's not fixed yet. <laughs> Do you know coffee is now spamming the chat with hawk penguins? <laughs> mm. I think Dem's gone silent out of protest.
that. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right. Uh, also, water break. If you're correct, today is Zeno Robinson's birthday. I'm not sure who that is. <laughs> never heard that name. All right, there we go. Phew, that was a close one. For a moment, I thought we'd be trapped in this video gamey world forever. I think that's supposed to be video game world forever. Max has been much uh, maligned. It it's as if Hawkmoth stepped up his game on akumatizing people. You mean, first he upsets people and then he akumatizes them? We can't know for sure, but I'll keep my eyes peeled. Who knows what Hawkmoth is capable of? I'll keep my pointy ears open for clues on my end as well. Let's keep in touch, milady. <laughs> his pointy ears. A while later. Oh, I just got a text from Alia. She urges me to come meet her at the barge. Mm, it sounds a bit serious. For the rest, no rest for the weary, I guess. We'd better head there fast. Go meet Ollie at the barge. Game over. It has been saved into your scrapbook. Awesome. You've unlocked the power of the yo-yo grappling hook for Ladybug. This power allows you to reach certain high areas. All right. And I think that's the, her last... Uh, I think that's her last... Uh, Exploration power up, yeah. So we just need, uh, we just need Cat Noir's last power up, and then we'll finally be able to fully explore all the other areas. Okay, so let's go talk to Alia. Girl, you'll never believe it! I just saw something that's totally weirding me out! What was it? About 10 minutes ago, Kagami walked out of the barge, so I said bye, and she just bowed as usual. But then... Then what? I saw another Kagami c coming out of the barge, strolling happily, and she waved her hand at me and said bye! With a perky smile. Hmm. Oh, it's like, bye! Hmm, that doesn't sound like Kagami. What do you think? Are we really dealing with malicious clones after all? That would also explain why Max saw us trash his game right in front of him. Whatever we're dealing with, the situation warrants further investigation. Gotcha, girl. I'll try and reach the real Kagami. Why don't you go after the fake one? I saw her walk towards the Place de Vosage. Sounds like a plan. Let's keep each other posted. Uh... Oh, imposter. Uh, two exclusive ladybug costumes and one cat noir. Yeah. Hashtag copy and pasting. Oh. The Grand Paris, the hotel owned by Chloe's dad. It's nice, I guess. Oh, we're supposed to actually go in here? I can't find my daughter Chloe, but you know where she's gone to. No, and I don't care. Oh gosh, is this gonna be Chloe's turn to get akumatized? We can't go in. Why can't we go in? That's where it's... Or maybe we're supposed to go around. Go around, I suppose. Yeah. No offense, we don't trust Alia with Kagami after what she said to her and Adrian and Mr. Pigeon 72. I mean, you got a I feel like it was market. on both of them. And Paris has got a ton of them. I feel like it was kind of on both of them, the breakup. Oh, come on. Why can't I go in there? That's so weird that it always kicks me out and doesn't let me go in through that way. I guess we gotta go to the- I guess that means we're heading to the park, but we've gotta go through the- the, the bakery first. Which is weird because we started off at the bakery and it made us go all the way around. It's like it could have made us come back to the bakery and then go this way. Yeah. I don't get why it made us go all the way around Paris. Ugh, Lila. My, you look even more terrible than usual, Marinette. Lila, I don't have time for this. I'm looking for Kagami. Kagami? I actually ran into her a minute ago. She was heading to the Place de Chalet. 
You really expect me to believe you? Why shouldn't you? You know I'd never, never lie to you. Bye, Marinette. What are the odds that we run into Lila when we're chasing a supposed clone of someone else? What do you mean, Marinette? <coughs> oh, trying to do her voice just now upset my throat. <laughs> what do you mean, Marinette? Ever since I've known her, I've seen Lila slither from one lie into the next. She totally could have lied to me just now. Are you insinuating that she could have gone back to being Valpina? Can't know for sure, but it's a possibility. We've been tricked big time by her power of illusion before, don't you remember? Yeah, plus, uh, you know, we've also seen her as copycat too. That was season two. Or three. Yeah, that that was season three, so co so copycats should have already happened by now. And for now, what do you suggest? Should we follow Lila? No, let's keep searching for the fake Kagami as Alia asked me to. By finding her, we'll know for sure if she's an illusion or not. Ah, the Place de Vosges. Isn't this the loveliest place on Earth? <gasps> oh, it's August's mother! A young girl from Japan, you say? Yes, I saw her walk past the market up ahead. Oh, we're supposed to talk to this guy, okay. Jalel. Yes, I did see a young woman wearing a tartan skirt, all right. She just went that way a second ago. Oh, we're supposed to talk to all these people. Okay. Ask the Parisians about Kagami's location. A young woman with a red tie? Oh, dang it, I accidentally pressed the A button. A while later. Okay, now, just to sum things up, Kagami's copycat was seen near a big white estate. This must be Adrian's house. Also, she was seen walking past the Place de Chalet. I get it. She's heading for the Place... The, to the... Uh, Place de la Concorde. The odds are good that we can find her there. Let's hurry up, Marinette. So we're heading towards Adrian's house now, huh? Oh. We actually go this way. Okay. Uh... I get it. She's headed for the Place de la Con Concorde. That sounds more like a job for Ladybug and Cat Noir. Wait! You're about to leave the neighborhood. You won't be able to come back. Are you sure? Yes, let's go get Kagami's clone. Let's go find this Kagami copycat now. Oh, we probably should have gone to talk to Master Fu first. Oh, well. <laughs> no copycat. He's a creepy old man. Yeah. The crew did come out and say he's a teenager, but it's like, he is not built like a teenager. He is clearly taller than Adrian, who is very tall for his age. He's way too old for her. That was, that was so creepy. And I'm kind of glad that Adriana was I'm able to keep that from Kagami, happening. But we have reasons to believe that you're not, well, exactly yourself. As if. And what makes you say that? Well, it may sound a bit strange, Hello, but there seem maybe? to have been sightings <laughs> of people who... I knew it! <laughs> and now it's Luca. <laughs> oh, we finally get Chloe. You're gonna go call your brother? Yeah! Look! Up there! Yeah, I hope you enjoy your talk with your brother. D Chloe? What happened to you? This is before she betrayed them, too. It's Clonica to you, Alley Cat! Why, Chloe? Why put so much effort into upsetting people all around town? None of this would have ever happened if you had given me the Bee Miraculous in the first place, Ladybug! It's all on you! Snap out oh. of it, Chloe! You're not thinking straight! You've been akumatized! Except that I am akumatized willingly! Eventually, someone realized I had potential, see? Hawkmoth can't be trusted in any way! If he granted you such power, it means he's playing you in a bigger game! I don't care about his intentions. I just enjoy doing what I'm good at. Yeah! <sighs> and what's that? Making innocent people's lives miserable? It was pretty easy, you know. All I needed to do was take pictures of random people. 
Then I could generate clones and control them from a distance. You should have seen Max's face when he saw his friends tear down his game right in front of him. <laughs> okay, that's enough, Chloe. <laughs> oh, and she just took pictures of them, too. This is so in character. Cat Noir caring about Chloe. <laughs> Chloe's stylish. Yeah, I do like her costume. And also, I was right about her being Chloe. I had a feeling because of her face shape. Chloe has a very unique face shape. I saw some people say it's it won't be Chloe. <laughs> yeah, well, back in season one, there were a lot of people saying that Hawk Moth was clearly not Gabriel. Like that was actually a really a really common trend was people making videos saying. Uh, trying to dispute the whole theory of Hawk Moth being Gabriel, but it's like, they're both voiced by Keith Silverstein. Like, you, like, how do you dispute the fact that these voice that got the same voice? Don't you think it's weird that we have to fight these allegedly akumatized people? Oh, she's beating up poor Luca. Okay, okay, yeah, we need to switch to Cat Noir. Because she's not doing well. There we yeah, go. Nice. Cat's much stronger. Why is that one? Yeah. Why is that though? <laughs> oh, hello. What was that? Oh, okay. It's. I didn't even notice that. Uh, that spot there. That makes sense for Cat Noir. For Cat Noir's stick. Okay, that is very is a very clever use of Cat Noir stick. Although now we how are we supposed to get over there now though? Oh, okay, good. We actually can make that jump. Okay. Oh, okay. That allows us to access this. Okay. Ah, nice. That gives us access to that. Double. Yeah. Can make double double jump though. To not fall. True. Just a small sample of my many skills. Also, I just noticed that it only seems to be Luca and Kagami. I could do this all day. Well, now maybe. It's like it's the characters that they're. It's the characters that they're the. Uh, that they're shipped with. Oh, oh, you can actually can stand up there. Okay, good. That makes that a lot easier. Oh, and we got a ladybug spot right here. Oh, she just shoots her yo-yo out instead of actually throwing it. That was not... I, I don't like that animation because that, that, that felt lazy. Like, they could have actually had her throw the yo-yo. Instead, she shoots it out. Yeah. Okay, I guess uh, we can't get up to. there. Hopefully they'll be able to update that soon. That animation did not look good. It's like, I, I will criticize the game where it needs to be criticized, but I'm also not going to sit here and act like it's the worst thing I've ever seen. Cause that does bother me. Yeah, like, this looks more like a Batman grappling gun. Yeah. And that's a wrap. And I will say this: on one hand, I do kind of wish that you could traverse these areas as just one character, but at the same time, I also think it's really clever how they're using the the weapons like this. Got it. Oh, was there another platform over there? I can't see it from this angle. Oh, oh, okay, I don't think that's another statue. platform. That's a giant statue of Chloe. Yeah. 
Why matches would her big head. <laughs> uh, that eagle must fit somewhere. Yep. I have a feeling we'll be able to come back here anyways, so... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, we're just moving this so we can get the macaron. Okay. So then, yes, that was a good thing to go ahead and do right there. And grab this macaron. All right. And we're supposed to go down, but can we go? Doesn't look like it. Okay. No, nope. yeah, we can't go on those rooftops. Darn. <laughs> Let me explore. Okay, we got a super jump here. Oh, it's down to you and me. These ranged enemies take advantage of their speed and teleportation power to catch you by su surprise. Act. I don't feel so good. No. Bad Kagami. I could do this all day. Run after Kronika's clones. I want to get all these uh, orbs first. A world full of mirrors? Flashing phones and bling? Who would want that? <laughs> I love how he's just sitting here insulting his friend's taste. Well, oh. He's got a point. Yeah. I'm not saying he doesn't have a point. But like, his true feelings towards Chloe definitely come out when he's Cat Noir. Oh, and there's more platforms over here. Okay, guess that's it. Oh, there's another orb up here. Awesome. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Anything else over this way? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes. Mine. There's another orb. Yep. I don't have time for this. All right, get Kagami first because she's got projectiles. That's a lot of Kagami. That's how it's done. Here we go. So I'm starting to think maybe we should go back and do that super jump because we're getting pretty far away from it. So I think yeah. this is actually where we're supposed to go. Oh. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> she kept the Adrian poster around. <laughs> yup, that's Chloe. If she's going to remake the city, she's going to at least keep Adrian's pictures around. There it is. You have to go, you might be back, Hawk Penguin. Bye. Alright. Have fun. Oh, okay. That super jump takes just takes us back up here. Okay. Okay, well that makes sense then. Oh, there's a uh Let's destroy it! Oh, we can't. <laughs> He doesn't know how to use his stick that way. He can't smash stuff with his stick, even though he smashes people with his stick all the time. He hasn't learned how to smash objects yet. Okay, I guess there's nothing up there. Aha! There is something up there, though. Got it! <laughs> Alright, and... It's down to you and me! Ugh! Oh, wow! Hey, no! That's all you got! Bad! <laughs> Bad, Luca! Oh, we got a ladybug spot over here. Okay, it looks like we gotta pull this down. Aha, okay. Ah! 
Oh, come on. Get up there. Thank you. It's like, you're a cat. You're supposed to be good at jumping. I mean, Leo jumps all the time. Normally well, I'd no, I guess this is okay, Leo climbs. But an illusion I can walk on? I don't think these are illusions, because the... Because then it would be like, well, why is the Kagami and Luka uh, illusions able to hurt them? Alright, come they here. Don't. It's just in their mind. Yeah, again, I'm sliding on this thing. Oh, and another Cat Noir spot. Ooh, yes, we can actually break this. Oh, we push it. Okay. And that one's too far away for us to reach. Yeah, we're supposed to go the other way, but we're gonna go this way first. Oh, and we got another one over here. Oh, we can't smash it. Aw, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, we can't quite go this way yet. Ah, no! Oh, I hate when we can't see where we're going. I can't tell if I can reach that or not. Nope. Okay. Would not have been able to reach it from that platform, at least. Okay, we're supposed to go that way, so let's go grab these first. Guess there's nothing else that way, just those two orbs. Alright. So let's hop on up here. Alright. And that... Grab these. Looks like we've got more enemies over here to fight. I could do this all day. Okay, they're all Lucas. All right. Oh, what? Why? Why does Luca have projectiles too? I could do this all day. Chloe. I thought it was just Kagami. Ah! Got it. Okay. Yes. You're in for a treat. Oh, there's Tom. Okay. Oh. That's how it's done. Oh, way to beat up your father-in-law. Your future father-in-law. Yeah, it's just a clone, though. And there's Kagami again. Okay, and more swinging with Ladybug's yo-yo. Welcome back, Ron. Oh, okay, we need to pull this. Okay, so that just falls. Okay. And... Oh, wow. Okay, that thing is fast. Wait, do we have to do this again? Just because we fell? Oh, okay, that's why. Okay. Whew! Okay, there we go. Oh, man. And now we have to switch back to Ladybug again. And we're pulling this platform over. Okay. And now we move this one. Oh, we're pulling it up. Okay. That makes sense then. Alright, got it. And now we can super jump. That was specifically to get that macaron and that was it. Okay, and that, su and that super jump spot is just so we can go back up there. Oh, 
Okay, I think I figured out how I'm switching targets like that. And I think that's the key to hit to hit each one once so that it stuns them for a hot minute so they can't shoot you with projectiles. So just beat them all up uh, at the same time instead of individually. Just interrupting their attacks, yeah. Makes yep. sense, actually. Which is useful information if we decide to try and do a no damage run. Yeah, that will be fun. <laughs> Would you believe there's actually people who will do no damage runs in Pokemon? Yeah, I'm sure. Some people are actually that crazy. Yes! Back on! Oh, we can't go that way. Yep, welcome back, Ron. Can we get over to this platform? Ah! Oh, I was so close. Got it! Yes! Ha! Yes! Awesome! And we got a Mega Orb. That's nice. Neutralize Clonica's clones. So yeah, her name is interesting because it's actually a double play on words. It's a play on her name, Chloe, Clonica, Chloe, but it's also a play on the word clone because she makes clones. And we're sure she's not a Cat Noir fan? That's a pretty punny name she's got there. Oh. So uh... most... Like most of the time, it's Hawk and it's Hawkmoss who comes up with the names. <laughs> True, and he is Adrian's father, so that makes sense. Oh, did I just? Oh, okay. We can actually go down these, go up and down these stairs. That's really cool. Is there anything in here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh. Okay. Okay, so that's so that if we fall off of there... Ah! Can I get back on, please? Thank you. I think that's so that if we fall off of there, we can still make it back up. But you think there would be something hidden down there. Just a small sample of my many skills. Watch my back. Not going to fall Whew. for it. Okay, it looks like his health is starting to get low. So hopefully we don't die soon. Alright. What else we got over here? You know, I oh goodness, I just realized this has that this has that lighting that makes his skin look orange. Oh, we can't smash that yet. We'll probably get that power up after we finish up here. All right. And I'm guessing my year is going to be the final boss. Because we've almost got all the power-ups, which means that we should be almost done. If there is going to be more DLC, I hope they add extra levels and stuff. That would be really cool. Oh, you know what would also be fun? Even if they didn't really do any powers or anything, it would still be really fun if they added skins that are like uh, their unifications. So, like, yeah. we could get Snake Noir and uh, Lady Dragon. They, like, probably not Poly Mouse or Multi Mouse, especially like Multibug, because then that would be like, oh, it's how it's like, oh, I thought that was Marinette. Because I can't really see how they would be able to explain in canon that she's. Uh, 
that uh, that they're able that it's okay for her to use that. So it just occurred to me that I don't think she can ever unify with the mouse until Cat Noir finds out her identity. Yeah. Aw, oh, dang it. I was hoping to actually get back up here without having to land. Oh, well. Oh, I thought there was an orb over there. This has your name on it. Ah! No! Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Nice. Whew. They actually did hit me a couple times there. Yeah. And they're doing whole hearts worth of damage, too. I'm guessing because we need more to get more power-ups. So we probably should have gone to talk to Master Fu earlier. Yep. Alright, any more orbs? Nope. Alright. And... Oh, come on. Get over here. Oh, er, we can get up here. Yes! I had a feeling there was something up here. Come on. Come on, cat. No! Get the macron! Why is that hitbox so weird? It's like there's at least one macron with a with a messed up hitbox on every level. Alright. No! Oh my goodness. Okay. And it doesn't look like there's anything else that way, so... Looks like we've got to go this way. Okay. Oh, and we missed this rooftop over here. Oh, and there's stuff down here too. Okay. I guess we kind of took a bit of a detour there. Yeah, we were supposed to go this way. Okay, there we go. So now I've got everything. Ah, couldn't quite make it. There we go, okay. And, ooh, we got a cat noir spot. Yes! See, again, that makes sense. It's far enough away that he would have to do that. Although the one the one that makes the absolute most sense is the one where he pushes the platform away. It's like, yes, that makes absolutely absolute sense because a yo-yo would not be able to push, it can only pull. String would not be strong enough to push. You're getting the ultimate edition in five weeks of this game? There's an ultimate edition? Oh, I, I think that's seen what it you prior. Yeah, that's what you were talking about before. I'll have to see what my incentive is next month. Or I guess I can ch see what my paycheck is going to be like on the 6th. Or 7th. I keep getting that confused. I get paid on the 7th, but sometimes I get confused and think it's on the 6th for some reason. Ha! Uh, I checked the eShop, so there is the normal version. The Ultimate Edition and a DLC pack that's not accessible yet. Ah! And down you go. Alright, here we go. Oh. Here we go. I wonder if that's why they made it on sale, so that... You can technically get the other versions. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully Ladybug can grab that orb on her way up. Yes! Thank you! Thanks, Bugaboo! Alright. And we're back to this area. Also, I just realized 
because uh, we were, me and TVC were thinking that this was Cataclysm, that his Cataclysm was just always active, but I think that's just his running aura. Because I just noticed yeah. it's not coming from his hand, it's lined up with the, with the running uh, streaks. Alright. I love that we get just as much of Cat's vision in this as we do with Ladybugs. Gosh, that animation is so lazy. Grappling hook. Yay. Come on. Get up there. Cat! Cat! Thank you. Oh! Do we have to actually go from the that other spot? How do we get up there? There's gotta be a w Oh, okay, there we go. More platforming. There we go. That's how you get up there. Okay. I could do this oh, all here day. we go. No. Stop it. No. Bad Kagami. No. Whew. And that's a wrap. Okay. Okay. We made it. All right. And come over this way. You're in for a treat. Act. No, come on. Switch targets. Thank you. I could do this all day. There we go. Whew. All right, and come on, pure. Okay, any more? No, you'd think there would be something over here, but nope. Okay. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't go soup for far. I thought about it. I was like, no, there's probably stuff down here. Oh, and we got some platforms up here. Doesn't look like we j can do anything with that, though. There's an orb over there. I don't like the, the rendering distance for the orbs, though. It can be difficult to see them from a from far away. Yeah. That camera angle was weird. With all the bars. This creates kind of a strobing effect. Oh boy. Tom! I got this! Alright, there we go. That was actually pretty easy. I'm starting to get the hang of that. So yeah, I do kind of think it would be interesting to do a challenge run of can you beat this game without any power-ups. Also, a no damage run would be fun too. I don't have time for this. Damage. Restart. Yep. <laughs> I don't feel so oh, good. Oh, what is going on with Kagami's shoulders there? You ah! This on yourself, Ladybug and Cat Noir. Although I didn't think beating you would be so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Gabriel. <laughs> ah. Okay, I need to use the restroom, so I'm going to go do that, and I'll be right back. Actually, I think I'm going to grab a snack, too. Enjoy the for a hot minute. Okay. Welcome back, Dino Coffee. I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to go use the bathroom and stuff.
Okay. I am back. Welcome back. Oh, I forgot to grab my Joy-Cons, though. Hello, uh... Uh... Tidoshi, welcome to the stream. Sorry, I just went to go to the bathroom and get some food and stuff. And also to jo charge my Joy-Cons for a little bit. Because when we stream all day, sometimes they die. And it's better to keep to try and charge them little bit by little bit as we go, whenever I step, have to step away for a bit. Then to have to deal with it. Th then have to deal with actually sitting here for like 20 minutes waiting for it to do, to go, to charge. Tip on the platforms is your shadow shows where you're gonna land. Yeah, I've been using the shadows, it's just... Plat I I've never been good at platforms. We don't want them dead. No. Yeah. Yeah, because it happens sometimes in our Legends Arceus streams. Because I stream for a long time. Like, we've already been streaming for five hours. Which is funny, because like, oh yeah, the expected gameplay is three hours. We're still not done with our initial playthrough yet. But that's also fine, you know? Let's get our, let's, let's get our money's worth. And if these continue to do well, yeah, I like I like I'll probably still do them anyway. But like I really want to do like uh, challenge runs and stuff. You never save money, but for Ultimate Edition, you'll do it for five weeks. Been here for three out of the five hours. Well, thanks for sticking with me. Oh, switch back to our boy. Ah, no. Okay, well I still got it, so that's fine. Nope, oh, there was nothing up there. Okay. Just a small sample of my many skills. Ah, no, Kagami, no! I should walk oh my gosh, back. Ladybug! <gasps> oh my goodness! Ah, stop it! No! I was doing fine. I need gosh. More energy. No! What? Why? I was doing it. Again? Oh, yes. Ah! Game over. Go crawl in a ditch! Uh, only for what's supposed to be three hours of gameplay, you feel like $40 is a lot. I mean, to be fair, when I was a kid, that was- $40 was the standard price for a mainstream Pokemon game. Yeah. Like- it's been a long time since I've been able to buy a game for this cheap. And it's not as bad as people were saying. Like, the animations could use a little bit of work, uh, and the lighting in this game, or in this area specifically, doesn't really do Cat Noir any justice. Because, like... I think it's mainly like the fact that this ha this this area has a yellow tint to it, and that's what's giving Cat Noir that yellow or that that Just orange a small skin tone. sample of my many skills. Oh my goodness! Ah, yeah, no! Yeah, nice. No! What? That was so fast! That was so <laughs> fast! <laughs> Ooh, hot. I'm glad you're having fun. That's one of the nice things about these streams is that, you know, if you're on the fence about getting it, watch someone else play the play the game first and decide for yourself if you want to buy it. Like, I bought it because, A, I thought it did look like it would be some fun, and B, Miraculous Stuff always does better on my channel. <laughs> so, it's like, yeah. Which makes it more fun to do. Because these streams are definitely a lot more fun when there's people here to talk to. Switch to cat. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with these orbs right now. I'm just going to try to beat these guys. And if we... Once we finally beat them, we'll come back for the orbs. Gotcha. Oh, ah, dang it. Ah, no. No! 
<laughs> no, come on! I was doing well, and then they ganged up on me. Maybe if I can draw one of them away? That seems to be the issue, so there's just that many. Oh my goodness. Also, water break. Alrighty. Yeah. Yeah, like, people subscribe to me all the time, and then my streams t tend to be kind of bare. Uh, out of 10, how would you say it's uh, game is so far? I'd give it a 7 so far. Like, it's it's better than mid-grade, and it's definitely not the worst game I've ever played. Like, I will get my GameCube out and play some GameCube games so you guys can see what an actual GameCube game is like. Everyone comparing this game to, like, a GameCube Born game is like... No! Ha! Huh. No! Nah. Okay. We got rid of the one Kagami. No! Okay. Switch to Ladybug. Because we're down to just the two of them. Okay. Get over here. Yes! Finally! <laughs> we finally did it. Okay. Alright, so now let's go back and gather these orbs again. Ack. Ah, dang it. Okay, come on. Ah! It's like, I'll see the shadow there. And, okay, good, we got it. Okay. I'll see the shadow there, and I'll be like, let's try to stop, but he continues floating. You love Miraculous and Mario, so this game uh, is good for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you love Miraculous and you love Mario, then absolutely get this game. This game is perfect if you love both Miraculous and Mario. I'm more of a Pokemon player Let's myself. Not waste a minute, then. Let's go! So, and, and I, like, I'll play Kingdom Hearts, too. So, I'm not crazy for all the platforming stuff in this, but, you know, it's it's fine. Alright, and there's... Oh, that's just the street lamp. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing actually up there. Yeah, because these orbs don't really seem to cast a shadow. Oh. These guys again. Okay. Alright. Ah. Uh... X and Y. I loved the Gen 6 games. It's down to you and me. No! Way to go! Ah! Oh, that was close. I almost died there. Let's leave it at that. Oh man. That was close. Yeah, I loved X and Y. Although, I've got a feeling that I'm going to love Scarlet and Violet as well. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for the character customizations! Like, yes! Like, you can customize your character from the start of the game! I was so excited for that. You didn't want Queen Bee? Fine! Hey, Diana, or... Oh, we're finally almost done with this level. Feline sense doesn't work on them. Can't tell which is the real Clonica. All right. Ridiculous. Hey, you're missing something. Of your love. Exactly of your. You plan on me. Tech line. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Debating on getting Pokemon Ruby. I guess flying doesn't come with your superpowers. Not so fast, Clonica. Oh, and come on, wise. Oh, there we go. Yes, he got it. All right, good job, cat. Uh, you're so going to pay for this. What's with the bell around your neck, Cat Noir? Should I call you Cal Noir? <laughs> Wrong kind of bell, Chloe. It's a cat bell. Cats have bells on their collars. There's a lot of cat there's a lot of cat collars that have bells on them. Oh. Alright. A trash can lid? 
Roulette or a mirror? Yeah. But it's kind of weird that it has... Oh! No, it is a mirror! Okay. Not the first time they've gotten a mirror. Actually, I think that's the third mirror. That's the third time we've seen Lucky Charm become a mirror. Yes! Yeah. No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. Although I think it would have been better if that had been like a mirrored shield. Time to de evilize! Gotcha! Bye bye, little butterfly. Miraculous ladybug! This seems kind of weird to have a mirror with a handle on the back. So my question is this, though. Has Chloe been akumatized the entire time? And if so, then how were the other characters getting akumatized? Now, I hope you understand why I was reluctant to give you the Bee Miraculous. Ridiculous! Utterly ridiculous! Anyone with eyeballs can see I'm the victim here! <laughs> <sighs> wretched Ladybug! Wretched Chloe! Okay, her makeup does look a little off there, though. Oh, hello. We saw this earlier. Go hide, Chloe. It's not safe. Hey, you don't tell me what to do, Ladybug. Oh. Okay. Maybe you should have listened to her though, Chloe. Chloe! Uh <laughs> <laughs> The sound effect! <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow, it's that killed me! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Wow! Just wow! <laughs> that killed me! Uh, let's see here. You feel like the Lucky Charms come with basically no warning and feel so random. <laughs> witch cackle. Oh, that's not my witch cackle. <laughs> <laughs> also, I apologize if that was super high pitched. <laughs> Rest in peace, headphone users. Oh, I think I woke up my roommate. <laughs> oh. Oh no, not now! It's no use. I'm about to transform back. Chloe will have to wait, unfortunately. Whatever that thing was, it seemed interested in taking Chloe with it, but not so much into harming her. Let's get ba let's get our batteries full and go save Chloe. My thoughts exactly. Catch up with you later. <laughs> You're crying from laughing right now. <laughs> Interesting turn of events. It seems a new player has entered the game. And Chloe being captured might be an opportunity to level up. Now the time has come to think about my next move. We interrupt this broadcast with a special report. A new menace has emerged in the form of a giant caterpillar that's been sighted near the near the Place de la Concorde. According to some witnesses, it literally sprung from the ground right where Ladybug and Cat Noir were facing off another akumatized supervillain known as Clonica. It's been confirmed that before it vanished, the huge caterpillar abducted none other than our Mary's very, very own daughter, Chloe Bourgeois. In reaction to these events, Mayor Bourgeois decided to close every school in Paris until further notice, fearing more children could be taken by the caterpillar. The police are unable to find the caterpillar as we speak. Please, Ladybug and Cat Noir, if you get this message, the whole city of Paris is relying on you. You heard the news, Tiki. This caterpillar is nowhere to be found. And it's taken Chloe captive. We must do something, Marinette. You're right. We should sweep the neighborhood for clues. The caterpillar will have left a trail. We need to find it. But how? It's pretty likely that caterpillar draws out silk wherever it goes. By finding enough silk, we'll get a fix on the location of the caterpillar, or at least where it's headed. Good thinking, Marinette. Let's head out for silk then. Er, let's look out for silk then. Smile, you're on camera. Aw, poor Andre looks upset. You've unlocked the power of Smash for Cat Noir! Yes, we can finally explore all the areas now. 
Hooray! So we should probably go talk to Master Fu and power up more. Well done, Marinette! You scored us a clue! That's right! Finding more of these so- and we can- Finding more of these and we can clue in on the caterpillar. Let's go! Oh, I didn't even notice that there. Okay. Well, first I want to talk to Nino. Well, I guess I should be psyched that the school is closed. But this whole thing about Chloe being abducted by that caterpillar is making me feel kind of nervous. Anxiety messes with your head. Aw, it's because you're so caring. It's because you're so caring, Nino. As much as I feel weird saying it, I'm kind of worried about her. You know what I mean? Chloe played with fire by making a deal with Hawk Moth. No wonder she's in this situation now. But don't worry, soon Ladybug and Cat Noir will rescue her and everything will come back to normal. You're right, Marinette. They'll save the day. Right? And we got Nino up a bit. My Chloe! Where was my Chloe? She was taken! Aw, oh, I kind of feel bad for Andre. Because he does at least care about Chloe. Just not enough to tell her no when she needs to hear it. My Tiki's impression is good. Oh, thank you. Uh, Ladybug's earrings uh, don't have dots. <laughs> uh, probably an error. Kind of like that error that I noticed of her ribbons having spots on them. Actually, I haven't checked that yet to see if uh, she has spots on her ribbons or not. We'll have to look. And that makes two of them. The odds are good that, that the caterpillar has gone that way. Oh, that's, that was Tiki. That was, that was Marinette. And that makes two of them. The odds are good that the caterpillar has gone that way. Let's keep up the good work, Marinette. Alright, so we gathered that. Uh, but I also want to go talk to Master Fu, who is this way. So let's go get ourselves some power-ups. I wonder, can we connect- can we collect those silks as Adrian? Oh, well, that's not Penny. I wish I could do something, but... Aw. Ugh, Lila. A monster now? What's wrong with this city? You're a big part of what's wrong with this city. You have a dirty mind when it's a smash you immediately thought something else. <laughs> uh, should I be afraid of a giant caterpillar? Good question. I mean, I would think a giant anything would be something to be afraid of, regardless of what it is. I don't think so. Did I go the wrong way? Oh no, here we go. This is the right way. Okay. Master Fu's back here. Alright. Pick whatever you need. Alright, Cat Noir. Let's see here. Uh, base damage, I want that increased. Ricochet... Pro you can send back the enemy projectiles by quickly spinning your gadget. I mean, I don't usually use those that much, so let's see here. You're agile. You are agile and can attack, dodge, or counter your enemies. Okay, yes, that seems like something that's good. And I think we can actually max that out. There we go. So that's maxed out. Uh, let's see here. Dexterity. You move and hit faster and harder when you attack your opponents at the right time. Yes, let's get that out. Uh, let's see here. 331. We don't have enough for both health and base damage, but we can get both dexterity and health, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So our stats are looking pretty good now. So, should we continue the story or should we go back to the other areas and try to finish them? Your dad walked in and he thought you were watching a cat girl. <laughs> Uh, no, it's just supposed to be me using the, the cat miraculous. I've even got the ring with the paw print. I don't think I can, like, have it super zoom in or anything. But yeah, I even got the little detail of the ring. Which is, I love. Let's 
Yes, hi, Marinette. Okay, so should we move on to the this last story bit? Or should we go back and finish up all of the other areas now that we can uh, go everywhere? <laughs> he got so scared for a second. <laughs> Am I just that pretty? Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, uh, but uh, the hair is like super long too. You can sort of tell if I lean over, but like the hair I got the idea from Lady Noir with her super long braid. So it goes all the way down to the floor. Let's see here. So yeah, should we continue the story or should we go back and complete the other areas? Because we can. I do kind of want to 100% this, but I don't know if we should wait. What do you guys think? Also, I do kind of want to see if Adrian can collect the silk, too. <laughs> you had to explain that it was a VTuber, not a real person. <laughs> it was a real person speaking, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the costume is based off of Cat Noir, a superhero from a show aimed at children, so... It's just that I love magical girl stuff and all that. Oh, I just realized I could have made it the same uh, magical girl Kitty Noir dress that I drew a while back, too. Yeah. But you're not Anna, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also kind of like design designing new outfits, too. All right, let's see if Adrian can collect the silk. Okay, and it's this way. Okay, looks like we have to cross the street here. Yeah, and it's also not intended to be anything adult or anything either. He looked you dead in the eye and asked, who was this? <laughs> yep. Just, uh... Just some random lady on the internet with way too much time on her hands. <laughs> at least I'm not spending that time at, uh... Ooh! This one's just Rise of the Sphinx. That's cool. Oh, then again, that might also be the finale, too. Oh, Adrian can't collect them. Why do they hate him so much? Why? Why so much Adrian hate? One, two, three. We're getting close, Tiki. Yes, a few more of these and we'll know where the caterpillar's gone to. And then one more. Okay. Well spotted, Marinette. The, trial, the trail we've been following led us here. Adrian's getting uh, hated on this whole game. Something's telling me we're almost done isolating this trail. Come on, Tiki. Let's not waste a minute. Oh, we're in front of the aggressed house now, too. Uh, it looks like we got a break in this case, Detective Marinette. You managed to gather enough silk so we could isolate the trail. That's right. And it leads us right here. At this, at this metro entrance, the caterpillar must have gone through the, through there, and that's where my service ends. And that's where my service, where my service ends. Okay, we need to restart that over. And that's where my service ends. I'll let Ladybug handle things from here. Betty, when you buy Marinette. Time to call Cat. Oh, and hello, Roger. We have intel about the caterpillar sprawling around here. That's it. That's all he has to say. Head to the metro and track the caterpillar underground. Okay. The plaster chatelet is one of my favorites. It literally means little castle. Cute, isn't it? But was was it cute with her getting hit by a car? 
Oh my goodness. Like, girl literally just got hit by a car. Hello, latex whistle down. Welcome to the stream. Okay, well, I will say this. When we do get to our Cat Noir only challenge run, uh, we're not going to count any of this, cause since this pretty much forces us to be Marinette all the time. I guess I should be angry at Chloe, but now that she's been taken... Yeah? Oh, hi, Tom. Can we see cutscenes from here? Marinette, is there anything I could do for you? I want to see my scrapbook. Another thing that they block Adrian from being able to do is seeing the Marinette scrapbook. So, not really any artwork in here. Although I'm guessing that's all stuff that we get from, uh, from the macaron shop. Oh! Looks like there's like some sort of heartbreak thing on here. Okay, and there's all the stickers that we've gotten so far. Everything is going to be fine, paw print. Aww. Oh, I'm guessing these stickers are from uh, when we from the stars that we get. Yeah. The way to perfection, and attentive ear. Well, and we get all oh, these are actually from the show. Uh. You don't know why, but you didn't realize there were any miraculous ladybug games? This literally just came out today. Just heard a loud gunshot. Oh my goodness, stay safe. Please stay safe. Like, if you need to go to a safe room, then absolutely do that. Please stay safe. Wait, what? Oh, uh, one of the people in the chat just heard a gunshot. There's a lot of Whoa. hunters around you? Okay. Hopefully it's just somebody hunting. Uh, my mom and stepdad do a lot of hunting too, but oh my gosh, you scared me. This this costume, this miraculous, this is all for show. I don't actually have the power to come and help you if there's some crazed lunatic around you. Could be your dad practicing his aim or something. Yeah, my mom and stepdad also hunt, so. Uh, did I go the wrong way? Uh, let's see here. Well, this is the Sen down here. Those are just so lovely. And that's where you can go to find the Liberty, where we always go to have some fun. So Marinette also narrates you wandering around Paris, too. We haven't heard any of this stuff because we keep going over to Adrian. Also, these drums kind of remind me of Soundwave's level. A lot of this musical stuff does, actually. There's no correlation. Yeah! It would have scared me, too. Oh, I just realized that there's actual signs up here which tells you where everything is. Okay. Well, I think it's this way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, isn't it by the school? Uh, we can't go down there, though. Head to the metro. That's the subway, though. Well, it says right there, metro. Well, I guess the arrow huh. does tell us where we need to go, though, so. We'll just follow the arrow. Looks like it's telling us to go through the park. Oh, is that a couple over there kissing? Or, oh, they're just talking. Okay. <laughs> it looks like they were kissing from far away. So yeah, you can exit out of there, but you can't go into the park that way. I think that's a glitch. I wonder if they actually mapped out the entire city or if most of it's made up. I mean, I know that there are a lot of... I, I think the orientation would be made up. 
but a lot of these places are like actual places in Paris. Because like Marinette's uh, Bakery, uh, that's an actual real bakery in real life that you can visit. In fact, our friend Liam went there when he visited Paris. And then life decided to be a biscuit while he was there. Major. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you're safe. What's weird is that the aggressed manner on the sign navigation as if no one lives there. Okay, so we were- Oh, this is the one we were supposed to go down. Okay. That makes sense then. Wait, you're about to leave the neighborhood. You won't be able to come back. Let's go find the caterpillar. Let's go find the caterpillar already. All right. And then we can immediately switch over to Cat Noir. <clears throat> and if we do have a lot of trouble here, then we might exit back out and go back, but no one really seemed to have an opinion on whether we should do all that stuff now or later, so I guess we'll just continue the story. No, I do not have glasses, IRL. Silk. Silk everywhere. Oh, hello. Is that a ninja? No time for this. Or is this like another mummy? Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's like a mummy ninja. Cause this I would That doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. One's from Japan, one's from Egypt. <laughs> All right, grab the macarons. And there's another macaron over here. Oh, wow, so the tracks are actually physical there. It's not, like you actually do walk over the tracks. That's cool, that's a nice little detail. Yep. So yeah, a GameCube game would not have had that detail. And I know that I'm beating a dead horse here, but that still bothers me that people were co were making those comparisons to GameCube games. Looks like I saw the some people a PS2 to two. Two. Yeah, these graphics are definitely better than what we had in Persona 3. And <laughs> you're in for a treat. And to some starts. extent, I'd say Persona 4 as well. Hey, we can actually break stuff now. Hey, come on. Uh, assuming it lets me. Oh, we've got to... Do we have to, like, press and hold? Oh, okay, yeah, we have to press and hold. That's why. He's got to charge it. Okay. Interesting. It looks like it went that way, Ladybug. Down the sewers. Yeah. Oh, the sewer it is. Uh, let's explore over here a little bit first before we go down there. Also, these cocoons look bouncy. Should we jump on it? These kids spend way too much time in the sewers. Okay, he said they look bouncy, but he he said we should jump on these. Maybe not this oh. cocoon. Oh. Uh. Ah. Ah, oh, it's like, it's right there. Are we supposed to repeatedly jump? No? Okay. Maybe Ladybug would get up there? I mean, Cat Noir is taller. Nope. Neither of them seems to be able to get up there. That's weird. Is the bouncing on it broken? It's like, why else would he say that it looks bouncy? 
if you're not supposed to bounce on it. Yeah, the jump is the same. Should we get back in the center, maybe? Uh, no, I'm in my 30s, actually. I'm in my early 30s. Oh, I got it! <laughs> oh, man! That was weird. Yeah, but everyone assumes that I'm super young. Just because of how high-pitched my voice is and everything. And how energetic I always am. But I like to look- I like to keep things positive. Just because life is more fun if you look for the positives in life. If you if all you look for is negatives, that's all you're gonna see. But if you look for the positives, you find that there's a lot more positives out there than you would have originally thought. Which I think is one of the reasons why I like Adrian, is because he does stay so positive all the time. Like he looks for all the good things in this life, because he doesn't have that many. Oh, it's oh. possible for me to use my cat sense of smell in such a stinky place. Confirmation: oh. He has enhanced smell. I actually do have a bit planned for the uh, for the twin sister what if series, to uh, where he takes advantage of uh, of increased hearing. Not going to fall for it. Oh. Okay. Oh, he just popped that. Deep dive into Paris's bowels to track down the caterpillar. So I kind of feel like we've done a lot without going into the the manhole there. This has your name on. Gotcha! Haha! That's all you got. I dodged it. Stinks to be you. See now the stinks to be you makes sense. That's how it's done. Cause it literally stinks down here. It's down to you and me. I'm just too good at this. Just please don't kiss your muscles again. Those silk bits are everywhere. Like, cat, I love you, but please don't kiss your muscles again. <laughs> you like, you have like the deepest voice of everyone your age. Yeah, like, I answer phones for a living uh, and book hotel rooms, which is all I'm really going to say about that, because uh, I don't like talking too much about like where I actually work. How many are there? Oh, healer. These enemies support their fellow men by caring for them regularly. Oh boy. I could do this all day. So they actually have a white have their own white mage. Okay, we actually are supposed to be going this way, so I might backtrack a little bit and go down that to Oh, I think this is actually the the way to the sewer. Okay. Oh, never mind. There was a orb here that we didn't get before. Oh, that's not a hold one. You can see me, uh, like in a hotel checking office, just playing games. <laughs> I mean, when I was in high school, I worked for my stepdad. Although he actually put one of his other employees in charge of me so that I could actually use it as a reference. So it's like, yeah, my stepdad wasn't actually my boss. Uh, he was my boss's boss. Ah. Also, we actually can go in here without any... Wait. There's no repercussions for coming down here? Other than the fact that it's just gross? Seems like it. Huh. I mean, I still kind of want to avoid that water, because it's gross. But uh, when I was there, like, literally all I did was I was 
essentially a babysitter for the copy machine. Because uh, they were switching everything from uh, physical paperwork to digital. So they had to scan in all their old paperwork and records and stuff from many, many years. And I basically just sat there watching the scanner and then fixing any jams and stuff. And then once it was done auto scanning in everything, then I would just save everything to a new file and then move on to the next file. And I was allowed to do pretty much whatever while waiting for it to finish. So I would, you know, I brought my Game Boy Advance with me. Uh, I couldn't really surf the web. Uh, and cell phones weren't really that sophisticated back then. But uh, I, def I definitely brought my Game Boy Advance with me and played a lot of Pokemon. Okay, is this the way? No, we haven't been down here yet either. Wow, there is a lot to explore down here. Like, I'm completely lost now. <laughs> I've completely lost that spot. Catnor is obviously going to be your main when you get him. <laughs> yes. You actually He's actually unlocked right at the start of the game. <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> Back in my day, we actually said goodbye when we, when we hung up the phone. Oh my gosh, I get that all the time. Like, people will just hang up without even saying goodbye or anything. Like, I'll quote them a, the rate for a room, and then they'll just hang up. And it's like, you could have just said, oh, that's too much, or, oh, okay, thank you, or, like, like, not even a, okay, thanks, I'll keep you in mind, bye. And it's like, if you would just tell me what the issue is, I might be able to help you to find a workaround. Oh, and another spot. This... Oh, right. We came through here already. Duh. Okay. So we're going the right way. Yeah, I would actually make those... I've actually made those comments at work. Like, you know, back, back in my day when we were done talking to somebody on the phone, we said goodbye before hanging up. I don't think this is the right way. We should have just gone down the manhole when we saw it. Even you when you were a young child in middle school always said bye. It's polite! It's the polite thing to do! Like just because you don't know the person and will never see them again doesn't mean you shouldn't be polite to them. Oh, wait a minute, did we actually- Oh, we actually did go down there. I'm a dum dum. I thought we'd moved on. Oh well, we did find more orbs. Oh, and okay, there's nothing actually up there. Okay, but there is a lot to explore down here, though. Like my gosh, they put a lot of work into this sewer. isn't it? Yeah. Just... Just more ways that these kids spend way too much time in sewers. Your father's deaf, so you make a bunch of phone calls like that every day. Think the caterpillar lever is about an hour to two hours long? Dang! About an hour and a half to two hours long. Oh, we're, so we're going to be down here for a while. Okay. I mean, I assume this is the final level. So that does make sense. The arrow says to go right, so I'm going to go left. Because I like anarchy. Ugh. It's like get out of the sewers. Or get get out of the water. Get out of the do dirty sewage water. Ugh, they're gonna come out of the sewers smelling so horribly. Like imagine, I can imagine Chloe being all smug about the smell when they come to save her. 
Like, ugh, you couldn't have taken a shower first? Everyone got what comfortable. Left is there. Everyone got comfortable in your sewer water? Uh. Okay, there's another macaron over there, but we'll get that on our way back. Yep, I had a feeling this would be a dead end. Oh! There it is. Alright. I think there was another one. Yep, there it is. Wow, we've only got ten so far. Alright, here we go. So yeah, it's definitely it was definitely worth going back though, cause Oh, hello. We're still finding more stuff. Oh, okay. We didn't need to do that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. That was fun. All right, here we go. It's definitely aiming for something right here. Oh, okay. So we... Okay. It looks like it was saying we were there. But man, this is gonna be a long dungeon. Like, Natalie, I hope you're ha proud of yourself. Because this is clearly the Mayura one. I mean, it even fits her color scheme. Sixteen. And you know what? It actually occurred to me that this also kind of fits with, uh, with Hawkmoth's Senta monster, too. Amazing how that monster can secrete so much silk. So now we can't get into the sewer water. Okay. Oh, we gotta use Ladybug here. All right, and pop that. Got it. All right. Now, was there anything over here? Yes, there is. Okay. Yep, and Ladybug's got to pop this one, too. The way the sewers aren't this big. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you've got... No. Random cravings for Jolly Ranchers. Don't even really like Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. That does seem kind of odd. And random. Ah, dang it. Oh, come on! I double jumped there. There we go. I really wish you could control the camera aside from just zooming in and out. There we go. That's Got him. Alright. And let's grab this, and then we'll come over here for that. Anything over here? Yes. Is this a dead end? Possibly. Oh, wow. Is this like a total... Run around? Oh! Oh! We're not supposed to be able to do that! Uh, hello! Hello there, Glitch! <laughs> oh! Oh, okay. Something- we do something here with Cat Noir. Uh, you love how from the trailers, even the mobile game looks better? They've definitely improved the graphics and shading. Yes. Yeah, it definitely looks better than it did in the trailers. Like, the dark lighting still doesn't really do any good for Cat Noir's skin tone, but still. Okay. It's like, I almost don't want to go that way because it feels like we're supposed to go that way. But also... 
the arrow was telling us to go back the other way. Well, there is still stuff we didn't do this way, so I guess we'll go back. Uh -huh. Also, we've been live for six hours now. We've doubled the expected playtime. This has your name on it. Go back that often into a previous stages. One point for Cat Noir. Okay, and that does come back here. You smell colors, you see smell, you touch and see. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely supposed to go this way. So let's go back to that other area because there's clearly some exploring we can do down there. Let's grab this. Oh! Oh, that's weird. Um, what is going on with the webcam? Ah, uh, great. Where's my remote? It's on the other monitor. Why did it log me out? That was annoying. I don't know why it did that. It just logged me out of there. All right. Okay, it was this way, I believe. Come back over this way. And let's just jump over there. Okay. So, there's the macaron. So let's grab that. We got a super jump point and then another Cat Noir spot. Doesn't look like we can do anything right there right now. So, just push that back. <gasps> Ooh, a golden macaron! Very nice! Ooh, okay. That was good. The yeah. fact that there is graffiti down there, down here, means that people actually do spend some time down here. Actually, this kind of looks like somebody's secret base or something. Like somebody actually lives down here. That's why it was closed. You just broke in. I just broke into somebody's home. Uh, oh wait, can we do the super jump now that we're done with that? Or, oh, hello. Come here. Ah, oh, I can't see. There it goes. Oh, it was basically teleporting, but I don't think you'd be able to uh, leap like that if you uh, if 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 this game ran on normal logic. It's like if he was to actually use his baton to jump that like that, I. Fairly certain he would have hit his head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I do have long hair. So. I, you will see me messing treat. with it a lot. Trick or treat! Not going to fall for it. Actually, that has me wondering. Maybe we should, we should play this uh, for Halloween. So I do have Halloween One off. Point for Cat Noir. Well aware of that. <laughs> Thanks to be you. And now we know what he means by stinks to be you. That's how it's done. <laughs> it is actually intended to be clever. It just took us this long to get it. 
Wait, does that mean that he's psychic? Did Cat Noir unlock a secret power that he didn't have before in the show? No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe how much graffiti is down here, though. It's like, supposedly nothing down here has been transformed. Can we actually go up this ladder here? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. It's just for show. Also, interesting that this sewer water is fine, but this sewer water is not. It's like, what is the difference between that sewer water and that sewer water? Depth. Right, and got it. Okay, and whew. Alright, this is much easier than gamers level. Again, that feels like you don't need to do that. Also, what is she grappling anyways? Like, I get that it's something off-screen, but it still doesn't really make much sense. And did she- was that really necessary? I feel like that wasn't really necessary. Well, I guess- okay, I guess it's basically kind of like how Super Jump lets you leave super easily. Yeah. Uh, there's no arrow telling us where to go. We're supposed to do something else in here, or...? Explore the area, find a way to liberate the passageway. Oh, there's... Hold on. Let me go back up there. Yeah, there's not really anything else to, to do up here, so... That's weird. Gone so much off course, it doesn't even want to give me directions anymore. <laughs> also, Cat Noir really is doing all the hard work. Like, he's the one who has to suffer through the sewer with his with his heightened sense of smell and everything. Like. Ladybug's making him do all this extra work himself. Looks like we got a silk road all mapped out for us. You. All right, we found our path. That's good. The arrow is just gone. Just a small sample of my many skills. Ow! No! Get off! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Ah! It's too easy. Ah! Speak for yourself! You almost died! <laughs> Alright. There's another one over here. Oh, it is auto-saving. Okay. I had a feeling there was going to be another one over here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I really don't like the draw distance for these. Okay, we've got both an orb and a macron. Okay, this is a dead end, so we can go ahead and just grab all this and then come right back. There's the macron. And we've got another cat noir spot. We need to smash it. This is the only one where you have to charge it. Born ready. Oh gosh. No. Okay. Got One it. One point for Cat Noir. Whoo, that was close. Let's follow the silk road and eventually we'll find the caterpillar. That's the idea. So that means the silk road is the beaten path. 
You were hoping there were fights out, uh, like Oblivio and all that? Heh. <laughs> uh, okay. So we need to get on this platform. That's a macaron. On the left was a macaron. Oh. Well, I think we've got to come back anyways. <laughs> ah, dang it. Well, fine then. We will go this way. Ha! Gotcha. Okay. Uh, just in case there's an orb over here. There's... There is. Awesome. Ah! You have to start all the way from the bat... From the beginning every time. That's annoying. Alright, there we go. Aim for where it's going to be. What?! I had it! Here we go. Okay. Yes! Gotcha, okay. And that's the next orb over there. Oh! <laughs> I thought it went too early! I thought it went too early! Oh! That was oh. a close call. That was. That was really close. Also, Cat Noir's tail just going vertical. Because of how fast these things are going. Okay, there we go. And it looks like we've got another smash wall over here, too. Yep. So let's grab this orb. Open sesame! And we got a macaron, a red macaron, very nice. And more orbs, all right. So yeah, that is definitely worthwhile to 100% this level. Basically, for an Oblivio fight, uh, you'd uh, you'd lose all your battle skills that you bought, and that one fight having to use your basic moves, and you'd be in the Metamor in the Montprenas Tower as Adrian and Marinette. <laughs> yeah, but uh, isn't that a season four episode? Oh no, that was season three. Never mind. Yeah, that was season three because uh, sh because they called because Marinette called Master Fu. That's right. And I think I've missed some stuff. Your brain just hurts hearing me try to read that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, hello. Smash it. It's almost like he's using Rock Smash. Oh, we got another one. Really? Okay. Ah! It wasn't quite long enough. There we go. Got a Macron. Okay. More of these. Yeah, the side wasn't uh, going down yet. There's another one. Oh, can you do it from the top? Yeah, you can. That's cool. Alright. Not gonna lie, I love when they give Cat Noir more to do than Ladybug. <laughs> I said that right before we get to a Ladybug one. Uh. Okay, looks like there's a golden macaron up there. Okay. That's how we gotta do it. Okay. Alright, cat. 
And then he smashes it. Okay. Nope. Pushes it. Oh, okay, yeah. I guess that makes sense. It does look like it's steel. Then you get a gold one. Makes sense, because you have to use both of them to get in there. Oh, it's a light. Okay. It's like, what is that in there? It's light. Okay. How many are there? Oh. Wow, okay. That's too easy. Alright. Fortunately, there were only three, so that was pretty easy. So yeah, I agree with Kat. That was actually pretty easy. I mean, I won't complain about being- about easy. Especially after all the trouble we just had with Klonika. Alright, looks like we've, we're, we've already gone that way. Man, this place really is a maze, though. It's amazing we don't get lost. <laughs> I think that's the real reason why he's my favorite. Got this. It's an amazing maze. That's all you've got. Someone needs silk. I mean, you could ask your friend. You could ask your friend who makes her own clothes. I dodged it by going after a different target. No pain, no gain. All right. Every time I say we're starting to get better at the fights, we st we get into a fight that's so hard to to beat. Yeah, that's karma. Okay, I think we got to start from this side. Whoo! I almost fell. Okay, looks like we have to How many are there? jump on this platform. Okay, there we go. Whew. That's too easy. All right. And looks like this platform is next. Whoo! All right, got it. I didn't time that right. Yeah, I've got to time that while it's uh, on its way down. There we go. Alright, we made it. Whew, okay, six hours in. Yep. We have doubled the expected playtime. Without going back into previous stages too often. Does this keep track of how... Oh, we've got a map that we can use too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does it say where we are? Or does it just show like blue is where we have been so far? Ah, uh, I'm guessing the flag is where we are right now. I guess I'll just continue and then see if we, if that flag moves on the map. I don't have time for this. Ah. Gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha No pain, no gain. All right. Now we just gotta run around. Also, it seems like we can only dodge roll when we're actually in a battle. Which is interesting. The butterfly is probably the akumatized person. 
Even though I've got a feeling it's actually Mayura. That caterpillar seems a lot like a Senta monster to me. And then we got another one up here. There's probably another one on the on the right side there. Getting close to the macaron goal. Does it say up there? Uh Oh yeah. I've got 205 macarons in total. Yeah, missions, map. Okay, it doesn't quite look like like the flag has moved on the map. So it's, yeah, it's like there's no indicator of where we are right now, which is odd. And the little arrow is gone too. You two. Mayura! I won't let you harm my precious center monster. So you're behind it all, Mayura. Precisely. And it all ends here. Now give me your miraculous, or I'll have my caterpillar gobble you up in one bite. My center monster isn't fully evolved yet, but it's big enough to beat you. Oh, can I not? I don't have time for this ladybug and cat noir. Can I parry her? Don't you think it would be wiser to oh. give me your miraculous? You're no match against my cat. Oh! Just give me your miraculous. You don't want to be around when my Senta monster evolves, trust me. So just give me your miraculous. Ow! I was trying to parry her. Dang it. Ha! Take that! Uh, okay. Are we supposed to like run around and <laughs> You thought my feathers were just here for decoration? Can we actually smash it? My sentiment monster back. will reduce you to a small pile of ash. Thank you. Take that. Hey! Give up before it gets worse. You didn't even give me a chance to dodge that. Yikes. Ow! So are we like not supposed to touch that? Taste my feathers. Uh, rather not. Take that. Ow. I should watch my back. Don't you think it's weird that Hawk Moth lets you do all the work? I'm pretty sure I need to parry her. <laughs> you thought my feathers were just here for decorations? Ah. Don't you think it would be wiser to give me your miraculous? Come on! Don't you think it would be wiser to give me your miraculous? S shut up, Natalie! Come on! My Senta monster will crush you. Okay, there we go. This fight is the longest in the game. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, there's that shot from the trailer. <laughs> Me neither, and there's no time what? to go down there. He has night vision! We catch up when our batteries are full. Read my mind, milady. He has night vision! There, Chloe. We're coming for you. Did they forget he has night vision? It was in the first episode! 
Underground Menace. Well, that's kind of cool that it looks like a newspaper. He has night vision! What the heck? Also, that fight didn't seem nearly that long. You made it sound like it was going to go on for way longer than that. A few years back. Oh, hello. Are we getting actual lore? As far as I know, the game is canon. Which means we could actually imagine this with Adriana. How long has it been, Natalie? For years we have left no stone unturned on the entire planet. And still, no sign of the Ladybug or the Cat Miraculous. I've gone over all the possible scenarios about their location, Gabriel, but none of them have proven effective. It would seem that these two specific Miraculous don't want to be found. That sounds ridiculous, Natalie. But it stands to reason that none of our strategies have borne fruit. Not in the slightest. Rest assured, my motivation is intact, Gabriel. Still, I must admit I am really running out of options or ideas. I failed you. I failed your family, and for this, I apologize. Oh. There's nothing I want more in this world than to see you and Adrian happy again. But I'm afraid it is beyond my competence, beyond your Wait. will, beyond your admirable will, and beyond anything you and I could ever do. Beyond. You mean a few years back? Beyond. Don't apologize to me, Natalie. My trust in you is complete and unaltered. Besides, I'm the one who owes you. What kind of madness would I have drowned into if you hadn't been here all this time? Aww. Therefore, I'd like to offer you this pendant, Natalie. As a token of my gratitude and my affection. For everything you've <gasps> done for me and for this family. Affection? Gabriel, this is unexpected. I... I don't know if I can. Please, just accept it. Thank you, Gabriel. Oh my gosh! I will make sure I'm up to the trust you have placed in me. I don't know what will become of us from now on, but rest assured, I am still determined to find the missing Miraculous. I... I will double my efforts. I'll not rest until we get our hands on these Miraculous. I promise. There isn't much you can do, I'm afraid. You already played your part. And now, it is my turn to act. Beyond. I must go beyond my initial condition. Embrace the power that's already at my hand. So I can aim for more. Gabriel? Only a miraculous can lead the way to another miraculous. You said earlier that it seems the ladybug and the cat miraculous don't want to be found, right? I did, but... So be it. Instead, I will go beyond my mere human limitations. Beyond what my soul holds me back to do. Beyond people's judgment. I'll do anything. Anything. Oh. Stop searching. Go beyond. What do you mean? I'm not following. He's got her worried. Right. I'll make it so that the miraculous come to me. And I know exactly how. He just pinned it to his ascot. He's supposed to take it off. Wow. So this would be back before Emily actually fell into her coma, but she would be sick at the time. Because this was several years ago. Oh, we actually got some backstory. That's awesome. You wish the costume pack had Mr. Bug uh, for a ladybug? He'd use them all the time. Yes. Same. Then I would do a challenge run if it's like... You know, can you beat the game with just, uh, with just Mr. Bug? Wow! So, so they'd been looking for the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous th that entire time. <laughs> okay, yeah. So let's actually talk about that. They'd been looking for the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous for a while now, probably ever since Emily started getting sick. Uh, so that they could uh, heal so that they could find a way of healing her 
Uh, and then eventually uh, she falls uh, into her coma or dies or whatever they want to say has happened to her. Uh, and, uh, and Natalie's been helping them the entire time. But she just says that she just wants him and Adrian to be happy. She doesn't mention Emily for whatever reason. Because uh, Emily's disappearance should have been not long before the show actually started. You think he was cheating on his wife? I mean, this could have been like as soon as she went into a, her coma or anything. But then he would have been a lot more grieving at that point. Yeah. And they did say it was a few years back. So yeah, this does seem to be a couple years before he actually dons the mantle of Hawk Moth. What have you done, Mayura? Before you say anything, I just want to say that all of this, I've done it for you. I guess I should say thank you. Anyway, when were you going to let me in on that top secret plan you've been scheming? I admit I've been working alone. My idea was to give birth to the ultimate Senta monster, one that Ladybug and Cat Noir could never defeat. And to do so, I needed you, but without being aware of my plan. Is that so? And what in the world could the ultimate Senta monster manifest from? It manifested from your anger and frustration from the last time Mr. Pigeon was defeated by Ladybug and Cat Noir again. Oh, yes, that. You mean the 68th time or the 67th time from before this game started? I need you to ignite the spark without being aware of my plan. Otherwise, it never would have worked. From your frustration, I could give birth to the Santa monster, but it was still too weak. And this is where Chloe comes into play. I suggested you give her the ability to multiply people and have her use them as vessels to spread her negativity. That's right. This Chloe girl is always- Why are you talking about her like you don't- like you haven't known her her entire life? This Chloe girl has always been keen on seeking revenge against Ladybug for not trusting her with the Bee Miraculous. Because you manipulated her into it! <laughs> the fact that they'd only get their Miraculous five months ago- uh, a season is a month in Miraculous. Adrian said he lost his mother one year ago in Felix episode, so that means it was before Emily's coma. However, she failed us yet again. Well, we actually got to got to see the anniversary of when Emily went missing in season four. Yeah. Of course she would fail. She was no match against Ladybug and Cat Noir, even as Clonica. Still, I remember you telling me it would be fl a flawless plan, Mayura. And I wasn't lying. I just needed Chloe to spread confusion, sorrow, and frustration into the hearts of every Parisian so the Senta monster could feed on it. And it had quite a feast, trust me. And now that Chloe's cap- and now that it takes Chloe captive, it can feed on the mother load. Chloe is somewhere safe. But you're right, she will help the Senta monster complete its development. And once it evolves, it will be truly invincible. Chloe will have been useful after all. Even the weakest pawn can become a queen if well played. That's right. Finally, it will give us an edge over Ladybug and Cat Noir. I'm so glad they're actually acknowledging Cat Noir too, because in the show it's always Ladybug this, Ladybug that. It's like, Cat Noir is part of it too! Your nose is like squashed. Your whole iPad fell on your nose. Ooh, I'm sorry. You wish Klonika made people sad so he'd be Scarlet Moth akumatizing everyone? Rest in peace, your nose. <laughs> I must admit, I'm impressed. This plan does seem flawless. I mean, Natalie's always been the one with been the brains of the outfit. I don't know how he's going to continue when she eventually leaves him. And this is why I want you to run it to its completion yourself. Take control of the Senta monster. Use it to beat Ladybug and Cat Noir. And let's end this once and for all. So now it's final boss time. Don't be bemused, it's just the news. Following the Caterpillar's mayhem, Mayor Bourgeois has decided to lock down the whole city. It is strongly advised that we all stay in our homes until the situation is dealt with. In other news, it appears that a considerable amount of Parisians have been experiencing episodes of unusual stress and anxiety these last few days. 
This mass emotional breakdown may be connected to the Caterpillar's appearance. Considering supervillain Mayura made an announcement later to earlier today, calling out to Ladybug and Cat Noir directly. In her statement, Mayura urges our heroes to surrender. Surrender before the Caterpillar evolves into something even they, quote unquote, can never beat in a thousand lives. As of now, Paris's only hope in this dire situation is Ladybug and Cat Noir. Sounds like quarantine, yeah. What are we going to do, Marinax? The situation is going from bad to worse, and I'm running out of ideas here. Ladybug can't surrender. There's no... There's got to be another way. You're right, Tiki. I think we should find Master Fu for guidance. He might be able to point us in the right direction. Alright, water break. That was a lot of reading. Sorry, that was a long water break. Oh, thank you. I am a bit of an amateur voice actress. I'd love to do, like, projects and stuff, but I have no money to hire other voice actors. And I don't really have too many friends who would be into it. Because, like, I- Because, like, I do have my friend Zaki, who is a voice actor, uh, and he did help me out with, uh, with one project, but I hate to bother him a whole bunch because he is- uh, he is also kind of a professional voice actor, too. Like, he's done some professional work. And I don't want to keep asking him to do free work when he is a professional. It's an episode I can never get bored of. Uh, yeah, Oblivion and Heroes Day are both good. Uh, Chat Blanc is another really good one. Although, I still cringe whenever, Mar whenever Ladybug sniffs Adrian's pillow. <laughs> like, mmm, girl. Uh, the episode two was another good one. The bubbler. Uh, I really liked that one. That had one of my favorite Adrianette scenes where uh, it's not even a direct scene between Marinette and Adrian. Well, it sort of is, but it's more of a scene with her and Alia at the very end where Adrian thinks that uh, the scarf that he got was from his father and Alia tells Marinette she should tell him that it was actually from her and Marinette says no. Because he thinks it's from his father, and that's making him happy. And if that's what makes him happy, then I don't want to ruin that for him. That is love. That is the scene that cements uh, Adrianette for me. Marinette, it is a relief to see that you're safe. I just heard the news. This is terrible. Actually, I was visiting you thinking you could help me. It's as if there's nothing we can do against the center monster. There's always a way, Marinette. Don't lose hope, even though everyone in Paris seems to have lost it. Mayura said it would soon evolve into something absolutely unstoppable. What can we expect? Hmm. We could benefit from learning more about this new enemy. I saw on TV that the center monster laid eggs during its molting process. I need you to go out there and bring back three larvae. By studying their behavior, it might give us enough insight into what they're made of. You always got bored of Chat Blanc from the intro scene. It's just love action and it cringed you out. Yeah. Uh, you got a cousin into Sailor Moon. You're gonna get her into Miraculous soon? Okay. Yeah, she'd probably like... If, if she likes Sailor Moon, I'd say she pro she'll probably like Miraculous. Sure thing, Master. Once again, Adrian's not gonna be allowed to do this. Can we still visit the shop? Okay, good. Looks like we can. All right. We haven't bought anything for Ladybug yet. All right, let's go ahead and max out Cat Noir's health and also get him some dexterity. There we go. We could have also gotten that instead. Okay. It's the same, same person that whispered in your ear when you, when you farted. <laughs> Oh, hi, monkey. Are you enjoying yourself in my lap? Are you gonna get mad at me for petting you? Aww. Aww, kitty kitty. Alright, 
right, so we have to find these caterpillars. Uh, oh, okay. The clock is tick- Oh, the clock is ticking, Tiki. Let's retrieve three baby caterpillars and bring them back to Master Fu as soon as possible. Once he's done studying them, it may give us a clue as to how to beat the Senta monster. Okay, thank you for just repeating what we just learned. Oh, here we go. One. Okay, two more. That was it? We faced a mini oh. loading screen for just that. For two lines. Two. Okay, one more. Wow. I mean, at least this part's fast. Three. That makes three of them. You're so mad when Ladybug told Cat Noir off for joking around in Glaciator 2 when she's literally doing it in Season 5. Yeah. I'm still mad at her for throwing my son in the trash. A while later. Excellent, Marinette. I'm done running tests on the three baby caterpillars you brought me earlier. It appears they feed on human emotional states. And sadly, there's only one type of food they seem to be partial to. Negative emotions. You mean they, f you mean they feed on bad vibes? Like a cat on tuna. Or plague on cheese. On camembert. The baby caterpillar I exposed to sad words literally doubled in size, while the others seemed impervious to positive ones. Which makes me really concerned about how Mayura's caterpillar is going to evolve. I can't be sure, but when you face off with that suit ten with that center monster, it would be wise to steer clear of gloomy thoughts. The center monster may the center monster may convey doubt and confusion into your heart, and you may find yourself unable to judge things clearly. If it should happen, you must hold on to something that truly makes you happy. A memory, a thought, an image, anything. Is it gonna be Adrian? <laughs> I am rooting for you, Marinette. I am confident your good heart and Cat Noir's good will can give us the upper hand in this battle. Yeah, it looks like things are about to go down. If that's a battle my if it's if that's a battle my Euro wants, we ought to bring it to them. That's the spirit, Marinette. Let me know if you want me to work on your power-ups. Already did. <laughs> Cat Noir is our son because he doesn't have good or any parent figures. Whoa! What? What? Oh, it just crashed. I guess it's a good thing that it's auto saves. I have never had a Switch game crash before. Oh my gosh! I had some fun. a bunch of games. <laughs> Happen. I guess Pokemon sometimes. games are just built differently. Zag play. Okay. Even Pokemon. <laughs> really? I've never yep. had Pokemon games crash before. Yep. It happened twice on Sword. Hmm. I mean, I know there are some bugs in that game. Like, there's the berry tree glitch. Loading save data. Oh, hi kitty. Hi monkey. Oh, she's my monkey. Oh, there's a credits too. Down, that's when I become. Oh, and then it ends there. And now it's just stopped. Oh, there it goes. It's chill, yeah. but in the night, she's all I think about. I feel so strong when she's around. She picks me up when I am down. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Looks like I'm just petting my lap. <laughs> yeah. 
Talk to Master Fu to engage in the final battle. Uh, but it says to go this the other way. Uh, just give me a minute. Just give me a little time. I have a few loose ends to tie up. Take your time, Marinette. I'm here if you'd like me to work on your power-ups. Oh. Oh, okay. That's, That's weird, weird, though. It tells you that this is the spot to continue and not at Master Fu. Hmm. So should we go back and do all the other stages at, and complete them, or should we just continue? You ask me or the chat? <laughs> Both. Uh, I'm fine with the final battle. <sighs> Hopefully we'll be able to come back. I would assume so. Final battle? Okay. Final. <laughs> Why not complete them? You want the good ratings. Uh, I mean, hopefully we can come back and continue. This is it, Marinette. I'm ready. Let's finish this once and for all. That's the spirit, Marinette. I'm rooting for you. Alright. So yeah, it's two votes for the final battle, so... We'll go on to that. Also, water break. Alrighty. I love how you can actually see my invisible water bottle. At least where it's supposed to be. Huh? The scented monster! It's here! Whoa! How come it's that big anyway? Feeding on Parisians' despair was just the appetizer. Chloe was the main course! And what are we? Desserts? What do we do now? Just stick to the plan. What plan? Run! <laughs> Just stick to the plan. What plan? Run! Oh, don't worry. We won't end the stream just because we finished the story mode. My streams tend to go on pretty late. Yep. I can confirm that. No cat no war credit. Because remember, you're sick and have nothing better to do. Hey! You know, I hope you feel better, but yeah, you're welcome here anytime. <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one who found that funny. I might go get a cough drop. My throat's a little sore. But to do that, I have to disturb the sleeping kitty in my lap. You like that? Oh, yeah. Follow the Caterpillar's trailer. Trail. That's a trailer, didn't I? Yep. Okay, so now we get silk all over the city. Alright, yeah, we want to switch to Cat Noir anyways. Oh, oh wow. Oh, that's actually really creative. Having the... Having the silk holding up the vehicles to create new platforms, that's really nice. That's really creative. Yep. Oh, and... Go and grab all this stuff. Oh my gosh, it's an entire couch. It's like it's like an entire living room right here. Too bad there's no sitting animation. I'd love to just sit down right here. Actually, I wonder if there's an idle animation. We never we saw Marinette and Adrian's idle animations, but we never stopped to look at uh, Ladybug and Cat Noir's idle animations. Ah, oh, <laughs> okay. Can give me one virtually? Oh, cough drop, right, yeah. 
took me a hot minute to figure out what you to realize what you were talking about. I was like, oh yeah, I was, talk I was talking about to uh, possibly going to get a cough drop. Okay, well, I guess that's all of them. This has your name on. Ah, I was trying to switch targets and it wouldn't let me. Gotcha. One point for Cat Noir. All right. Okay. Ooh, I think I recognize this spot. Oh wait, no, this is this the Sen? No, this isn't the Sen. It's just a little area. Oh. Okay. Uh yeah. Moving platform. Oh, it's a bus stop. Okay. That's kind of cool how it's a bus stop. It's actually pretty clever. It's a catastrophe around here. It's a good thing that Parisians stayed home. He's making cat puns, but he sounds like he's really worried about stuff. Ah! I shouldn't have done that double jump. Your friend just texted you, said so she's throwing- Oh, wow. I hope she's okay. Okay, I think we just have to... Okay, there we go. All that for just one orb, and that was it. Oh. It looks like something was forming there. Okay, that was interesting. Oh, I guess that's like... Scales. Okay. Okay. She's got a stomach bug. Oh wow. Well, I hope that's not what you've got. I hope it, I hope what you've got doesn't get uh, as bad as that. And I hope your friend feels better soon too. Follow the caterpillar's trail. What is about that? I can sniff danger. Hope you are feeling better soon. I'm still mad that they did it, that they ig uh, ignored the fact that Cat Noir has night vision, so he absolutely could have seen down there. You went to the doctor today? Oh, that's good. You have the flu? Aw. Well, it's, at least it's not the other thing you could have. Also, what is that? Oh, okay, it's the top of it, okay. Oh my gosh, is this... Oh no, okay. The car just hit this traffic light. Okay. Oh, this one actually is changing colors. That's cool. I don't have time for this! Ah! No, no, no! No, no, no! no. <sighs> okay, okay. And that's a wrap. Okay. Oh man, that was scary. They almost got me. Oh, this poor tree. Look out! It's the perfect place for an ambush. Uh, all your friends are stressing out because that's a sign of cancer. Just yelled at her and told her to get medical help. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. If she's coughing up blood, absolutely she get she should get help. Okay, there we go. Hey, come on. There it goes. Okay, thank you. So can you give me the orb, please? Alright. Oh, and there's one up here. All right. Also, it would be interesting if these eggs all hatched too, because you're in for a treat. Like, 
We saw the larva. Haha, -ha, yeah. I dodged it. Oh. That's too easy. Only took one point of damage. So yeah, a no damage run, like, can you imagine doing this as a no damage run? Like, you get so far, and then at the very end, you get hit. It's like, no, I have to restart all over again. Yeah. That's why I won't do that. But at the very least, with the autosave feature, I guess you could technically do it, because... With the autosave feature, it'll reset you back to just outside that battle. I suppose one thing you could do is if you take some damage, then you just, you know, let yourself take all the damage so that you die, and then it resets for you. But with a no damage run, there would be like literally no point this. in putting any points in health. Ah! No! No! That's gotcha. Whew! I think if we do do a no damage run... We might just do that on this save file, though. Like, can you beat this game without taking damage? Like, can you can you do each round without taking damage, I guess? Yeah. Okay. That looks to be everything, then. Uh, oh, wait. Let's come over here, too. Oh, can we go up here? Nope, okay. I love how so many of these feel like the, like you're going to the same areas over and over again, but because they're all... It's because of all the damage that's happening to the city, Down to you and me. it's always feels fresh. These enemies can take any blow. You have to find a way to stun them. Oh, okay. No pain, no gain. Oh, okay. That's going to be That is going to be difficult. So, I'm guessing it's like you have to like parry them or something cuz it it eventually did let me fight him and kill him. Those guys are definitely going to be annoying. Grab this one. Lots of macrons in this area. Yep. Oh, there's one. But no word about this from oh. him. Yeah, they haven't really mentioned the macarons either, I don't think. Because, like, there was a notification about the macarons. Like, oh, Tiki loves these macarons. And that was it. Also, the game is lagging again. Now this, I will say, feels natural. Oh, the Adrian poster! Oh, he's actually wearing his normal clothes in that. There are so many Adrian posters that where he actually wears different clothes. Clothes we never get to see him in. And it's such a shame that we never get to see those clothes. Yeah, there's no camembert. Are we still in Paris? Or in a giant silk cocoon? Oh, yeah, I hope... Uh, yeah, anxiety is no joke, so... Yeah, I hope things uh, go okay for you. Uh, some of your friends are You're now trying to dispute uh, that she's coughing up blood, saying she has a cut in her mouth. And that's a 
Mm. That's not really how that works, though. Because that would, wouldn't be coughing up blood. That's just bleeding from the mouth. Ah, get off! You go away. I don't feel so good. Oh, that was close. That was close. Yeah, it would be a good idea for her to seek medical help. <gasps> oh no! It started its morphing phase. Let's get up there. Hopefully, we can do something before it hatches. Oh man, the lag was affecting the animation there too. I don't blame the animators for that, I blame the lag. Okay. Are we supposed to like... What? There's something up there that we're not getting. That's so weird. How about from this point? Okay, so... Oh, okay, we're pulling something. Oh, that's probably what this is for then. Okay. And this actually allows us to get up here. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. And then I just fell. Got it! Alright. Alright. Oh, and... We can... Get this. Okay, this is a smash. Okay. Just slice through it. Oh, here we go. How many are there? Ah! No, no, no! No, no! Whoo! Okay, okay. Dodge! No! No! Ladybug! Ladybug! Way to go! Whoo! Jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! That was close. I don't feel so good. Oh! What? <laughs> Checkmate, lady. This is a new one. Are. Frankly, I assumed you had a little more fight in you. I'll go crawl in a ditch. <laughs> you're a, you're a bad father and a horrible person. Especially because you're a bad father. <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. Oh, hi, Back. Mickey. Thanks. Oh, kitty. Oh, kitty, kitty. Okay. Oh, we came all the way back here. No, it started its morphing phase. That is really blurry, though. Let's get up there. Hopefully, we can do something before it hatches. That definitely looks a lot smoother, but that was still really blurry. Oh wait, to come over here first. Now oh, we should probably fight those goons first, and then do all this. Oops. Nope. It's back to Ladybug. We have to do this part next. Now we can switch back to Cat Noir. There's another ladybug. Ladybug spot. Where? On the second tower. Go up. Right. 
Is that right? On the right. Like up there? No. This tower there. This? We used that one. That was how we pulled this one over here. No, the other one. Up. Up there? Behind the tower. Behind it? Oh, okay, yeah. I see it now. Oh, actually, it's Cat Noir. He's pushing. And now, that's how we get up there. Okay. And then we just come over here. Yay, platforms. Can we completely skip that fight? Oh, we've gotta... We've gotta get through this first. Yep, we're seven hours in. Oh, come on, I thought it was charging it. There we go. Bless you! Bless you again! Okay. Also, I just realized you could probably stand on air on those, because there's, like, this spot right there. Ah, oh, dang it. No! I probably should go fight those guys first before doing all this. Alright. And back to cat. Ah! No! I, I didn't jump! <laughs> <laughs> One more hour, and that would be the time to take to the to meet Mr. Pigeon seventy-two times. Okay. And yes, got it. All right. Got this. No, 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 get out, go away, go away. Oh, okay. Dodge. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. I could do this all day. I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not, cat. Okay. Okay. Gotta go up here. There we go. Try not get to get stuck underneath again. Ooh, is this the Eiffel Tower? <gasps> I think this is the Eiffel Tower. Yep. Oh, we finally get to see the Eiffel Tower. Is that? Oh, it's oh, it's a a pottery. Okay. Uh, it's a little. Plant garden, okay. Cause that was the time you said it earlier in the stream. <laughs> Just a small sample okay. of my many skills. Yeah. No no no. No no no. No no no. No no no. Because stop it stop it. Bad. That's Whew. All you got. Oh man. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess that's as far as we can go that way. Man, it is really cool that we can get this, that uh, we can act we actually get to climb up the Eiffel Tower here. Oh, we can actually fall down, though. Oh, snap. Okay. Ha! Thanks to be you! Ha ha! Not going to fall for it. <laughs> Not going to fall for it? Well, that looks like Marinette's window. Oh my goodness, is this the bakery? Okay, we've got uh, another moving platform there. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I wanted that orb. 
want that. Mine. Oh, okay, that's literally in here. Okay. Ah! Oh, no! Even though we made it all the way. Okay. Oh, what? What? Oh, I, I almost did that too soon. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. There's still stuff that we missed over here, I think. Oh, okay. That's just that. Okay. We literally didn't have to do all that then. Okay. Well, let's run around the top here before we go to the observatory. Nope. Okay. This is all How we can do. Oh, <laughs> TVC, you startled me. What the? Hello. <laughs> Would you rest. Please, I just came home and I opened up when I said she's still alive. Yes! I told you. Like, we're only on at hour seven. This is not. This oh. is not. <laughs> I. Oh my god. I kept checking throughout the day and I was like, no way. No freaking way. And then I came back home and I was like, oh my god. I told you I streamed for a long time. I, I kept seeing so many different things. I saw Chloe at one point. I saw Mayura. I was like, okay. Also, everyone say hi to my friend TBC. Give her a big welcome. Hey. Hello. Also, nice to meet you. TBC, this is my friend Dem. Hi. Also, we've been able to get through here almost completely with Cat Noir. The only time we really have to use Ladybug is if we're about to die. Just so we can get some extra health. <laughs> um, right as I left, I saw you were doing something with Master Pu or something, Shit. and you couldn't access him with the sh chat. Wait, what the fudge is happening? What's all this? Blue is it the magic orb thing? Yeah, well, no. These are not the orbs. Some s these aren't a result of the orbs. These are from Mayura's Senta Monster. Oh. Lots I think you you should be almost done with the game. This looks like end game type of shit. Oh yeah. I feel so conflicted. Aiden just started his own stream and I'm like, who do I support? <laughs> oh yeah, I do remember he was gonna be gonna start Oh wait! I thought his stream didn't start till six. Uh I just got the notification a little while ago, so I I don't think He's, he's, uh, let me see. I don't think he's been streaming for long. Because I remember getting a notification that he was going to start at 6. Like, it was in my sub box and everything. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoa. He's, he's also been going for three hours. You people are insane. <laughs> I mean, time flies when you're having fun. I guess. My my longest stream is four hours, and I never want to clock past five hours. No, six. Six is my max. <laughs> I hate platformers! Oh, yeah, wait. you suck. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Sorry. <laughs> I just couldn't know. You oh. left yourself open for that one. <laughs> Leo! Oh my gosh, Leo, you, you better get down, you're gonna get me killed. <laughs> he jumped in front of the TV, he likes to do that. Oh my god, two for two now. He's also playing as Cat Noir. I'm like, oh my god, people be doing yes! bug dirt in this game. <laughs> well, the thing is that they there's so many times where it forces you to play, like, as her. Because, like, during the the main like st when you're in the city so much of stuff is like yeah you have to play as marinette because you can't progress the story as adrian it's like oh well, yeah it's just like a show. adrian doesn't do anything 
Oh, this is a new animation pose. Cat Noir is kneeling. He's doing his little cat kneel. Aww. I fell and I landed up here. Thank goodness. I was not going to be happy if I had to do that again. Ah! Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. Yes! Oh. Does this game have checkpoints? Uh, sort of. It did crash earlier. I could do this oh, all no. day. Oh no. Oh no. Not these guys. Oh. Oh. My ear is bag My ear is a uh, little fights. Th these little mini fights. No pain, oh, they're no such game. a pain. Once you get Once you Once you get to Chloe, Oh, the fights are such a pain! It, it, it looks... Oof. And I can understand, like, even just seeing you play this, I'm like, oh my god, like, the depth of field, you can't tell how far or close something is to you actually jump. Yeah. Oof. Oh no 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 Oh, oh no. If I had fallen back on the Eiffel Tower, I would have lost it. <laughs> it would have set you back. Yeah. There's some Cat Noir spots over there. So have you um, accessed new clothing or something? Uh, that's DLC you have to pay for. Oh, okay. Because I'm seeing uh, someone play a shot blah and I'm like... Yeah, apparently he only gets the one, and Ladybug gets two, and I'm kind of mad about that. Would you have preferred Snake Noir to be in this game? No! <laughs> I mean, I don't hate him, but I do understand people's issue with the hood. I don't even Thank mind you. Snake Noir at all. It's just, um, in terms of playable Adrian characters for a video game, I don't see that much we can pick from well there is when he fused I'm with just um, too good at yeah snake noir is decent I, I i was thinking of aspect that's the one i don't want to see yeah i mean again i don't hate aspect but i understand people's issue with the hood but snake noir um, is what... definitely the better of the two though what two outfits does ladybug have i don't rem remember i know that one of them was they posted it on twitter Um, I'm pretty sure it would probably be... Oh, imagine if they gave us, um, Princess Justice, or is it Miss Fortune? I forgot her akumatized form. It was Princess Justice was the name. Yeah, that would have been so cute. It's funny, because our friend May has a, uh, a, an OC <laughs> from, like, an, like an AU OC who uses the, uh, the Ladybug Miraculous as a villain, and her name is Miss Fortune. Oh, uh, that's cool. The thing that I really that that I find really great in is a lot of people have really cool OCs and fan concepts. But then, if by any misfortune it gets confirmed in the show, you're out of luck. The fandom will never believe you came up with it first. Like you and Kitty Noir, that shit still pisses me off. Oh yeah, especially that one person trying to be like, oh well, they've had they've had Zoe in mind since 2016, and it's like. If that's the case, then why didn't they foreshadow her existence before season four? Yeah, she never existed until season four ended. I, I sorry, season three ended. I refuse to believe otherwise. Oh, she just seems like a very forced and rushed character. Mm -hmm. And I like her. It's not like um, Alex, where you can actually see the foreshadowing of her becoming Bunnix since season one. Mm -hmm. So now there's a lion miraculous? Why not a bunny miraculous while you're at it? I, I, I love the lion miraculous because like, oh, Africa, please. And she looks perfect. <laughs> like my bias is showing. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Dodge! Dodge! 
Whoo! Okay. No! 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 no. Stop ganging up on me! Stop ganging up on Catalor! Ah! No! 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 Jeez. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can't even see because the stupid silk is in the way. One point for Cat Noir. Oh my god! I see what you mean. Baby bug has a ball. Oh my gosh, that scared me! <laughs> what do I rate the game now? Uh, like, I'm still not going to go out, going to go out on a limb and say, "Oh, it's a 10 out of 10 game." There are definite issues and everything. Uh, I still don't think it deserves a full eight, but maybe a seven and a half, because like, there is a lot to explore and do in here. It's like, I'm actually pretty yeah, confident that from we can get some stuff. Yeah, this seems like a game that can easily have um, seven to eight hours worth of content. But I, I don't, personally, I don't know if it's worth that $50 price tag. Oh, I just fell and had to have to redo all this again. <laughs> At least I don't oh, have to no. do that fight. Oh, there's a macron over here I missed. I guess that was a good thing then. The macrons, you, you well, what other power ups have you got? Or have you just maxed out? Uh, I've maxed, I've almost maxed out Cat Noir. There's still some stuff that we haven't maxed out yet. I've maxed his health at least. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Man, this game is scary sometimes. Makes your life flash before your eyes. Mm -hmm. Also, apparently I uh, worried one of my viewers' dads Seems earlier. Because uh, they walked in and saw their kid watching this cat girl on screen. <laughs> and apparently their dad started worrying about them. Man, that's a wrap. <laughs> no! No, sir, we promise he's not on that side of YouTube. He's safe to you. It's like I am an adult, but I don't I don't post adult content. Oh, here we go. I could just I could just feel his worry. Because <laughs> Cat Noir's costume can be interpreted in very Ooh, what that's so pretty. I didn't even notice that. I was just watching your stream back. Like the door flashed with his um, logo. Yeah, that was the uh, that was you know Cat Noir vision. Yeah, he has his own vision, and it occurs even actually. It actually feels like it's been occurring even more than Ladybugs. Well, you have been playing as him, so if you were Ladybug, but yeah, oh I no, these are probably. These are fixed points, cause like, see this. There's the ladybug one right here. It's like, oh. you, it's like you have to switch. Oh my god! I, why do I feel like the developers of this game also like chat? <laughs> I mean, there are also times where it feels like they don't like Adrian. So, well, to be fair, where where you have to be completely fair. The game doesn't give you much. The, the show itself doesn't give Adrian much. So you can't really do anything without breaking like canon and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least the super jumps are for both of them. Oh, Macron. I've got a feeling there's going to be a big boss fight here. This seems like the spot for a big boss fight. Also, so this is the side of a building. <laughs> Yeah, everything's just gone insane. They were just walking on the sides of buildings that have been attached to the Eiffel Tower with silk. Ah. Uh, also, there was kind of. <laughs> yeah. Also, Th you this whole image is scary. Mhm. Mm also, you missed it. We spent like, uh, like. A good hour or so inside the sewer. So, more of the children spending more, spending so much time in sewers, <laughs> like unreasonable <laughs> amount of time in sewers. 
Oh, hey! The Adrian poster managed to make it. Another one, also, actually. I, I find it so funny. Um, I logged in, I think, maybe an hour or so ago, <laughs> and you said that um, TVC said there wouldn't be any cutscenes or something, and there were all the cutscenes. I could do this all day. I don't remember that. I don't know if it was cutscenes or um, loading screens. No, yeah, loading screen. Oh yeah, yeah. You, so you mentioned how there weren't any loading screens, and I was like, and the, and then uh, we had these really long loading screens. I I found it so funny. I was like, oh, the game knew. I I, I had no patience for that. So it didn't allow me to <laughs> witness any of it. We made it to the top. Well, you'll like Scarlet and Violet because there are no loading screens in Scarlet and Violet. Instead of seven hours of gameplay, uh, people wanted to pay Don't for the price. Don't tell me that's what I think it is. Should be ten to twenty-five right, hours, to so it's worth the price. Yeah. Oh, I remember this part from the trailer. Yuck! No sign of the Sentin monster. And no sign of Chloe either. This can't be good. Ladybug looks kind of tall here. I should praise you for your sense of dramatic mm. timing. <laughs> Behold the Sphinx. The face of your demise, Ladybug and Cat Noir. That is not a Sphinx. Now do you understand why I wouldn't have missed this Sphinx for the world? Lost. Spare us your theatrics, Hawk. Oh, Hawk. Okay. Just tell us where Chloe is. Chloe is safe. How heroic of you to it's worry about her in spite small. of everything she's done to you. Heroic, but pointless. You he's Adrian. Of course he's worried. And for what? To come up with another Santa monster? You know we'll beat it like we always do. There seems to be something of a misunderstanding. The Sphinx was not meant for you. It was meant for the people of Paris. See? Soon it will fly over the city and spread its toxic powder, imprisoning every single Parisian into a stasis of despair and sorrow forever. Return of Scarlet Moth? No! These people did nothing to you! Actually, there is a way you can avert this crisis, Ladybug and Cat Noir. And that is by handing over your miraculous to me. <laughs> you really think that after seeing you take advantage of your power, we'd give up our miraculous? We'd never allow you to harm even more innocent people. <sighs> so be it. Then my sphinx will beat the two worthless pawns that you are in one single strike. Checkmate, Ladybug and Cat Noir! <laughs> Give up now, Ladybug and Cat Noir! You're no match for the Sphinx! Oh! Oh, okay, I gotta dodge that. Okay. Oh! Okay. Way to oh! Go! Whoa! Whoa! What? What? Hurt. What happened to my health? Ladybug! Protect him! I'm pretty sure she'll go down. I'm pretty sure she'll go down in one strike then. Yeah. From these things. Okay, and that's where you strike. Okay. She's literally kicking its thorax. Man, I wanted to do this. This cat. <laughs> no, Ladybug's gonna steal the win. And it's gonna be like, oh yeah, Ladybug saved the day. It's like, no, she didn't. <laughs> cat cat Award does all the work. Ladybug shouldn't get all the credit. To be fair, it's like, okay, let her at least play some of the game. Let her beat the <laughs> final blow. I just wish we could do this in co-op mode, like, online. Oh, there's co-op yeah. for this? Yes, but only local. Yeah, but... yeah. What does that mean? I'm not a gamer. <laughs> Someone else uh, who has another system would join you with their system, but it has to be in person. Then is that really yeah. co-op? Yes. 
because then um, it would be better if to say you could go online and play with someone, but somebody has to come with their own, let's say, switch to my mm -hmm. place till we can play together. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, you can get this on PC too, but I don't know if your computer would be able to handle it. Yeah, for a game that a lot of people ragged on, this looks like they they used a lot of graphics and assets, but I don't know. Like, there are some points where it's like, okay, yeah, this could definitely look better. Like, there's this one point where you see the larva taking over the Eiffel Tower, and it's so pixelated and grainy. Yeah. Like, I don't know what they could have taken out to make the graphics better, but I feel like they had so many locations from what I saw and so many characters mm -hmm. that I feel like this is the best they could do on the time limit that they had. But if they had just like a few more months, I really do feel like they could have polished the models better and this could have been just beautiful. Oh yeah. Like, I'm hoping that they do like a DLC update or something to update the graphics. Or even just, just a regular update to fix the graphics and stuff. Ah, come on. Ah, I miss my kitty. I miss my chaton. <laughs> And now Ladybug's about to die, too. She's at half health. Ah! No, I pressed the wrong button. At least it only got her half of heart. Yeah, All seem to be very damaging, though. Yeah. I like coming back here, because then you can actually see where it is. So you can't rotate mm -hmm. the camera or anything. Oh, no, not these things again. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! I think I'm, I think I'm going to be able to beat it first try. I'm going to be amazed if I can, because... I need ah! the energy! Ah, I pressed the wrong button again! No! <laughs> I was pressing the attack well, button. You can do this. We believe in you. There will be S in the chat if I die. No! Ah! I mean, at least now I know what to do, so I can keep Cat alive longer. If I take one more hit, I'm dead. Ah! Come on! Get stuck! Will you just get stuck already? This is cheating! You know what? Ladybug's on half a uh, half a heart, so I'm just gonna switch back to cat. Oh I ran into a spike! Such <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no! no! <laughs> oh no. That's that's actually sad. <laughs> I ran into a spike! Oh, is this because of the joke that I made in the thumbnail of the review for episode four with Spike? Probably. Um. <laughs> Oof. I don't know if you've seen episode four yet. No. Well, 
All I'll say is that there's this one scene that just reminded me of a scene from My Little Pony uh, involving Spike. So I basically, you know, memed it and it's like, this episode is 100% Spike approved. Yeah, I saw the video and I was like, wait, what is she talking about? Then I remembered the episode and I was like, oh, that's hysterical. Because <laughs> it also looks like the mustache of Marinette Law. Don't tell me that's what I think it is. Hurry, or whatever. So you've technically seen Cat Noir with a mustache now. Yuck. Well, only the thumbnail. Oh, they're gonna have to do all of this again. Can't, can't wait, you can't keep cutting. There's supposed to be a button, it's just not appearing. Of dramatic timing. I, I just thought mash, honestly. <laughs> Behold the the X button usually appears the in the upper corner there. I think it's because we haven't actually finished this fight yet. Now do you understand why I wouldn't have missed this for the world? So when we go back to other to areas, just the, the button Chloe appears. Is. Chloe is safe. Oh, uh, we'll only chat to deal with what we've been said. <laughs> yeah. She's done to you. Heroic, but pointless. You used her. I'm surprised. I'm like, I'm <laughs> I love how you're so <laughs> surprised to see the cat noir is all worried about Chloe. It's like I'm not surprised. He's Adrian. To be something of a misunderstanding. The Sphinx was not meant for you. Uh, he's our sweet little he's cinnamon roll boy. Paris. He's too See, nice. He is. He's too pure for this world. Numero and Ducey are your favorites. Into a stasis of despair and sorrow forever. No! These people do nothing to you! Oh. Actually, the there is a way you can avert this I feel my favorite would be... Well, I don't want to say Fiki because it sounds so bland, but... <laughs> Agreed. Um, Trix was also a really cute one when they first came out. Yeah, and of course she's also voiced uh, by uh, Makoto Nijima from Persona 5. Who also plays uh, a character from Pokemon Journeys named Chloe. Well, in the Japanese version her name is Koharu, but in the dub her name is Chloe. I don't even try to like, assign um, a gender when speaking about Trix, because I remember I thought you were a boy, I got... Railed for it. I thought they were a girl. Same thing. And they were like, it's they, them. And I'm like, it's a, yeah. it's a Kwame. Leave me alone. They don't even care how you perceive them. Yeah. It's like, Tiki and Plague, you know, Tiki uses she, her pronouns, and Plague uses he, him. So I think it's really just that, I think it's really just that all Kwamis are gender neutral, but they have preferred pronouns. Yeah, so with all the other ones, they haven't really said it. Like with Waze, we, uh, some people also said Waze hasn't confirmed what pronouns they like. So the fandom has just opted to just call all the Kwamis they. Mm -hmm. But with Trix is, oh wait, Trix's voice act is it a girl or a boy? Trix's voice actor is a girl, but I believe Trix does use male pronouns. Yeah, that's... It's probably he, they. I don't know why I'm even debating this. Oh no, they're making this, the fandom is making me go insane. No. I just want to like the fun. Leave me alone. <laughs> I may be a cat, but I don't want to play with any balls right now. <laughs> Oh shoot. Oh shoot, I hit a spike. Ah, how do you get that thing stuck in the ice? It's like, I keep dodging it, but it keeps not getting stuck. I would be amazed if you if you actually finish this whole gameplay in one sitting, because you're probably one of the first people to say, "Ha, I finished the game." Well, and people are like, "It just came out." At least of the people that actually didn't get an early copy. Yeah, exactly. It it, it just boggles my mind because you can't even compare this to something like, um, let's say, Elden Ring, which I know you have to clock in a hundred hours before you can even start to think of being done with that game. Yes! Finally! Hit it! Show no mercy! Oh my god, you almost, oh, you almost killed it! Oh no! 
<laughs> you just went to town on it. Oh my god. I'm done with this thing. Beat it with a stick. Oh, hey, fishy. <laughs> Hello. Do you mean to use my best friend, fish or fishy? Hi. Hi, fishy. <laughs> nice is... to meet you. He is my best friend too. that I've known for many, many years, and uh, we, we, we co-write together and stuff, and he's like my little- he's like my cute little brother. Aww, that's so adorable! I am currently yeah. 27, and she has known me since I was 14. Yes. Aww! Goals, honestly. Shoot, so close. Get stuck in the ice again. Yes! Also, yes! I... Yes! 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 We finally also, got like... to the Cataclysm <laughs> part! <laughs> Which means we're almost done! Oh. oh my god, that animation. Pretty good for a uh, day. <laughs> oh, don't do it, cat! Don't do it! Don't. Oh, uh, is he going for the Senta monster? No! And now it's going crazy. Dude, you just cataclysmed the Senta monster. You know you're not supposed to do that. Ladybug, are you all right? I saw you breathing that powder. Say something. I'm sorry, kitty cat, but I can't. Why do you look angry? I'm exhausted. <laughs> We're out of our league here. Oh, it's Don't got her upset. Now, lady. It's pointless. Oh, Our it's got her in despair. Fight it out, lady. Oh, no. These are not your real You're thoughts. Bringing her out of it. What's the point anyway? We always fight the on and on. We fight endlessly. The spots on her because ribbon are annoying. There's always evil out there that needs to be stopped. And if we don't stop it, who will? I'm not cut out oh, to Scarlet. be a superhero, Cat Noir. The truth is, I just want to be a normal girl. We might as well just. Give up. That actually oh. hits hard with episode four. I won't spoil why, but don't move. In the daytime, she's right, Ladybug. What's the point of it all? Just an ordinary oh, no. fighting. And too many people have suffered because of this conflict. You have the opportunity to make it stop, Ladybug. Everything could end tonight. It's manipulating her. Oh, give me your miraculous. Let me take that burden Cat. off of you. See that, Ladybug? There are thousands in the streets marching toward the Eiffel Tower to support you. Everyone in this town believes in you. What the they hell is haven't that? haven't given up on you. Is that a tablet? And I haven't given up on you. Oh, it's a stick. It doesn't Wait, this matter. stick always had a, had a screen in it. Yep. Am I right? He's oh, used no. it that way before. Don't let us down! We all need you! Oh, hi, Alia. Let's wrap this up, Cat Noir. You know the drill. Yeah! Oh, hey, it didn't force me to switch to Ladybug. Oh! Oh, it's Hawk Moth. Oh, shit. Kick yeah. his ass! <laughs> Beat it's up over, own... old man. Beat up your own father, <laughs> there, Adrian, even though you don't know that ah. it's your father. I like how you already got into half realm. <laughs> oh shit, very killed him. Yes! Each Wait, have, have they had a moment to be transformed this entire game? Sunglasses? No. At night? There are times when you play as Marinette and Adrian. Because I think this is like the third Lucky Charm she's done in a row or something. No, they- every villain, they do Cataclysm and Lucky Charm. in the world can resist? Romantic flowers. Yeah, but we, we know that they have to be transformed and like beat the their Kwame. I'm just saying, did they, did they have a scene like that? <laughs> Sorry, I was paying attention to the button presses. What? what? Are you doing? <laughs> Every time they do the Lucky Charm and Cataclysm, you know they only have five minutes left. Yeah. So do they show that in the game, or do they just forget that's a thing? And that they have to be transformed and beat the Kwame? <laughs> They do focus a little too much on the story actually happening. They don't show any of, any of the... But they do actually say that they have to go and back and transform and feed their Kwamis. So they, they mention it, they just don't say anything. Yeah. 
It feels like even in the Where show, they forgot that whole this? five minute rule. Mm -hmm. Also, I love how many times she Stop. gets sunglasses as a lucky charm. That's another one that happens a lot is the sunglasses. She had a mirror earlier, which was like the third time we've seen a mirror lucky charm, too. Uh, Gabriel, you don't have wings. You don't actually have dark wings. Come on, Ladybug. Let's end this. At least she got the pendant. Also, we got some actual lore earlier. Before any of the show happened, uh, they were they were still searching for the ladybug and cat gotcha. miraculous, and Gabriel gave Natalie that pendant. Miraculous ladybug. <laughs> and he actually mentioned his affection for Natalie. It's like, oh my gosh, he just confessed to her. In the game. Yeah. Found it. And another abrupt and cut. One star. How is the really one star? That's all I get. <gasps> Game over. Wait a minute. That's that's the most unsatisfying ending ever. Well, you can also go back and actually one hundred percent everything. I think. No, that, that you just beat the final boss and then it's like okay, game over. Like, and then it's hello. like pound it, and that's it. Like, no, yeah, pound it. There's no like ending cut scene where you see like. <laughs> It's like, yeah. okay, go home. You already have your money. <laughs> There's a like ending cutscene where you see the people of Paris being like, we're safe. Maybe you only get that if you 100% the game. Because if we load in, there should be an option to go back and redo everything. There it goes. Also, water break. Oh shit, I didn't drink water too. Oh, oh we do have more. Right. Don't tell me what to do, Ladybug. I've had my fill of you. Wait, where am I? Chloe. You! What do you want? I suppose I owe you the truth. I was the one who arranged the deal you've made with Hawkmaw. Huh, so embarrassing. Well, thanks for nothing. If I were Hawkmoth, you'd be fired! Rest assured, I didn't want for it to go down this way, Chloe. As if. Being a superhero is so overrated anyway. I don't have time for this. I guess this is supposed to take place, like, right before Heart Hunter. Wait, are you the one reading this? <laughs> I legitimately thought the game just suddenly hired voice actors. What the fuck? There are these cutscenes, and then there's also voice cutscenes. I don't know. Yeah, like... Between Master Fu before, I was so confused. You're really good. Damn. Yeah. I don't necessarily agree, Chloe. Ladybug treats you as a worthless pawn and fails to see the queen you really are. You shouldn't give up on finding your way. Hmm. Maybe. Nah. Ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Bye bye, little butterfly. It's been saved in your scrapbook. So there is actually more to the game after that, then. Girl, did you forget? Adrian's birthday! Poor Adrian, with everything that's been going on, the school closed, the lockdown, Haw Hawkmaw's attack on Paris? It looks like he's going to spend his birthday alone. No! <laughs> he, <laughs> <I> <laughs> you. he finally got to you have a birthday party! <laughs> it's cancelled! <laughs> no! Why would you do this to the boy? You need to do something, Marinette. This is your big chance at saving Adrian's birthday. You're always here to support me. What do you suggest I do? You're always here to support me, Alia, no matter all the things we've been through. Max being akumatized again, Chloe being adopted, the whole city in peril. You still find time to care about, not just a face. I really want to help you get up there and speak your heart out to him. Oh, your words mean the world to me, Alia. Alia is the best wing girl. Like, next to Adrian, she is my favorite character in the whole show. Honestly. 
It feels so good knowing that I have you as my friend. I mean it. Okay, before my eyes get wet, there's a thing I really need to tell you. Adrian is on his way home right now, alone. From what I know, his father allowed him to walk home from his fencing class. Okay, but what are you getting at? Clue in, girl! Go see him now! He must be devastated that this whole Santa Monster thing had his birthday party cancelled. Also, do you see what I was saying before about my Alia voice not sounding too different from my Marinette voice? <laughs> it's the fact that Hawkmoth did all of this near his son's birthday. He's yeah. the real villain. Yep. Like I said, Keith Silverstein just loves- just is really good at playing awful fathers. You Who mean- else has he played? Uh, Masayoshi Shido in Persona 5, and also Professor Tomoe in Sailor Moon. Sailor- You mean, now now? I'll get out of your hair, Marinette! Bye- Bye! Oh, you wait! Oh, and then, okay. Did I press that by accident, I guess? Oh, Alia went up, at least. We can go back and 100%... Oh, okay, so it's one last thing. Okay. So, now we just have to go and talk to Adrian. Uh, oh, we have to go... Oh, I guess we talk to Alia again? Imagine you just switch as Adrian and you go try to talk to Adrian as Adrian. It's <laughs> really stubborn at this point. It doesn't actually let you do any of the story stuff with Adrian unless it specifically says to go as Adrian. It's like, I can't even talk to Ollie as Adrian. I wish this game had a- well, I don't know if it does, but I wish it had a Spider-Man mode. Like, you're just Ladybug and just swing into Paris. I'm sure somebody will mod that in on the PC version, but yeah, like, look at this. Marinette walks up to her dad, and she gets access to her scrapbook. I'd like to see my scrapbook. But if you walk up to Tom as Adrian, nothing. It's just, hi, Adrian, and that's it. What a beautiful day. That's it. That's all we get. Well, like, they snubbed him so hard. Why do they have Judas to the boy? Because he's not married Hello. yet. Because Thomas Ostrak is Hello? Just... Hello? Dem? Hello. Oh, yep. hey there. We... Oh. I heard someone join. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> you cut out for a bit. No, I had a call. Ah, okay. From my friend. That's why. Oh, we could go back into the Aww. sewer. <laughs> the poor. Oh, look! Even his, even his advertisements have been covered up by. Yeah, well, these. This is how you go back and revisit the older areas. Poor Adrian. I mean, a lot of his advertisements actually survive when, the, uh, when the akumatized people, transform the whole city. Yeah, and there's... That, that should be made... This should be done in the show. Oh, yeah. Adrian, the there's Monica. But yeah, Adrian's house is over here. Oh, and there's Natalie. Yes, I know. Ladybug and Cat Noir saved the day again. I read the news. Thank you. That's it? Can we talk to her as Adrian? It says to talk to Alia, but nothing really happens. Adrian, your father would do anything for you. You know that? Really? Because yeah, just... he just ruined his son's birthday party. Yep. At least you can talk to her as him. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! It almost feels like the whole city is ignoring him <laughs> when you play as him. Oh my gosh, it just occurred to me that... Uh... Oh, okay, and now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, I can't remember what I was thinking. It just occurred to you? <laughs> it just occurred to me that I'm awful at stuff like that. Also, I think this is a bug. If you try to go into the park from here, then you get kicked right- Oh my gosh, it didn't kick me out for a change! It, <laughs> it always kicks me out! That's the first time it hasn't kicked me out. Yep. Well, you can see the game crash. Maybe it kind of fixed itself? 
No, because it did that a minute ago. And I was going to show it to you again. Because I was going to draw attention to it. I'm just <laughs> kidding. Nope. I work now. Go crawl in a ditch. Nobody <laughs> likes you, Lila. Oh my god. <laughs> there are people who like like Lila. Nope. So... There, there are people who like to hate her. Yes. No, but there are generally people who like her, and they'll be like, she should have been the main character. That she would have been more interesting if it was her. Okay, what? it says to talk to Alia, but there's nothing... If I talk to Ali, she just tells me to go to Adrian's house. Adrian's heading home, quick. I did! Oh my gosh. Is there a, is, is there a bug that's preventing me from finishing the game? <laughs> Miraculous. Butt fist. Oh my goodness. At least now I can... I can see a concrete distance between Marinette's house and Adrian's house. Yeah. Also, I find it interesting that you can only cross the street on the crosswalks. You actually can't leave the crosswalks. Yay, safety. This except game should have been open world. <laughs> except that there is a van that drives through here every so often, and Marinette actually did get hit. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> so this game is great if you want to see Marinette get hit by a car. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. There are going to be some Marinette haters who, like, specifically do that on purpose. I, can't... I would do that on purpose. Yeah, that's why, I was gonna... that's why I brought it up. Okay, but... What am I supposed to do? It says to go talk to Alia, but Alia just sends me on off to Adrian's house. Welcome back, Prince. Ah, this is so frustrating. What are, we, what are we supposed to do? Don't ignore me. <laughs> this ordeal is finally over. I thought it would never end. Also, we were able to go up to Chloe's little apartment earlier, but now we can't for some reason. So that's- which is weird. Oh, shoot. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this too. We can even come down to, uh, the- the Sen and Luca and Julica's houseboat. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah, we can't oh, actually no, go that's the water here, though. Yeah. This is way too clean for uh, Nanarka, though. Stop it. <laughs> Where's all the clutter that you trip over? <laughs> also, there's the keyboard that Adrian was playing. They do mention kitty section. Was Kitty Section around? I thought you said this game was um, season two or something. No, well, Luca was in season three. This is yeah, but Kitty, this is a Kitty season. Kitty Section was season three. This, this three, takes yes. yeah, this takes place in season three because we didn't have Mayura in season two because Mayura was introduced at the tail end of season two. Oh, true. So, so yeah, this is season three. Oh, and there's Weird Dad's Papagaro. I like how it's still the French name, even though like this is the English version of the game. Mm, Papagaro. Liberty. Also, I love that the sign that just says Liberty. Like, yeah, <laughs> it takes you to the Liberty. It's like, it's like the houseboat is a national landmark or something. If we try to go to the school as Marinette, uh, we could try that. The school is right over she here. Did, they did say he was coming home from fencing practice. Yeah, and he has um, fencing at school. I would never understand why she's always late for school. <laughs> she lives right next to it. And people say, well, that's more common than you think. 
Because she wakes she up hasn't... late and also she's Ladybug. No, nope, we can't even go into the school. She hasn't Maybe. even. There, but, but she but she has yet to do the classic, oh no, I'm late for school, running to school with a piece of toast in her mouth. That's a Japanese trope, though. I don't know if they would have that in, Fr in a French show. I've I, I, I sworn I've seen her do that. Nope. She's never run with toast in her mouth. Nope, but with a crystal. Maybe if you do like Adrian, something would change. You'd have access to the school. Say what? Like, maybe if you go to the school as Adrian, you'd have access to it. Oh, maybe. Let's try that then. Yeah, I was told that people who tend to live closer to school are always late because they wake up later in the day thinking, ah, I live right next to school. It's not a problem. Well, then what about people who work from home? Ooh. Just never get shit done. Wait, I think that nope. guy sparkled. Can Adrian talk to the janitor? Yeah. yeah. I wonder if Cat Noir is good at school as in doing backflips how dare you yes yes he can do not question my boy's capabilities no so did it adrian make the most of it i would love to can you let me do something please it says to talk Give to all online maybe maybe Exit out of the game and then re-enter, see if that fixes whatever's in my... Yeah, because we've tried everything. Because yeah. it just keeps it keeps prompting us to talk to Alia, but like... I'm we've worried talked about... To... Yeah. I'm worried about to autosave, though. If it's gonna make me redo the entire conversation again. Let's try... Let's try just reloading Ooh. the area. The Mr. Pigeon one is pretty quick, and there's stuff we can- uh, there's new exploration stuff we can do in there, too. Just some luck when you have all three stars. Maybe. Maybe we have to collect everything. Collect all the things. Collect them all! Yeah, I could just imagine how painful a uh, no damage challenge run is going to be. I think if I were to do a no damage challenge run, it would specifically be doing that uh, in post game, where we can have all of the power ups. In the daytime, well, that'll be interesting. I'm Marinette, just a normal girl with a normal. Life. So yeah, we can skip this. With a normal life. Girl, you do not have a normal life, even as Marinette. <laughs> no, she does not. Yes, I do really like the game. Your parents run one of run the most successful bakery in in Paris. Your She's best like friend runs Your Ooh. best friend runs the most successful ladybug centric blog. Your best friend's boyfriend is a famous DJ. Who used to have the, a crush on you. The Oh. Nino. The, the the boy you the boy you like is a famous model. No gain. And he eventually your, starts to like her back. Your your future stepdaddy is a world renowned um no not stepdaddy. What model? the fuck? <laughs> Father in law, your, oh, no. your future, your future, your future father in law is a famous fashion <laughs> designer. Yeah. Oh, how did you avoid falling there? God. Well, Double you jump. Fell. <laughs> Double jump. How many are there? Oh, this must be terrible for his allergies. Oh yeah. Oh my God! You can dodge now. Unlock unlock abilities. The game should, the game thinks should be optional, like dodging. <laughs> when she was first here, she was kind of stuck for a bit. Oh yeah, I did suffer here. Is now I could so probably real? speed run this. I'd like One. to see a 100% speed run of this game, but I think it'll still take like five hours or something. 
Well, when apparently if you don't mess around, you can finish the game in three hours. One eternity later. <laughs> That's still a lot of time. Ugh, I, I, I genuinely pity anyone who tries to do a no damage run. And then, like, two hours, 30 minutes in, you get a damage and then you have to start all over again. <gasps> Well, you usually have checkpoints and stuff. It's just the game does autosave, and there's no way to turn the autosave off. You basically just have to take it fight by fight by fight. You know, you know there are some people who who, who are doing a speed run, so they'll feel like, oh no, the run's dead. Gotta start all over You're again because dance. they only get the fastest time. Miraculous. That's how it's done. Oh, coins. I think there's anything else over there. Is that all that's over here? Feathers, my lovely. Yep, I guess that's all that's over here. Oh! Hello. Ooh. Can I actually land on that? Look that one look like it. Doesn't it does look not like look it. like it. I think that's what Ladybug is actually swinging from. Yeah. Um, is that yeah, really like it? Ladybug. Ladybug pulling a Spider-Man. Spider -Man. Yeah, like I hate that animation. She just shoots it. She doesn't throw it like she does <laughs> in the show. She just shoots it. You know that scene where she's, where she's like capturing the uh, Puma? You know her yo yo does a perfect circle, but in this it was all hexagonal and square, yeah. and I was like, that's not satisfying to look at. Nope. Mm, limitations like, of game animation. Well, like so much, uh, so much more stuff of this game actually looks good. I don't doubt it. Anything on the scaffolding? Ooh, there's an orb up here I missed. Orb. Not one lonely orb that you are gonna leave there forever. I do like the buildings, they look nice. Hurry, Ladybug! We gotta tackle Mr. Pigeon, meow! No, the cat hunt. Ah, they hurt. <laughs> We've got to ca tackle Mr. Pigeon Meow. <laughs> Today is the day the pigeons take a stand against those heartless Parisians who ignored them for too long. Now. Give me your miraculous ladybug and cat noir, or else. How many times has this poor man been akumatized? This is the 68th Pigeons time. Will reign supreme! Also, I should switch to ladybug just so you guys Cataclysm! can see how it looks like when ladybug fights Mr. Pigeon. Oh, gets me every time. Yeah. He sneezes all as cute as fishies. Me. Looks like your reserve army has just fled the battle. On one hand, I can, I can blame Hawk Moth for akumatizing this guy so many times, but on the other hand, you as an individual, once you've been akumatized sixty plus times, when do you go to a doctor for help? <laughs> Sir, you need therapy. You won't get yes, he me does. this time. Oh my like, gosh, I you didn't even dodge that. Like, sir, I get I get it. You love Ow. your pigeons. You won't get me this time. They're just flying rats with wings. Yeah. Get over it. Watch this. Did you see where she kicked? Crotch. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Their punches are strong. <laughs> they did not think that one through. I think because she's just short, so that's as far as her model is willing right. to kick. Yeah. But they could have just made him fall. 
She didn't have to kick him wholeheartedly in the groin. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There we go. No more evil, no evil doing for you, little Akuma. No, no, not this again. Yep. Time to de Duh. The hexagon. It's like, and it's not even like they can't do a perfect gotcha. circle, because look at her yo yo. Bye, little butterfly. Bye -bye, Miraculous little butterfly. ladybug! Back to the IRL, they're actually Tom, Sabine, and Marinette running a bakery. Uh, what happened? Where am I? There is an actual bakery uh, that that is based off of. Hey! Yay! So we got you the got three stars three... because we completed it. Okay. Akuma moment. Ooh, ooh. Hoo hoo! <laughs> oh, that's really good. <laughs> that was good! Mm -hmm. Are you sure you're fish it. and not bird? <laughs> Pretty good at pigeon noises. <laughs> That's really good. Thank you. Someone was saying earlier that they liked my tiki voice and that I should be a voice actor. It's like, yeah, been working on it. Okay. So. Now you're a super art. Alia! Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we can actually reload the game. But yeah, you can see all the Pokemon games I've got there. So let's try reloading the game. Game Mill Entertainment. If it still doesn't go, then we're just going to work on 100%ing all the other areas. And we'll go in order, too. Zag Play Magic Pockets. And I think we'll also go ahead and just redo the story stuff, too. But we'll speed through all the fights and everything, because we've gone pretty far. Also, I should stop by Ma uh, Master Foo's so I can max out all of Cat Noir's stats, too. Oh, Leo's sleeping. He's got his, his paw over his, over his face. Oh. It's not even that bright in here. In fact, I might have to turn the light on soon. I'm still confused as to why a giant butterfly is being called a sphinx. It's a sphinx moth. Uh... Wretched ladybug, wretched Chloe in all caps. <laughs> Blast. Hearing the word wretched, it just makes me think of that scene from 101 Dalmatians. Blast this wretched, wretched pen. <laughs> and then he gets all, and then she gets all the ink all over. Uh, poor Roger. Poor Roger, yeah. Which is, and then, and poor Roger is a line that we will not be saying in this game. Apparently, it is legal for him to do this, but I still feel like it's an abuse of power that uh, Parisian governments should not give their policemen. But uh, he actually fines Tom because, like, they don't, they, he doesn't realize it at the time, but a fake marionette went around insulting people, including himself. So he fines Tom for it. What? Yeah, and that's how he gets akumatized. Still nothing. Okay. Can we go? Th At the very least, this going this way through the park never fails. Can we at least go to Adrian's? If not, then we are just moving on. Also, there's Mr. Ramia right here. Believe it or not, I went to the rally in support of Ladybug yesterday. Aww. Oh. Sweet. Also, I don't have a voice for Mr. Ramier. Although I do tend to name a lot of my pedoves after him. Whenever I play a game that has a pedove in it, I always, uh, if I catch it, I always name it Mr. Ramier. Mm -hmm. 
Because Pidove is a cross between a dove and a pigeon. Also, Pidgeys are also technically supposed to be based off of pigeons, so I also will... Because the name at least comes from pigeon. Let me in. Natalie? Darn you! Darn you, Natalie! She's literally gatekeeping me again. I okay. will get in there. Okay, uh, so this... Let's do this in order. So the second one would be... Uh, shoot, I remember... Uh, Soundwave. So see if we can find where she's at. That's gonna be one of the last ones. That's like the second to last one. Where are sound waves? Entrance. Oh yeah, we should also talk to Master Fu too. Heroes. But yeah, Ladybug has had no points allocated yet. We're just, you know, spending all Every, our money. Spending all our points on. To shat. Everything, everything to, to the kitty. Aw. Uh, I might save for one of these. Just because we don't really use these attacks much. We might need to use Ricochet, too. You were thinking that we'd be fighting an Egyptian Sphinx Lion? Yeah, I kind of was, too. Like, I actually thought that uh, Chloe's uh, villain was going to be, like, the main villain of it. And I figured it was, like, they are getting trapped in, like, this alternate reality created by the Sphinx villain. Which would have been cool, too. I might make that some sort of uh, fanfiction or something at some point. Hello, Dino Coffee. Welcome back. Yes, hi, Marinette. Goodbye, Marinette. <laughs> I'm just gonna switch back to Adrian. Uh, okay, where is it? Where is Soundwave? I don't remember where she's at. I don't think she was by the school. Hmm. Or maybe she was. Oh no, she is by the school. That's right. I remember now. Yep. Although I really did think this was Troublemaker, because she looks so much like Troublemaker. Because, like, Gamer and Wear Dad look have more differences between them and their original versions than Soundwave does from Troublemaker. Hmm. But I am still glad to see her again because we've only gotten to see her once. Your fever's reached 105 or 101. Oh, I mean, that's still better than 105, but still. They say if it hits 104 or anything higher to go to the hospital. Yep. I still remember when I was uh, a kid. Well, I was a teenager because mom had already uh, married my stepdad at that time. But uh, I had a fever of 102.5. So my dad had to come get me early and take me to the hospital. And before anyone asked why my mom didn't take me... My dad was my primary caretaker, so he would have to have taken me to the hospital. Plus, he has better insurance. Oh, there's a macron we never got. Wait. We never got this stuff? How is how did I miss this stuff? What? Too focused on the story. No, I was exploring. We've been streaming for eight hours. Eight hours now. Stinks to be you. One point for Cat Noir. Also, I get the joke with that now. He's saying stinks to be you because there's literally a sewer level. And he even says it's too much for his nose. Also, one thing I am kind of mad about is that there's this scene where they're like, Oh, it's too dark down there. I can't see. Like, Ladybug says she can't see. 
And then Cat Noir says, I me mean neither. And I'm like, you have night vision! Cat Noir doesn't have that many Are powers sure to safe? speak of. Can we not take away his powers? Also, I love this. When you step on this stuff, you actually hear sound effects from the music. Like, you can even drum. You can even play the drums. Nothing I love that. Nice. Okay. So, come up here. And there should be ladybug spots up here soon. Uh, oh wait, was there anything over here? No, okay. Uh, yeah, and we're to double check. Fly anyway. Already got Is that it the stuff. work of her sound waves? Yeah, you get access to double jump uh, at the start of the game. The city is just like any rocker's dream. Surely Kitty Section would love it somehow. <laughs> Wait a second. You know Kitty Section? <laughs> Careful, cat. Come on. Who doesn't? I don't have time for this. That's how it's done. And yet you could do this all day. He actually, we actually had that happen earlier. He started a fight and said, I don't have time for this. And then after th he finished the fight, he's like, I could do this all day. So which one is it? <laughs> you don't have time for this or you could do it all day. All right, here we go. Oh, oh okay, I pressed the wrong thing. So yeah, we have a ladybug spot here, but then we switch to Cat Noir when we get up here. Oh, we have to actually smash this. Okay. There we go. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Macaroon. I could do this all day. Did I just find another macaroon that I missed before? Not going to fall for it. Yeah, from that box, it looked like you gained one. No, there was another one over here that I grabbed. <laughs> I could have sworn I got everything. First, we find out that we missed some stuff against Mr. Pigeon. Now, Soundwave 2. All right. Also, there are some points where that actually does come into play, but there's also points just like that one where it's like, Ladybug could do that with her yo-yo. The power of the miraculous will always amaze me. What? 80. We're almost done. Also... Piano. Play the piano. Piano cat. Yes! Oh, I just noticed that. Piano cat. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Alright. Oops. Nope. Let's oh, super jump. There we go. So yeah, that's the yeah. one that they both have. But I like there's not too much mix between their powers. Sound wall? We can't get through. Oh yeah. A literal wall of sound. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. I told you he had a cute sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> it's down to you and me. One point for Cat Noir. Also, it took me so long to figure out that you had to smash that. Somebody had to actually <coughs> tell me that. Bless you. Whoops. Wrong button. So yeah, that again. You know, Ladybug totally could have hit that with her yo-yo. And I'm not sure what exactly that unlocks.
Oh, wait, I think that was actually a Macron. Actually, now that I think about it, I think that does unlock a Macron, like, up here or something. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we can't get up there. Ah. Gotcha. We cut the feed, we get this sound wall down. All right. And Yeah, I love it. It's a literal wall of sound. It's a sound, but now it's a sound on wall. To the others. It's a literal wall that is a sound wall. Cat Noir, best hero, most calm, most useful combat, most useful powers. Best transformations, good agility, good endurance, good speed. And he's also a good support, too. Like, the show gives Ladybug way too much credit. There's so much that she would never be able to do without his support. You're in for a treat. I could do this all day. Speaker. Oh, hold on. Looks like it's where the base is. I thought I noticed from. a macaron, but I guess not. Okay. Also, you know how we thought before that uh, Cat Noir had Cataclysm active all the time? I noticed that it's not actually coming from his hand. It's coming from his. Uh, it's actually coming from behind him. <laughs> if you look closely, it actually looks like it's coming from his stick. So yeah, it's not coming from his hand. It's just part of his uh, run and part of his run streak. Yeah, it does look like it's coming from the tail. Mhm. Mm I just realized they never used his belt for anything. I mean, I guess that probably would have been difficult for them to animate. So then they would have to have a separate this. model for him without his tail. Mm -hmm. But I love when they use his tail for stuff. I love when his tail is involved with the plan. No pain, no gain. So once again, it's like, that's something that only Cat Noir can be there for. Only Cat Noir can help her with that. No other hero can do what Cat Noir does. Ever dreamed of playing drums, Ladybug? Now's your big chance! That's all you've got. I feel like for a plan, Ladybug and Cat Noir would have the options for what they can use the Lucky Maybe Charm for. It's just my feline sense, but it looks like there's something hidden up in that giant guitar. The giant guitar. Now, I'm not sure what they mean, because we checked the guitar, but we never actually see anything up here. He's just saying it for the sake Bring of this. It on! I love how he's got so many power-ups now that he just one-shots all these guys. I could go for a rat. Also, all the graffiti. I love it. So much graffiti. This still is. <laughs> oh, hey, another symbol. Did you know that Paris is technically slowly sinking? No, I didn't know that. Underneath Paris is a huge system of underground tunnels that were from this. old mining, mining expeditions. They have. originally started far away from where the city was, but as this over the decades the city expanded and built over top of the old old mines. So underneath Paris is just this huge system of tunnels and so the foundation of paris is isn't, isn't uh the safest so they have a peep they have a whole group of people who monitor and go into the into the tunnels to like keep them safe because there have been instances where places built under this oh. under All right. places built now, over top of the tunnels hero. have just like collapsed and just sunken into the ground and sink in sudden sinkholes also did you notice his pun there 
He feels like a guitar superhero. Guitar hero. <laughs> Oh yeah, but we did also, this. But also guitar villain. That's right. Yeah, there was a Macron over there, but we got it already. I don't have time for this. I'm just too good at this. <laughs> I don't have time for this, but I'm just too good at it. Oh, there's some stuff up here that we never got. Okay. I was born ready. I could do this all day. Oh my gosh, am I actually gonna do a no damage run? Also, if you said it, you probably ruined it. Not going to fall for it. Not gonna fall for it. <laughs> yeah, even his yeah. cockiness it gets adorable, though. Cool keyboards. Keyboard cat. <laughs> oh yeah, I think we got this one too. Yeah, we got that one too. You sure about that? Yes, I'm just double checking to make sure there's nothing else we missed over here. We're apparently missing a lot over here. We still, oh. we still need a what, like eighteen macarons. And we gotta Thanks get a hundred. To you. I'm just too good at this. Sound wave. Was born ready. That's how it's done. Yeah, nothing over here. It's nice that he has so many various like dialogues. Mm -hmm. Sometimes characters get like a static dialogue where they just repeat the same like three lines. Yep. And after after a while, you're like, uh, this is. <laughs> you start getting tired of hearing the same thing over and over again. Look, drum kitty. <laughs> Quick, somebody take a screenshot. Oh, actually, that's not a bad idea. Oh, actually, I wonder. Could make a good thumbnail. Ah, oh, I don't think I timed that right. Oh well. It would still look pretty cool though. I was kind of wanting to have him with his baton out. It looks like he's about to hit the drum with it. Yeah. Like he's actually playing the drums. That would be cute. Alright, and I'm pretty sure we got this one already, but... Like, I'm fairly confident we got everything over here. But everywhere I, s I feel confident that we got everything. Oh, that's right. I do remember one spot that we haven't been to yet. That we weren't able to get to because we needed I don't have time for this. some unlocks. And that's a wrap. Okay. Uh Oh, here we go. There's an orb we didn't get to. And another macaron. Okay. So yeah, I am at least finding stuff that we didn't get before. The, of the base is getting louder. We're on the right track. Just a small sample of my many. One point for Cat Noir. <laughs> he couldn't even finish his line. <laughs> he cut himself off. Yep. Oh look, another macaron. Keyboard cat. You're in for a treat. 
that's all you get. All right. We're only missing six more now. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, look, another one. The keys disappeared. Oh, okay. It's one of those then. Okay. So yeah, there's probably a red one around here somewhere. And then one more green. That would make the most sense. Okay, that's where we're supposed to go next. Let's just double check around here. Okay. We can get up here, but there's nothing up here. Okay. Oh, and again, nothing over here. Yeah, I really wish we could actually rotate the camera ourselves. Oh! There's another little drum set over here. Aw, oh, but we can't actually get a good angle. The music is getting louder. We're getting close. Okay. Not really seeing anything. Oh, wait. Maybe we can get up on those drums up here? <gasps> yes! Aw, oh, that's as far high up as we can go, though. Boo. But yeah, you play the drums. Also, he's floating. <laughs> Cat Noir is Jesus confirmed. Mm, no, he's not because it's not water. True. He's Rose Quartz. Cat Noir is Pink Diamond confirmed! No! <laughs> My son is my queen. Oh! Oh, here we go. And smash! And smash! Yes! Red, which means we're just missing one green Macron and that's it! We'll finally be able to have 100% at this. Alright, we gotta smash that. And now we move on. Oh, no, we definitely missed one. Oh, dang it. More simple if you just hand it over your miraculous. I don't have time to waste on your scrubs. Get some vitamins, kids. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I just slept through all of that. What Let's the fuck? The but you slept? I... I slept. I'm, I'm just so tired throughout today. Oh my god. Oh... At least you can sleep. <laughs> oh my god, I just I just woke up right now. I was like, oh no. <laughs> did they did they all right, stream on. just want to sleep? Want some more? Also, I finally took one point of damage. Oh, did you finally pass that whole thing with Adrian at his birthday? Nope. Oh, shit. Sure. We're, we're doing sound wave right now. Microphone. We're thinking that we might have to actually 100% everything before it'll unlock. But we're missing one macaron and that's it. No, no. I don't know. I want to help you stay till the end, but it's like, okay, I haven't even dinner yet, and I don't want to sleep without Only food. Only when the music stops, and I'm the DJ here. All right. Uh, Sounders, attack! I can't hit her. Sounders, take care of them now. I don't have time to waste on you scrubs. Your sounders Let's do nothing to me. Your miraculous, and we can call it quits. <laughs> deal? No deal. How about you just hand over the microphone? Just hand over you your like mic. Sound of that? Ah, what? I Bad dodged. Class. Come on. Thank you. You don't stop the music. Ah, what? No. It's almost the 8-hour mark and I've been streaming live 4 hours before the game's PC release. All right. The Akuma oh. must be in her microphone. Yes, thank you, cat. Lucky charm. Chris, we still have to do this again cuz we still have to find that last macaron. Okay. 
At least she only asks, what am I supposed to do with this gotcha. one time, though. She asked that the first time, and then that's it. Because, like, this is Season 3 Ladybug. She kind of stops asking that at this point. Mic drop. Yeah, don't actually drop your mic, kids. They are expensive. And this again. Also, she just tosses that bowling ball up in the air like it's no big deal. What happened? Pound it! <laughs> one star, because I'm missing one macaron. Oh, we're missing a lot of orbs, too. So there's definitely some place we haven't gone to yet. Oh, you know what? I think I know where it is. I think I know where we still need to go. There's this one that's super good. jump point, and there's a divergent in, in the path. And I think that's where we need to go. Out of the episodes we got in the show and this, definitely want these over the episodes from the show. I mean, it would be cool to get uh, some ep some actual episodes of the show based on the game. Yeah. But it wouldn't work since, like, this is supposed to have taken place. During season in three. Se in, during season three, so, like, a lot would need to be reworked for the... Mm -hmm. This storyline, too. I mean, it could just be an OVA series. True. Just a series of shorts dedicated to this game. Also, water break. I actually kind of need to use the bathroom soon. Which means it's time to charge the Joy-Cons for a little bit. <laughs> Hope someone animates these battles in the show's animation. That'd be cool. Yeah, but I don't know if uh, that's something most fans would be able to do. Because the show's animated in 3D, so like... They would have to really work hard to replicate the show models. She's clearly up to something. That's not something you could do How many by are hand. There? That takes care of that. So I do think it might be fun to just do this as Ladybug this time around, just so we can hear all of her dialogue lines. I'd like the idea of turning Paris into a music festival, if it weren't so invasive! I mean, there is an actual Paris-wide music festival. I think that's even in Season 3. It's safe to jump on this thing, apparently. Penny couldn't set up Jagged Stone's concert, so Sanwei turned the whole city into a giant sure. concert hall. Ladybug reminding us of the plot. Oh, hey, it actually says music. Music. <laughs> I guess we can trust these arrows to keep moving further. Also, the graffiti in this game is really pretty, though. <laughs> the fact that they can see the arrows. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just part of the graffiti. Soundwave is using the speakers to expand her powers. I like this graffiti, though. Ooh, Smiley yeah. face and the cat face. I will say this, though. It's a lot... It's not as fast with Ladybug as it is with Cat Noir. Oh, there's no audio clip there. Interesting. 
Because when you play as Cat Noir, you have that conversation with about kitty section. But as Ladybug, there's no conversation there. Interesting. Out of my way. You know kitty section? It just replies, yeah. Don't make me laugh. It doesn't. <laughs> Come on, who doesn't? It's like, Our sound waves must cup. be causing these things to levitate. Amazing. I don't know if that's how sound waves work, but okay. They're magic sound waves. I, I'm not a scientist, so I don't know how sound waves work and what they can and cannot do, so I'll go with it. Look how much longer it's taking you to defeat these as a ladybug. Yup. This ladybug has no power-ups at all. One for ladybug. You're like, no, all power-ups to the best. Cool. All power ups go to best boy. You'll get some later once I finish giving him all of his. It's like if once there's any we... points left for her. No, it's like if we if we can't give him any more power ups, then it's like Okay, I think this is the part where I need some sort of where there's some sort of divergent. Or maybe not, because that's just the way that we came. Hmm. I really thought there would be something else over here. <laughs> Come on, where's that last macaron? <coughs> uh, excuse me, that hiccup was weird. Your excuse. Oh, the game is lagging so much. Okay, there it goes. I guess I just had to fall. Nope. There it goes, okay. Some, something about that corner. So yeah, she throws her yo-yo for that. For the super jump. I don't like the sound of that. Hit <laughs> sound. I got this. Let's leave it at that. Hello again, Ron. Oh, and welcome back, Dino, too. Glad to hear you got your medicine. I get it. The cables are powering the sound walls. We're gonna need to find the source. Don't make me laugh. That's it. The energy that feeds the sound walls comes from that mixing board. Ladybug's the one who tells you what to do here. I'll be right back. Okay. That's why I didn't know what to do, because I wasn't playing as Ladybug. Oh, if you want to know what to do, you have to play as Ladybug. We should be extra careful. You make it sound bad to play as Ladybug. I think this is the thing that's supposed to unlock something, but it doesn't have any sort of animation that tells you what. Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if maybe... You just have to run across this and, like, get all of these to go away? Is that what unlocks it? Ah, dang it. Ah. Oh, jeez. Oh, At least it didn't make me start all over again. Okay, yeah, I think that is supposed to just unlock that thing up there. So I don't think that's actually what we're supposed to be doing. Another mixing board. 
There's gotta be another macaron that I'm missing. And that makes two. Let's look for others. Aw. Oh, you'd think this would be a ranged attack, but nope. You have to be up close, just like with Cat Noir. So there's not really that much of a difference between their gameplay then. That's sad. No rest for the weary. It's just who you'd rather play as. Ooh, ooh, maybe? Bye bye, little mixing board. Heh. <laughs> Bye bye, little mixing board. Okay, we're able to get up on there, although I didn't see anything, so maybe. Nope, nothing up here either. Okay. Nope. That's it. Okay. There's gotta be something we're missing. Knuckle sandwich. That takes care of that. Man, she takes so much longer to defeat the villains because she's got no power ups. Okay, there you are, you nasty, noisy speaker. Okay. Destroy the speaker. So I'm confident that we haven't missed anything up until now. Come on. Let's leave it at that. Nothing to destroy there. I am back. Welcome back. We will find it. Out of my way. That one Macron is like Emily in her coma and Adrian can't find her. Yeah. Let's keep at it. Nope. Okay. Oh, uh, I got something in my eye. Oh, having something in your eye is the absolute worst. More instruments. We're getting close. I love how she gets teleported back up there and then falls again. I mean, we had that happen with Cat Noir too, so it's not her fault. It's the game's fault. I can do this all day. I'd rather not. I'd like this to be the last time, Ladybug. Score one for Ladybug. Oh, that's funny. That's one of Cat Noir's lines too, except it's score one for Cat Noir. Oh my goodness, where is this last macaron? Move it or lose it! Ladybug doesn't say anything about the guitar. That about wraps it up. That would be funnier if we were fighting Wear Dad. Oh, oh, something over here, maybe? Oh, I can't see. No. Okay. 
Oh, maybe? Nope. Dang it. I thought I maybe found some place, but nope. Well, there's an orb we missed. There's lots of orbs that we've missed, so it's like there's clearly some place around here that we haven't hit yet. Some, some secret somewhere. This having this neon light on it is suspicious, but it doesn't look like there's anything here, so... back here. Seriously, where is this thing? I have no idea. Also, there's another Adrian ad down there. Are you counting the Adrian ads now? <laughs> Adrian. 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 The fragrance. Ah, Tiki's right. She needs to get a better handle on her emotions. Although now it's like the she's got the exact opposite of problem. She's pushing her emotions down too far. Move it or lose it. Yeah, I'm just no looking sweat. for the one. You <laughs> gosh, the yeah, the Adrian Franklin said, yes, we make that reference all the time. Wow, rude ladybug. Are we sure she's not the one who is filing the noise complaints? <laughs> Adrian. Adrian. I was born ready. Ooh, it almost got me. That. that almost got me. Did you know someone created a one hour loop of the Adrian fragrance ad? I don't <laughs> doubt it. I like I just went to YouTube and just typed in Adrian the fragrance and one okay. of the first results was one hour version. I do not doubt it. It does not surprise it's me. Just, it's just the Adrian ad on loop. Like, not just the part where she's replaying his name, but, like, the whole ad on loop. It should- there's- I'm, I'm honestly surprised that there's no loop going the other way. Where it's just Adrian. Just- Adrian. Adrian. Well, we got that in the show. For, like, an hour, though. She doesn't mention the keys. Do we have to, like, press everything? Radiant. Carefree. Dreamy. Adrian. The fragrance. Radiant. Carefree. Dreamy, Adrian, the fragrance. And then she does it at the theater too when the ad plays before the movie there that she's about to watch with Cat Noir. Or no, she, oh no, that was with Adrian. Yeah, she does that at the at the theater with Adrian sitting right next to her. Even though she just moments before. Pre Pretended that she'd you, never heard of you the ad. You in an ad? You appeared in the ad? ad? I had you no idea. I... 
And doesn't look like there's anything else over here either. Yeah, I swear we were actually able to go up to Chloe's rooftop at the start of the game. And I haven't been able to do that since then. Dino Coffee, have you seen my video about Marinette being a stalker? Oh, I wish I could monetize that, but that was back before I started using drawings on my videos, so... It got copyright claimed, and I can't monetize it, and it's the most popular video on my channel. Like, I've got one video that has more views, that has like... I think it's only a 100 more views than... than the stalker net video. At this point, nothing I can't Oh, is that handle. the um, the Donald Duck and Daisy one? Yeah, I think it's I'm only nothing. at a hundred more views right now. So yeah, the Stalker Net video is about to surpass that one in views. I'm not going to fall for it. But Age. it long ago surpassed it in comments Age. and likes. Adrian. Adrian. Like, the g girl has got to sort out her priorities, like... She does. Like, I understand liking somebody, but she, at right times, now. likes him to an unhealthy degree. Mm-hmm. Trying to see if there's anything that we can spot, but also the draw distance doesn't usually work very well, so... Uh... So there, it has to be around here somewhere. We got this one that was up here. And there's no way to get up on these roofs over here. Ah. Okay, come on. I don't think there is anyways. So I think this was just to lead you to a Macron or an orb at the top here. And then that was it. Yeah, that's got an invisible wall there, so we can't go that way either. It has to be around here somewhere. We've already been up that balcony. A knuckle sandwich. No sweat. Oh, I can't believe we haven't taken any damage yet. It's like we're playing as Ladybug, and she's way weaker than Cat Noir. Oh, shh. Nope. Yeah, we can't get up there. No invisible wall. Yeah. And there's nothing up there anyway. Uh, there's gotta be something. Something that we're missing. Is my cat still asleep on my lap? Uh, no, not right now. I think he's actually out in the kitchen begging my roommate for food. Ah, uh, can't get up there. That's an invisible wall. We've already gone up there. There's nothing more up there. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Literally just wa just ran down the bushes. Oh, hey, there was an orb there. Okay. We at least got a nice orb. There we go. That's good. I got this. So, we so are you gonna end the here? Or... What? So are you gonna end the stream here, or...? No. Let's keep at it. It's well, only I'm six o'clock. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I just fell asleep again. Okay. Okay. You have a good night. 
Thank you. Enjoy your game. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, where is this last macaron? There's all these cafes over here. You'd think it would be over here by the cafes. Maybe there's something that we missed with... Uh, with this Cat Noir spot? Yeah, we can't go over there at all. Okay. So let's try this spot again. Switch back to Cat. And just smash this. Okay. And then, of course, this all again. One point for Cat Noir. There's got to be so something else over here. Ah. Why? For the price of the ultimate pack, they should add four more costumes as well as- four more characters as well as costumes. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's really anything else. I'm not seeing anything down. Below. <laughs> We're walking on air again. And I'm walking on air. <laughs> he really is Rapunzel. <laughs> the wind in my head. Yep. Not no over here. So we did not miss anything. I'm so upset. Like, where is this last blasted macaron? Yeah, we looked in there already. We got that. And the game's too new for there to be tutorials that tell you where things are. Yeah. Plus, we'd have to go to e each and every spot where it tells us, because this is literally the last one. Gotta be something we're missing. Oh, well, there's another orb at least. Oh, okay. Oh, dang it. I thought for sure this was gonna be it. Oh my gosh. And you know, I'm sure a big part of it is the fact that the orbs have such low draw distance that you have to, because you have to get in close in order to see them. And that's probably what's stopping us from being able to get to most of the macarons too. Or to this last macaron. Okay. I forget if this takes us to the boss fight or not. I believe it does. Yeah. There's gotta be something I'm missing here! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't have time for this. I could do this all day, Cat Noir 2022. Yeah, this is... Oh, this is, this is good.
Yeah. Oh! Nope. We're just- we're not even supposed to be up there. Okay. Oh my goodness. Why? What is wrong with this thing? Where is the last macaroni? Ah! Uh, I can't even see any other place for it to hide! Maybe down here in this corner? Oh my gosh, why? Do we need to go back? Is there something that unlocks after you get to this point in the game? And defeat that last sound barrier? I don't think we even have all the orbs in this area yet either. I think we had like a lot of orbs that we still needed to find. No, nope, we can't smash that. This is so infuriating! Yeah, I can believe that. Oh, that's, not, that's just a light. I thought that was an orb, but it was just a light. It's like, nah. Why? Why must you do this to me? Okay, yeah, we've been up there plenty of times already. Oh my gosh. When you finally find it, I'm gonna probably hate myself for not being able to have found that sooner. I don't think we can go back further f than this. There doesn't seem to be a way back up there. This is so infuriating. Yeah. Please. Maybe we got that last macaron because we defeated the villain with Ladybug instead of Cat Noir. Hmm. Maybe. I feel like I was catching on one of these. Ah, dang it. I guess I'll try again. I'll try fighting the fighting her as Ladybug then. Also, I love how there is a sound effect for walking on the bushes. Even though you wouldn't expect anyone to actually try this. But they, <laughs> but they still have that there. Like, that's actually really nice detail. It's like, yeah, players like to do weird things. Indeed. Case in point. Uh, you love my channel already? 
Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad to hear you've been having fun. Yeah, Monday's the, the most common day that I stream. Monday and Wednesdays are the days that I usually stream. Uh, but this but, game came out today, so... Yeah. I requested today off specifically. Whoops, I should have... Oh, so I'm... My... Uh, for tomorrow, <laughs> I might not be going to Puppy Sit. Okay. My sister won't be leaving for work until, like, after 1, and then she'll be home, like, sometime after 5. Plus... Nova, her, your the younger of the two dogs, is uh, experiencing her feet first, uh, H E A T. Oh. There, because the 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 vets explained to uh, my sister and my brother-in-law that because of the type of breed that Nova is. Like, because of the type of mixed breed she is, that um, it'd be best to wait until she's at least a year or a little over a year before getting her spayed. So that means they have to deal with her going through heat at least once before. So. Cataclysm! Just like they, they, they explain that like if you you don't want to stun her growth and if you spay her too soon that will stun her growth. So you should wait day. until she's at least a year or a little over a year oh, before getting her spayed. So she. Right. So. <laughs> so. I'm How like I love Nova, but just because she's not actually my it's dog. Vitamins. I have no desire to deal no with her when she's going <laughs> through that. Because they're going to have to drop. possibly try and get a diaper on her. And I'm like, oh, she is very squirmy. She's very Sounds wriggly. Take care of them now. Get some vitamins, kids. Oh, come on. How does that sound? Here, finally. I thought you were gonna. Oh, are you gonna fight her? It automatically switched me to Cat Noir after he used his Cataclysm. Hmm. All right. you so I accepted it. Oh, and it switched me back to Ladybug there! <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm playing on Switch. I think the Switch version came out a little okay. before the PC version. Yeah. Kenoir, the board. Gotcha. Well, the Switch version was available at midnight. <laughs> Especially if you pre-ordered it. So now that I know that the Switch version wouldn't have been available super early in the morning anyways, I'm kind of glad that I got- or the the Steam version wasn't available right away. I'm kind of glad that I got it on Switch so we could start early. Yeah. Also, hello Nostalgica, welcome to the stream. But yeah, so I, I'll probably be around for tomorrow's stream if you stream tomorrow. Okay. Also, she just ripped that mic apart. What happened? Found it. And I'm like, that, that's not how mics work. <laughs> nope, we're still at 99. Ah. Here it would have made more sense to use the cataclysm, though. Well, he already used the cataclysm on the yeah. stage. Yeah, I know. But that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. The game's pretty basic as far as their plans go. Cat Noir uses cat like they beat up the villain a bit. Cat Noir uses Cataclysm. They fight the villain again. Ladybug uses her lucky charm, and then the day is saved. Exactly. Your dog just curled up around you. Aw. Invited to make this game optimized only for Xbox, SX, and 
PS5 series. Oh, in invented. Invented. Sorry. Oh, such a heavy dog. Yep. Oh, we're we don't even have all the orbs yet. We have. And... Uh, oh. There's no way of like knowing. Like the game is so new that nobody's done like a. Here's where all the things are. Kind of guide. That butterfly symbol, that moth symbol right there, is that? I think you hmm. unlock probably unlock that once. I'm guessing we don't have that for Wear Dad either. Yeah. I want to check. Check the, yeah, check the one that you do have one hundred percent of the Mister. Yeah, I'm gonna check Mister Pigeon. Okay. Oh, Akuma mode. Huh. I wonder what that means. Oh, is that supposed to be like hard mode? Oh, so once you unlock 100%, you can unlock Hakuma mode. Oh, we. That's... Oh, we unlocked something. So this is hard mode. Oh my goodness, we just unlocked a whole new mode. Okay, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Same. I will be back in a hot minute, and we're going to do a Kuma mode. I am back. Well, come back.
Apologies for accidentally pulling the switch out. I accidentally pulled the switch out. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah. Yeah, the avatar kind of freaks out when I'm not actually on camera. Oh, it got turned around a little bit. Let me also turn the light on, too. It's getting dark. This way, the webcam can actually see me and keep tra still keep track of my motion. Like, it did okay last night up until around 8 o'clock, but, you know, it's 6.30. Yes, the game is canon. Which is pretty cool. That's, so... That's what I heard, at least. Mm-hmm. It kind of reminds me how the toy box world in Kingdom Hearts 3, that story is actually canon to Toy Story. Like, they worked with the creators of the Toy Story franchise, and they even came out and said, yes, this will be canon to the main Toy Story series. So you have to play Kingdom Hearts 3 in order to get the full, ex the full Toy Story experience. All right. In the daytime, I'm Marinette. I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life. Just skip that. Like, and skip. I love how this is the only world that actually has a an intro cutscene. Any, because uh, like, oh yeah, this is the start of the game. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Oh my people, goodness! People would get annoyed if they had that. I'm, I'm Marinette. Yeah. Uh, thing for every level. Yeah. Please make sure you get get plenty of rest and drink lots of fluids. Also, speaking of which, let's have a water break. Water break. <laughs> also, reminder that you can say it in the chat too. You can initiate a water break as well if you have a drink. Be sure to say something in the chat whenever you take a drink to initiate a water break. You and me. Yeah, yeah, nice. That still wasn't very difficult. It's probably because you're so powered up. Oh, you hear that music? It's Hawk Monster. Ooh, you know what? This would be where... You missed an orb. Oh, I did? Ah. This could be where you I do the uh, the no power up run, but with Ladybug, can you beat Akuma mode without any power ups? Now that would be interesting. I'm to say no. No, I d didn't get the uh, How many are there? The, the full premium. DLC. Yeah, I didn't get the premium version. There's no price for the costume pack yet. It still says at 25th of October. I mean, oh. if, if other people have it, then I could at least check. I'm just too good at this. I mean, we've done this plenty of times, Cat, so I don't know that you can really brag that much. <laughs> we, we've kicked this guy's butt a few times now. <laughs> we've beaten him 60, we've beaten him 67 times until now. Okay, not, not us specifically, but. <laughs> Show wise, it's like, in the <laughs> canon of the universe, Ladybug and Cat Noir have dealt with Mr. Pigeon Mr. Pigeon uh, 67 times Yep, Like they literally called him Mr. Pigeon 68 
And I'm guessing that's supposed to be a reference to the episode Mr. Pigeon 72 from season 4. 72? Yes. He's actually the one who inspired Ladybug's powered up suit and her ability to give out those magic charms. Born ready. So far, this isn't really all that hard, though. It's just the same thing that we did last time. Maybe it gets harder as you go. No pain, no gain. Stream is lagging. Uh. Uh oh. Dang it, I wanted to get through this quickly. Where'd my mouse go? There it is. It's behind me. Let's see here. This okay, yeah, this it's caught up on oh yeah. Stream's current bitrate. Try refreshing it. Yeah, because it says we're public, but it does say that we've got a low bit rate. So yeah, if you're having trouble, try refreshing your your try refreshing the page. Oh yeah, how do you change the avatar in case I need to ZR use the chat again? I was born ready. Um, no, in the chat. Oh, uh, exclamation mark avatar and then space, and then the name of whatever Pokemon you want to change it to. In case I have to use the chat again, like before. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to change it to Absol? Of course. <laughs> okay. And that was all that was over here. I do remember that. Yeah, we should definitely do that challenge run sometime where we try to beat this level as just Ladybug without any power-ups. Like, we should, just, we should do that for all of the levels. Is Can you beat Akuma mode with just Ladybug? Or, well, can you beat Akuma mode without power-ups? That's going to be a really fun challenge. And also, really frustrating when we get to the higher levels in the game. Yeah. You're too stubborn for your own good, Mr. Pigeon. Oop, orb. Yep. And there was stuff up here, too. There we go. And I don't think there was anything else over here. Nope, oh, okay. So. That should yeah, that should be the last orb there. Yeah, cause 150. We need 150 orbs and 25 macarons. Hurry, ladybug! We gotta tackle Mr. Pigeon. That was it. Now. We have to tackle Mr. Pigeon. Meow. <laughs> Today is the day the pigeons take a stand. Against those heartless Parisians who ignored them for too long. Now, yeah, sorry, I don't have any miraculous, miraculous avatars. Ladybug I wish I did. Or else. Nobody's made them yet, though. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm saving my money right now. I want them, and I want Ow. them now. Uh, I did that too, too soon. Will reign supreme. <laughs> if it wasn't for the fact that I'm saving up for a move to Canada. I'd be like, oh yeah, I could probably just uh, commission uh, probably Potterzilla, because I know he would do it. But I would probably commission Potterzilla if I had the money for it, but trying to save up money for a move to Canada. I'll just change it. <laughs> Looks like your reserve army has just fled the battle zone, Mr. Oh, Pigeon. No! <laughs> Too stubborn for your own good, Mr. Pigeon. Ah, oh, too bad he didn't actually respond to that. Dodge this. Ah, I can't believe I did it. Dodge it. Oh, there was an extra one that time. You won't get me this time. 
<laughs> Still kicked his butt. Yes, I'm in the US. And I did look up the plane tickets at least. The plane tickets won't be that much. Huh? What am I supposed to do with this? So it looks like we should be able to get a plane there pretty easily at $700 for, for the two tickets. Got it! Oops, wrong button. Hmm. The most expensive thing will probably be getting your stuff here. Oh, yeah. And then potentially in the future, you know, getting a place for yourselves. Mm hmm. Because, like, my parents are fine with you living with us. Just. No more evil doing for you. They're not seeing. I don't think they see it as, like, a permanent. Yeah like forever thing and i didn't think you guys thought it that way either i figured mm -hmm. you know you eventually it's just like li buying a house here can the housing market in canada is especially here in british columbia oh yeah that's why pretty expensive so you might be living with us for an extended period of time yeah that's why when people uh sweet we uh we perfected it first try that's when people. That's why when people uh, are booking a hotel room with me and they're looking for a new place to live, I usually recommend that they book a minimum three months. That way, they've got everything set to go, and that gives them time to find a place. Yeah, but and like my parents have even uh, even offered to like kind of look around at places, just like just they just need to kind of know what you'd be looking for. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would love to have, I, like, if it's between me and Raven, I would love to get, like, a three-bedroom and have one of the bedrooms be specifically for computers and streaming and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like, have a nice big old setup and everything. Do I know Cartoon yeah. Apocalypse? I've never actually uh, spoken to them uh, to him outside of one live stream that I joined in for. Uh, I was pretty active in the chat for that. Uh, and he seemed to enjoy my Ask Kitty Noir comics. Uh, but, like, I'm not close personal friends with him like I am TVC. That's the one that was here on Discord with us before, right? Yep. Okay, good to know. Should we just move on to Weird Dad? Because I'm kind of tired of dealing with Soundwave for a while. Yeah. Oh, I guess it doesn't do really... We, do we get the... Do we 100% the... Uh... Yup. We 100%... Well, we 100% of Mr. Pigeon on Akuma mode. Yeah, that's what I was asking. So, we have 100 percent in both versions... Both versions of his level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we 100 percent him first time around, which was nice. It's cool that the signs are still in French. Mm hmm It's funny because you the sign is in French, but then when you actually click on it to start the level, it says where dad in English. Yeah. But that was probably more out of laziness of them not wanting to switch up the the skin for that. Uh, possibly. You thought the game would be more challenging? Well, to be fair, that was the uh, tutorial level, so I wasn't even, I wasn't really expecting it to be all that hard on uh, even on Akuma mode. But it does get ch more challenging later on. We we died plenty of times. Yep. Okay. Also, I believe I remember there being a map. Let's see here. Okay, so yeah, there is a map right there. So... I'm guessing that flag is where we are at right now. Most likely. It's too bad the map doesn't have little, like, markers being like, hey... You are here. And little markers where it's like... Here, it's like a symbol to mark being like, this is a macaroon spot. This has your name. Oh, yeah. I that would be nice. All day. 
And nothing over here. Oh, yes. Awesome. I did miss this one. Okay. And there's lots of little collectibles everywhere to, to get to. Okay, we gotta get climb the stack of papers here to get these. Uh, oh, oh, that's right. We're supposed to be in like a fairy tale book, basically. No, this is all paperwork. Oh. Tom's been adulting too hard. Oh no, I was thinking when he turned into Where Dad the first time in the Newsflash. show. Oh yeah. That was right very fairy tale ass because he trapped. I'm so glad that's the last time they tell you about the arrows. It's like, yes, we know. You told us about that before. You don't need to say it again every level. So it's like by the time you get annoyed by it, they stop. Bring it on. No pain, no gain. Oh god, are those paperwork mummies? Yup. Is there anything over here that we missed? Doesn't look like it. No, I think that those are there to keep you from going that way. You have to. I also like that this level is at the Sen. Yeah. This is where you first get access to this power, so I think this is like the only level where you have more ladybug uh spots like that than cat noir spots i think i over jumped that last one. Oh, can you go down here yes awesome oh yeah i think we did go down here last time too yep nothing down here whoops All right. Draw this in. Oh, you got a K in there by accident. There's no K in Snorlax. <laughs> now everyone's like, oh, we didn't know we could change our avatars. Let's all change our avatars. Is there a macron down here? Nope. Okay. Practically, I said it to everyone. <laughs> yeah. Just a small sample of my many skills. I'm just too good at this. It's because you got all these power ups, kitty. But again, just please, like, yo, you can boost yourself Three up all you want. Treat. Just please don't kiss your muscles That's again. All you got. When did he do that? In the New York special. Adrian, no. <laughs> Kitty would <and> one. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely a new area. Ah! Whoops. Maybe if we just come up here. Yes! Haha! -ha. It's a whole new s Ah! Awesome! Yes! Now... Just to make sure we didn't miss anything over this way... Oh, there I is a macro on there. Yeah, I see a red one. You saw a red one? Yeah. Down below. I see that green one. You and me. Yeah. And then no pain, you go down. No see? There were two macarons in that. See? I don't see any. No, you just got it. Oh. Yeah, you're not- and or... just- yeah, make sure you're not confusing these for red macrons. Oh no, it was early, you got it earlier. Okay. Alright. Yep, you got- you got the Snorlax. 
you see the new Pokemon that they show today in a short movie like Ref sorry for him. like Rafaii? Uh, I did not yeah. see because they started that after I started my stream. Ah, okay. Thanks to be Pokemon. you! That's all you've got! Yeah, they made a short movie to show a new Pokemon. I don't know its this. name though. I could do this all day. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I almost didn't even one. see it. Oh, there's a ladybug spot. I do remember this. I won't say anything though. About the Pokemon. Oh. Orange one. Gold. Uh, gold. Mm -hmm. Looks more orangish. Well, it's treated like it's gold. It's worth ten. <laughs> okay, you can't climb up there. Gotta face this guy next. Just a small sample of my many skills. Hey! That's How dare you hit me! How dare you? How dare you attack me when my back was turned? It's a coward's move. Okay, let's climb up here. Oh, that looks suspicious. Not seeing uh, anything up there. I think we oh, got this already, actually. Giant pencils. How do you do Pikachu or... Pikachu? Yeah, it's all the same. Oh! Make sure you're not putting extra spaces in. The exclamation mark needs to be, like, right next to... That's too easy. Yeah, there you go. You're, you're a Pikachu. Yep. Okay, he really brought his exclamation mark to okay. another level. Now, where's my Thunderstone? <laughs> yeah, on this channel, all Pikachu are just unevolved Raichus. Now, where's my Thunderstone? Come back here, I need... <gasps> Macron! I need to evolve you. Yes! Got it! Okay. Nope, okay. I remember this spot. I got so stuck trying to get up there, and then I realized that I can do that. <laughs> I, I could just go past it and get up there. Oh, wait, no, this wasn't the spot. It was a little bit further. Oh, there's another one. Awesome. Oh, and a ladybug spot. Awesome. Gotta get up there somehow. There we go. Alright, ladybug. Oh, and... Okay. Oh, wow. Just all sorts of levels here. Oh, okay. Okay. And then that unlocked the gold one at the end. Okay. Nice. This has your name on it. I'm just too good at this. Yeah, the only reason this part seems easy now is because we've gotten Cat Noir leveled up so much. Yeah, this is the part that frustrated me before, because I was like, oh yeah, I just wanted to get up there. And then I didn't and then I realized that I could just come over here and then get up there this way. Well, I thought I saw something just now. There's a super jump spot over there. But I think Thanks that's about it. You. Uh, Monday is the main streaming Jack day, Noir. but we also do stream on Wednesdays as well sometimes. Like, especially if I miss on Monday. Most of the time, actually. Yeah. You rarely 
don't stream Wednesdays. Yeah. Mondays and Wednesdays are my days off. The only reason I'm streaming today is because I took PTO today. This is a whole spot that we never went to. And smash it! Red macaron! Oh, we are so close. I just hope we don't end up getting another situation like with Soundwave where there's one missing and we just can't find it. I don't like those situations. Turn Paris into a corporate wonderland? Not on my watch. But I will say this. I do love that we get to actually uh, see the no see Notre Dame. Mm-hmm. Now, where's Quasimodo? <laughs> probably, could probably play that to uh, the, uh, the the Disney medley of out there and part of your part of your world. Wow, I missed a lot. I'm not sure I want to be dragged into this administrative nightmare with you, big guy. Sorry. I mean, bring it on. You will have to eventually. He's your future father-in-law. Yeah, yeah, nice. Also, there was an orb over here. There we go. Okay, we had to go this route. Okay. But yeah, Ultimate. Adrian has way too much structure in his life as it is. As I said, water break. Water break! Well, I mean, the graphics are nowhere near as bad as the trailers made them out to be. Like, I will die on this hill this is nowhere near as bad as a lot of GameCube games. Like, people are s complaining, Oh, it looks like a GameCube game. No. I will get out my GameCube. It is does not look like a GameCube game. I think it looks pretty good, actually. Yeah. I mean, there are some issues, like certain close-ups don't look all that great. Yeah. I just didn't say it looks perfect or anything, I just said it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It has flaws, everything. Considering it's the very first miraculous game we've gotten, I don't think it's bad. Like I said, I give it a 7 out of- 7.5 out of 10. You know, there's definitely room to improve, but it's not the worst. Heck, if anything, I'm having a lot more fun with this than I did with Chris Tales, which uh, was an indie game that looked beautiful, but there were just so many gameplay issues. It was just way too difficult at times. Ooh, got a cat in our spot. Talk about administrative phobia. <gasps> yes! Gold macaron! Oh, we're at 87. We're so close. Let's see here. Okay, so it really doesn't tell us where we are then. I wish it did. I wish it did tell us where we were, but it doesn't seem to. Also, there's question marks on the map, so it's like... Are we supposed to do something with that? I'm guessing those uh, dotted lines are where we get the, uh, where, are we, where we do the super jumps. But yeah, I wish this Probably. map told us where we are on it. And I think that butterfly is actually 
just telling us where the uh, the villain is. Oh, can't quite get up there. Also, <laughs> there's another Adrian ad. Yay, she's back at it. Okay, so that is a pitfall. Okay. Yeah, and that's got an ad with an outfit that we've never seen Adrian wear. You're in for a treat! No pain, no gain. It's like we've never seen Adrian wear that outfit. Most of the ads have outfits that we've never seen Adrian wear. And it's a shame because it's like, they look really good. Because so far, he's only had four outfits. He's got his regular outfit. Uh, he's got his model outfit. He's got his the white outfit. Okay, no, five. Yeah, he's he's got those three outfits, and then he's got his swimsuit, and then his pajamas. That's it. Okay, anything else over here? There's this. Not see anything there. Okay. Yeah, I really wish this map showed us where we're at, though. Because it doesn't. It doesn't even show where we've been and what we've yet to do. I might try to develop like an like try to put something together. Like try to do that. Like that is another criticism that I have of the game is that the map is not very good. It just shows you a map and then that's it. it doesn't tell you where you're at on it or where anything else is in relevance. like some guidance would be nice this has all right name. there we go I'm just too good at this I am back well come back uh, back Come on, up there. Oh, anything up here? Oh, that's the way we're supposed to go. Okay, so let's go over here first. Uh, nope. There, if there was, we already got it. Nope, nothing there. Okay. I'm actually like leaning over like I like I can actually lean around and fake make the camera move that way. <laughs> I was born can't tell you're experimenting. Oh, with different ma avatars. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to fall for it. That's one of the things that's that I love about it is that there is that you know it's you know just. Like your favorite poke, use use your favorite Pokemon or whichever one you want to use. All right, Ladybug, do your thing. All right, there we go, and back to Cat. Bring it on. And I'm boom, just there we go. Good at this. And oh, Ladybug's got another spot here. Which we weren't able to get to before, so. Oh, and we get a Cat Noir spot on top. Looks like we got another one over there, too. 
So yeah, we've got to actually activate this too to get over there. Okay. All right, and then I'm guessing that gives us like an extra stair or something there. Yup, and that lets us get to these macarons over here. Yes! We need two more macarons and then that's it. They better not be as hard to find as the ones in this. <laughs> in Soundwave. In Soundwave's level. <laughs> Also, I wonder if I can... I kind of want to check the map to see if I could spot where that was just now. Okay, I think I see where we're at. Yeah, because those two question marks on the left-hand side, uh, that's where we were just at, what we just did. So we are almost to the villain. Oh, I thought I saw Macaron. Oh, yes! Good eye. Oh, shoot. Uh. Yes! You're in for we just a need treat. one more. Better yeah, be yeah. nearby. Nice! Okay. Just need one more. We need one more green one. One more. Please be neighbor. Please be nearby. Please. Please don't make me go all the way back. I'm begging you. Oh no. Oh. Okay, that takes us down there. And we can come back up here too. Side takers. Hey you! I smell stinky fur. And it's not me. Your costume isn't even fur. Yeah, costume's leather. Just a small sample of my many skills. One point for Cat Noir. I remember seeing a comment. Someone was like, "Milady, we need to hurry before yep. Paris turns into a giant office." Where Cat Noir is like, "Milady, if if it wasn't me, who would you want?" Which, is there anyone that you would want to be under, yep, to have the cat, uh, Miraculous? And she's like, Adrian Agrest. I'd kill to see him in leather. <laughs> a fan comic? Yeah. <laughs> I'd kill to see him in leather. <laughs> it's like, uh, you already are seeing him in it's leather. It's like, uh, awkward. Don't realize it. <laughs> okay. See, I'm not seeing anything over here, which means we missed something. We missed something. I'm not happy that we missed something. So this is currently the same situation we were in with Soundwave. We're missing one. We're missing one macaron. A couple, a couple, I think, orbs still. It's gotta be, ar it's gotta be around here somewhere. We're at... Oh, no, no, that's actually... The... Okay. Map. Yeah, we're missing two orbs and one macaron. And there... This is does not infuriating. Se... And there does not seem to be anything on the map that indicates where they are. There should be. Okay. So... At the very least, though, I know where we are at right now, so... Let me just backtrack a bit. Whoops. Okay. Oops. This way. Okay. Uh, is there anything down there? Nope. It looks like there should be, but there's not. Okay. Good. Oh! I made it back blind! Okay, so now... 
we are on okay so now we're at those two question marks there so let's see here there is another question mark down there we might not have gotten to yet so let's check that out whoops uh went the wrong way okay there we go ah it's so hard to do this blind Oh my goodness. Cause the camera doesn't rotate. Oh my goodness. Uh okay. There it is. Ah Yes. Ah Okay. Okay, there we go. That's that way. Okay. So, let's see here. So, we're still on those... So, we just passed those papers, I think. Because this should have, like... be sort of a U-shaped. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we came out that way. So, yeah, we need to... Okay, so what? So let's reach the boat, and then I think I know where to go from there. So, so yeah, we're almost back to the boat. Okay. Uh, oh, no, we went the wrong way. Okay. Uh. Okay. Oh, there we go. This piece of paper. This takes us back to the boat. Whoo! Okay. Okay. So, now we're on the boat. Okay, and then there should be... A jump spot here. There we go. And that takes us back to this jump spot. Okay. See you later. Okay. So now, there was another spot over here. It says there's supposed to be a spot to the left. Oh, oh, that doesn't have any colliders on it. We can jump right through it. Okay. So yeah, there should be a s something over here. That we're missing. Okay. So... Yeah, there should be something else over there. We're missing something. Is there something up here? No? Oh my goodness. There was a question mark there. Oh! Oh! We made it up here! <gasps> nice! Yes! Yes! Oh! No, we're not supposed to be up here! This isn't it! Oh! What? Um... Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. What? Oh, I glitched it. Oh boy. 
Oh dear. We glitched the game. You oh, there we go. We, f we found an area we're not supposed to go in, and now we glitched the game. I got it. Oh, I was able to glitch out. Okay. Oh, that was close. Yeah. There's gotta be something over here we're missing. Okay, so yeah, there's the Cat Noir spot we just got. Is that the question mark? That might be the question mark then. But there's three spots there that says we're supposed to be able to interact with them and I'm only seeing the one. Aside from the question mark. There's another yeah. one over by that question mark up there. Oh, uh, okay. Something is definitely curious. Uh... I see the grass here. Okay. Alright, get back on here. And then come up here. Whoo! Okay. And then there. Okay, so that is another question mark right there. That looks too far away, though. Oh, this is so infuriating. So we've already done this question mark. Because I think this is... This might be the straight area. Which means there should be another spot over here. Where they activate their pa where they use their weapons. I think this is the straight in the area. Or in the middle. Whoops. I think this is the straight path that was in the middle of the map. Oh my goodness. Oh, not back there. Ah! No! Stop it! <laughs> You're a cat! You're supposed to be more agile than this! Oh. You would think the cat noir would be like easy mode for this game. Okay. So. That is... No! <gasps> no! Oh my gosh. Um... <laughs> Macaron is the real villain. Oh, the game just crashed. Did we lose all of that? Or is it going to start us back off in the game? Or where we were at? It should be autosave in between. Mm hmm. It should autosave between fights. Oh. <laughs> oh, that hurts. That really hurts. I know that feeling. Oh. oh, that hurts so much. Water break, thank you. Alrighty. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
If you yell water, that means everyone has to drink water. Yep, that's what a water break is. Yep, you just... Don't abuse the power, because you don't want us all having to run to the bathroom constantly. Yes. We don't want to <laughs> be waterlogged. You, but if you... But if you ever once in a while say water break in the chat, we will, we will take be reminded to drink and stay hydrated. It did auto save, but it took us all the way back here. Oh my goodness. Oh, that hurts so much. We will find that room last. Well, at the very least, I think that flag is the start of it. So we could try again. And just make absolutely certain we hit every single one of those points. We're definitely missing something. We're missing two orbs and one macaron. I guess we could also try wear dad to like see if there's like anything in like the boss fight. I still. I don't think there was in any of the other ones. Yeah. It wouldn't make much sense for there to be. No, because the yeah. focus is don't on fighting them. Don't enjoy paperwork. It's what kids your age enjoy the most. You can't even jump Come either. Over here, you munchkins. Tom, you were so wholesome before. What Let's happened? Be here somewhere. Don't tell me paperwork Come isn't what you could. You munchkins. He can't be far. You can't hide forever. Just come over here and smacks Tom. Three smacks and that's it. He's so strong. <laughs> Cat Noir is the best superhero. No question. Ladybug, eat your heart out. Now I'll smell like a wet dog. Found you. I'll get you, you nincompoops. Not an nincompoop. Not a nitwit either. Or halfwit. In an administration ordeal forever. Yeah, not a halfwit Lucky either. Charm! Cat Noir gave Tom a water break. <laughs> <laughs> Shampoo. Noir. Watch and learn, m'lady. Claw it out of the park. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. my eyes! My <laughs> eyes! I can't see a thing! Is that the fine? Did she just tear up a legal document? <laughs> yes, yes, she did. <laughs> As long as nobody steals her lucky charm. Gotcha. Bye bye, little butterfly. Yeah, it'll be alright as long as you know, <laughs> she can do this. Yeah, as long as she can do that, it's fine. It's when hey, somebody going on teleports okay. away with her lucky charm after forcing his after forcing a cataclysm onto his arm. Also, we're so close, so why is there no two star? That's dumb. We're so close. And yet so far. So close, but still so far. Oh, I'm very glad to hear your fever's gone down to 99 degrees. Well, that's very good. Yeah, I do plan on streaming tomorrow as well. More miraculous. Arceus. Right? 
I actually haven't decided yet if I want to play more of this or play Legends Arceus. I kind of don't want to get too drawn back into Legends Arceus. I do, because, like, I just bought this game. I don't want it to be like, oh, just the one time and that's it. Mm hmm But this is one of those games where it seems you can get through it pretty quick. Mm hmm But we might do a challenge run tomorrow. Or maybe we could flip the script and it's not a game stream at all. Yeah, I but I did a poll and people didn't really want the game streams, or the the not nothing. People didn't really want the art streams, so. Well, that's rude. <laughs> this is an art and gaming, ring channel. Thank you very much. <laughs> what time do I usually start? I usually like, it depends on what time I get up, honestly. And and you have to remember. She's in Eastern Standard Time, yep. so it, so you have to take time zones into account. So uh, I'd say what the, the latest you've ever started was like twelve, sometimes 12. one. Yeah, I mean, like twelve. That's, or that's the latest, though. Yeah. yeah. So so for for people in like the usually ten or eleven. Yeah, usually 10 or 11. Um, so for me, if you start around then, that's about 7 or 8, because, you know, 3 hour. Uh, actually, yeah. We, we'll go ahead and do this. Clonica. Yep. Phones and clones. Yeah, it's a double play on words. It's a pawn off of clone, but it's also Chloe. Also, phone, and it makes me think of the Nokia phone. Oh, yep, there we go. Triple play on words. Phones and clones. Clonica. Nokia. So, yeah. Triple play on words. I'm sorry, Kagami. But we have reasons to believe that you're not... Well, exactly yourself. As if. And what makes you say that? You're dirty. Know, it may sound strange, but there seem to have been sightings of people who. That's pretty it. impressive. <laughs> Triple play, uh, play on words. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. Look! Chloe, Chloe, Nokia. Chloe? What happened to you? It's Clonica to you, Alley Cat. Why, Chloe? Why put so much effort into upsetting people all around town? None of this would have ever happened if you had given me the Bee Miraculous in the first place, Ladybug. It's all on you. Snap out of it, Chloe. You're not thinking straight. You've been akumatized! Except that I am akumatized really It's interesting willingly. to see how it plays in co-op. If I find out I tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Hawkmoth can't be trusted in any way! If he granted you such power, it means he's playing you in a bigger game! My father can't be trusted in any way! <laughs> I just enjoy doing what I'm good at. Yeah! <laughs> and what's that? Making innocent people's lives miserable? It was pretty easy, you know. All I needed to do was take pictures of random people. Then I could generate clones and control them from a distance. You should have seen Max's face when he saw his friends tear down his game right in front of him. <laughs> okay, that's enough, Chloe. Yeah, I think a good challenge run. Yeah, I th we might just do challenge runs tomorrow. Oh, I did skip gamer. You're right. What? Oh man, we skipped gamer. <laughs> oh well. We were doing them in order. Not anymore, I guess. Okay, I hope you enjoy your shower. Nice hot showers can be nice. Mhm. Mm Very soothing. <laughs> yep. I took a shower during my break the other day, and I almost didn't get out in time 
uh, to dry myself off and get back on the phone. <laughs> It's weird that we have to fight these oh, allegedly whoops. akumatized people. Nah, get ladybug. Cat. Hi, Luca. Yeah, yeah, nice. Oh wait. All right. Yep. Yeah. Cat in the war spot. We slid a little bit there. It forgot to load. The game forgot to load his running animation. Yeah, I do kind of wish we hadn't messed up the order though, because it it's like, oh yeah, this this one was actually kind of hard. I'm just too good at this. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to check because I think there is a cat noir spot over here that we weren't able to access before. Oh, come on. Oh, maybe we can't get up there then. Okay. Oh, yep. Okay, that's right. Ah! Come on. Come on, cat. There we go. Wow, she erected a giant statue of herself. Yep. That's Her ego's problem. just that big. There's definitely something over there. Try going back again. So I see something up there. Oh, that's what she's swinging on. That's right. Whoops. Again, I don't like that animation. Her yo-yo just shoots out of her hand like that. Spider bug, spider bug. <laughs> does whatever a spider bug does. Can she fly? No, she can't. Even though she's a ladybug. It's down to you and me. I could do this all day. So this, Later. yeah, th yes, this takes place during season three of the show because we get Mayura. Ladybug. Ladybug does whatever her ladybug does. Can she fly? No, she can't. Even though she's a ladybug. <laughs> okay. It uh, would have made a good season finale, actually. Her oh, home's a ladybug. Oh, I saw a macaron, I think. Or was that the, just the satellite? It might have just been the satellite. Bitch. Yeah, it was just the satellite. Okay. Well, there's another platform over here. Okay, nope. Nothing over there. Doesn't hurt to check. Yep. Yeah, I hope you're able to get your copy of the game tomorrow, Dem. Even though we won't be able to play together. Hopefully they. I will take them. Yeah. Is there, I will take them. Is there a multiplayer mode? There is, but it's only I... local. It's not over Wi-Fi. Oh, that's stupid. I didn't check on it though. It says local, but who this. knows? Then again, you don't have online mo that's at the moment, anyways. Yeah. 
so it oh, wouldn't change oh, anything. Beers? Flashing phones and bling? Who would want that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I forgot about this part. Yes. We can absolutely get in through here now. <gasps> We're at 49 macarons already. Nice. And oh, but we've got a there's out of a hundred. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, so we are at that bottom question mark down there. Okay. All right. Oh, there's an orb over there that we missed. All right. You have that cough, uh, as if you have a frog in your throat and you're sick. Uh. You're sick too? I, mean, I guess it is that time of year. Yeah, I know we got this up here. We are inching our way ever closer to November. Yup. Yeah, me and Raven, our sinuses have been going crazy. Bad Kagami. Just too good at this. No throwing stars. And there's that that ad. <laughs> the one that appears all the time is the. Although his jacket looks kind of weird in this one. Like I could see Adriana wearing that jacket. His, cause the the jacket is shorter, and this and this even the sleeves are look a bit shorter. Like that looks like Adriana's jacket. <laughs> Adrian, did you steal your sister's jacket? <laughs> what? <Just did. laughs> Wait, show it again? I just noticed how short his jacket is in this picture. Like, age, even the sleeves are look shorter. Like, Adrian, did you steal your sister's jacket? Okay, I'm glad to hear you're back down to 98.2. That's good that your medicine is working. I think he stole his sister's jacket in a universe where she doesn't exist. It sure looks different. It doesn't have the stripes. It was just looked like it was pure black. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's another one. Okay. Oh, okay. Macarons all the way over there. Ah! Ladybug, get back up there. Ah! I didn't jump far enough that time. Oh my gosh. There we go. Now I need to figure out how to get that. Ah! Yes! Oh, we got close enough. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Okay, that doesn't have anything on top of it, so we're good there. Oh, there's Kagami. I think we've got to go that way. I don't think there's anything else over here. Let me just reference the map real quick. So... Okay, we're at the end of that street there. So we're about to do some more platforms and there's going to be another uh, action mark on the left-hand side for us to hit. Okay. So let's go deal with Kagami. How hard is it to find macrons? I could do this all day. We've got two areas that we still that we're missing one and that's it. That's a wrap. Oh, there's another ladybug spot. All right, we've done this one. Okay, this is to traverse the area. It's 
Yeah, and there doesn't seem to be anything else over here. Nope, okay. Oh, I thought that was moving for a minute there. Oh, there's an Normally orb down there. I'd say this is all an illusion, but an illusion I can walk on? Okay, here we go. Alright. Then we would have come this way anyways. Uh, and... Did we hit that? I, yeah, we did. That was the ladybug spot that we just hit. So... Okay. So now we're over coming this way. Born ready. Imagine if the macarons you're missing are in the obvious spots. Uh -huh. That's how it's done. I'd be so mad. I'll be so mad when we finally find them and be like, oh my gosh. That should have been so easy. Nah. Got it. Okay. Luca! I don't have time for this! I'm just Here we too go. good at this. <laughs> Bless you. Okay. Thank you. So there's another ladybug spot. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, so we are in the we are on the left hand side of the map now. Which means that the next spot is gonna be a super jump. Alright, get Ladybug here. And there we go. And we draw this, pull this in closer. There we go. Now switch back to Cat. Ah! Oh, Frel. Oh yeah, I remember this now. We had to deal with this last time too. We had to we still have to switch back to Ladybug just to get back up here. No, ah! whoo, that was close. So we're back over here now. This is another Ladybug spot where we've got to pull this to us. And then we gotta pull that last one up so that we can hop over to this super jump spot. And that's going to be that super jump spot right there. Alright. Oops. I wonder if we could have actually made that. Wait. Oh my gosh, what? That just- what? I guess there must have been something over there that we got- okay. So we don't actually need to go over there anymore. Actually, can we land on those roofs there? Probably not, but... Nope. Okay. And that's just the circuit board. Okay. And there is a jump spot right there, too. I think I just saw an orb on the right there. Yeah, yeah, nice. This has gotten to be so much easier. Okay, I was wrong about seeing an orb over here then. So no, nothing up there. Nope. Okay. I imagine the sewer probably has a lot of stuff we haven't hit yet, even though we had all our power-ups going in there. 
Just because that was such a big level. Like, that was crazy big. Okay. I do remember that from before. So that is that spot right there on the road there. Okay. So looks like there's something else in the middle there we can that we need to investigate. Okay. I thought I saw something, but it's just steam. Hey, we managed to get up there. Oh! Pff. There's a... Ha! Okay. That, uh, that, that potted plant down there. It's got an interesting draw distance. Okay. And then there's this up here. Yeah, I pre- Oh, yeah, there's nothing actually up here. Like, there's a bridge here, but you- th Which you'd think we could access, but nope. We can't actually do anything there. And I do remember... Going over there, and getting the thing that was over there. I don't think you can land on the scaffolding. No, nope. okay. Ha! I landed outside the the railing. And nope, you can't even go on that little roof there. Okay. I will say this though, challenge runs are going to be on different save files, because this is going to be the one that we want 100%. Uh. Maybe you, on one of those you power up Ladybug instead of Shanoa. Uh, on the uh, Ladybug only run, we'll do that. Well, at least once, huh? Yep. Okay, so that was the super jump spot. And it looks like there's two more question mark spots up coming up. Alright. And... Oh, we can't actually... go to that part. Okay, interesting. But this one does. And we confirmed there wasn't anything down here. Even though you'd think this would be a really good place to hide something. Although I think I accessed that from down below last time, so... Let's do this from over here. Nope, okay. And we get Luca over here. I could do this all day. He could do this all day. But he doesn't have That's time for that. <laughs> Alright, have a good night. Go? Sleep well. I hope you I hope you stay feeling better tomorrow. I'm glad your fever broke. Okay, let's see here. Anything else over here? Just some stuff. Okay. Not really seeing anything. Okay. All looks pretty lo uh, pretty done. All right. Yep. Oh, right. This thing. We can smash this thing. Cat no more smash. Get a red <gasps> macaron. 
64 out of 100. Hey. Nintendo 64. Oh, oh look, an orb. Yes! Mine! We already got this one that was on top of the fountain. Phones and mirrors. I got this. One point for Cat Noir. Yes. I imagine that once we upgrade our base damage. We'll hopefully be able to one-shot those guys. I know there's also one other spot around here that Cat Noir can smash into to get an another red uh, macaron. Alright, looks like that's it. So let's go ahead and super jump over the wall here. Okay, and all right, and there we go. Anything? There's definitely something up here. But I think we might have already gotten whatever was up here. Yeah. Also, another Chloe statue. How many statues does this girl need? Yes. <laughs> the answer to your question, Fish? Yes. Okay, I see where we're at now. So there should be another uh, spot coming up in a bit here. Oh, there we go. Okay, but we would have already activated this one. Oh, but we didn't get this! Also, I landed on the button! That's hilarious. I landed on the button. <laughs> oh yeah, this is some really good background music. And then the background music stops as soon as we compliment it. It's shy. <laughs> it's like fish when you tell him he has a cute sneeze. And then he makes that super cute sound. Oh, did we come up here before? We did not. Awesome. Yes! Gold Macaron! We're at 75 now. Nice. Okay. We're so close. Okay, we can come back up here with these... Uh, ...landings. And nothing down here, so we already came down here. I thought this looked familiar. Okay. Oh, and there's a ladybug point right there. Oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, cause we- there was stuff down there and then we had to use ladybug to get back up. So, we can ignore that one. Alright, where are we right now? Let's see here. Okay, there's another point coming up in a bit here. Alright, and I know there's at least one other red macaron coming up soon too. Okay. 
Okay, well that leads up there. So is there anything else up here? Oh! Cat Noir, button press. And then Ladybug. Ladybug swing. Oh, that, sorry, I remember that. Yep. I remember getting that orb there. Okay. Orb. 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 Mine. Mine. <laughs> uh, does anybody have a tip to defeat Gamer? Uh, shoot. I remember we had a little bit of trouble with Gamer too. I could do this all day. Ah, uh, shoot. Now I can't remember how we beat Gamer. Uh, once we finish up in here, we'll go back to do it. Gamer. Because I remember we did struggle a bit with Gamer. That was when things started to get a little bit tougher. Because I don't remember. I mean, you can always scroll back through the was through the stream ready. for when we beat Gamer. No pain, no gain. I forget if there was a lot of dodging involved or not. I know there's lots of dodging involved with Mayura. Okay. You know, I remember this exact spot in Mr. Pigeon, too. So, yeah, hey, I... Something interesting. In yeah, Pokemon, I... you don't want them to dodge you, but here you dodge everyone. Yes. Yep. Gohan's training with Mr. Piccolo wound up being useful. Mr. Piccolo. Dodge! Thanks to be you. Oh, a Tom Club. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, nice. look, I almost hit me because I got stuck on the fence there. Orb. 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 Oh, Orb. I remember this part. Yeah, because we got stuck here and we were like, oh, yeah, I'll come back for those orbs. And then we never went back for these orbs. At least I shouldn't get stuck here uh, this time. There's a button on the menu in Heroes. Ack. Nah. No. No throwing stars. You're not a ninja. One point for Cat Noir. Oh, that was so much easier. Last time we died so many times to the to that group. Ah, uh, good times. Not. Yeah. I said not. Nothing over here. Okay. Just a whole lot of nothing. Okay. Yeah. So we already That's got a lot of the stuff. Thing. Let's go. Now we're coming back here with all these extra power ups, and we probably should go see Master Fu after this. Oh! Lots of power-ups! Okay. Er, lots of orbs. Orb. 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 Oh, and I think that's a red macaron. Yes. Or a gold one. Yes! Gold! Cat Noir smash! Cat Noir smash! Fifteen left. More orbs. Orb. 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 What's with you and the orb? <laughs> orb. Orb. It became fun. Orb. Orb. Interesting. Wait, wait, orb. Orb. 
Any more orbs? Orb. 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 I mean, to be fair, it's a long stream. Don't, 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 uh, and don't insult yourself. Yeah, we're almost done with this level, so... We'll, How many are there? we'll go back and do Gamer again in a little bit. That's all you've got. How long are you planning on streaming for? Uh, I think the Gamer one is going to be the last one for tonight. I don't feel like going back down into the sewers. That one takes so long. Well, because I'm like, it's... Yeah. It's like seven, and almost eight. It's like almost eight your time. Yep. You did what, Queen Bee? Oh wow, Chloe yeah, already. So yeah, we definitely missed some stuff. My feline sense doesn't work on them. I can't tell which is the real Clonica. How many are there? Hey, I managed to dodge what? that. Ridiculous! Utterly ridiculous! Stop with the f I don't have time for this. All right. Got her. Cataclysm! Don't <laughs> cataclysm a person. Don't use cataclysm on a person. Especially I not your friend Chloe. With your superpowers. Not so fast, Clonica. Why not? It's Chloe. <laughs> because it hurts his soul. <laughs> then let me do it. Ugh, you're so going to pay for this! What's with the bell around your neck, Cat Noir? Should I call you Cal Noir? <laughs> Wrong bell type. Wrong kind of bell. It's a cat bell. Cows it's are a round the little kitty bell. If it were a cow bell, it would be more square Palmer. shaped. Yes. Right! Lucky Charm! Lucky Charm! Oh no, we've already beaten the game for the most part. Right. We're just we're going stuck. back and redoing stuff. Yeah, we're just stuck on one part, and we're thinking that you have to 100% the rest of the game to finish the extra part. Return to sender. Third time we've gotten a mirror in this show. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. Break the phone. Smash. No now, just thinking of Alia's line when uh, Monarch broke her phone. Hey, that's censorship. Time to de evilize Like every time her phone gets gotcha. snatched from her. Bye, bye, little butterfly. So there's this Miraculous part at the end butterfly. after you beat the game, where Alia tells you tells Marinette to go visit Adrian at his house. But then the game tells you to keep, to just talk to Mar to Alia, and Alia tells you to go to Adrian's. And you go to Adrian's, and nothing happens. Natalie's out front, but you can't really talk to her. I understand why I was reluctant to give you the bee miraculous? Ridiculous! Utterly ridiculous! Monarch owes her the I the iPhone 14 the Pro Max. <sighs> wretched ladybug, wretched Chloe. Hey, what about Cat Noir? He's the one who actually beat her. <gasps> what is that? Go hide, Chloe. It's not safe. Hey, you don't tell me what to do, Ladybug. Yeah, that part doesn't really look good with her eyeshadow. It's like the eyeshadow is like really smeared and everything. That looks not good. <laughs> and yeah, the the caterpillar is super pixelated. Like they really needed to polish that part. Like, oh, like the graphics in this game aren't that bad, but that specifically, it's super pixelated and it doesn't look good. Also, water yeah. break. Alrighty. Your yo-yo got stuck? Oh, goodness. 
Yeah, we've tried reloading the area. We've tried exiting out. But yeah, it says talk to Alia. And talking to Alia doesn't progress the story. You know what to do. A Adrian's heading home. Quick. It's all she says, and then it's like, mm -hmm. but the prompt doesn't change. It just stays. Talk to Alia. One last thing. Congratulations, you saved Paris from the Sphinx menace. Still, it looks like Marinette needs to go through one last thing. As usual, Ollie is here to fill you in. So you go over to talk to Alia. And nothing happens. You, you, you press the interact and she's like, you know what to do. Adrian's heading home. Quick. So you're like, okay, you'll intercept Adrian on the way home. But we also play as Adrian. And Adrian can't even talk to Alia. I love that Maison Marinette. It's like, oh yeah, it's Marinette's house. But, like, um, Marinette's house is not a national landmark. Marinette's house, it's like, it'd be one thing if it was, like, listing the bakery, because, like, their house is attached to the... Yeah. Like, they even just call it, just call it bakery. Alright. Boost these two. And now, aside from the energy, which we don't really use, Cat Noir is basically maxed out. Alright, thanks, Master Fu. Marinette's house is all pixelated on the Xbox. Yeah, there's, like, no mini-quests or anything to do, which is a shame. Like, you can go around and talk to people, which is cool. But it'd be cool if, like, the NPCs could, like, be like, Hey, can you help me with this? Or, like, mm -hmm. I need you to bring me this item. I need you to go on a fetch quest for, for like, me. Like, it'd be... Yeah, or... I, it's, like... It'd be nice if, like... There was more post-game stuff to do, like, after you finish the main storyline. Mm-hmm. Also, Roger. Uh, the, the Paris Police Department aced it once again, Marinette. As always, no! Lady Lucky <laughs> Cat Noir saved the day! Like, what, when have the police ever actually helped? You have actually become a hindrance multiple times and had to have v your, and have to be saved. For at both. least this guy's like, for a minute there, I thought, thank goodness, Lady, but like, at least that one, that guy's like, acknowledging mm -hmm. that Ladybug was doing. I thought everything was over, but then Ladybug and Cat Noir arrived. Thank you! Thank you for acknowledging his hard work. Police didn't show the best satin shielding either. Ladybug and Cat Noir have really outdone themselves back there. Yep. Oh, and. Oh, I guess I can't talk to her. Okay. Vincent. I like to think that the rally is what gave Ladybug the upper hand to beat that beast. Yeah, it definitely did help. It gave her back her confidence. Also, I know this is a background NPC, but the fact that we're seeing her from the back, like, for some reason she's reminding me of Sonomi. Oh, for me. Yeah, the Toyo's outfit. mom. Yeah. yeah. It's the outfit. That business, it's the business lady mm -hmm. outfit. Yeah. And the oh, was that that rally that was in support of Ladybug? Yeah, <laughs> like you said, when have they ever, when have the police ever been helpful? That's the thing in like, I feel like that's the downside to like superhero stuff is like, you know, superheroes are vigilante justice. So, like, the police in the show, in, like, shows and comics about superheroes, 
end up being either incompetent or, like, depicted as being, like, incredibly corrupt. There's very few, there, I mean, there's, like, a few instances where you have, like, someone on the police force working together with the superhero, like you have in Batman, you have Commissioner Gordon, and he actually does work with Batman. Oops. Wrong way. He's trying to go down to but the like, sand. The police can't be shown as competent, because if the police were competent, we there wouldn't need the superheroes. I completely forgot where this oh. was at. My uh, game, uh, my rules. Even if they're, uh, um, capable, they're not even, they're not capable of doing what the superheroes can do. Yeah, Adrian mm -hmm. can't continue the story at all. The only time Adrian can ever continue the story is during the gamer arc, and that's it. Yeah, the devs really hated him. <laughs> they gave Cat Noir plenty to do, but Adrian, yeah, no, not really. There's a lot of Marinette bias in the city. Oh, looks like Leo's getting a little frisky. He want to play. Yeah, they did him dirty. Hi, monkey. Oh, I still need to post that video that I took, too. What of... Uh, Leo? No. I took a video while we were at Meyer because I was—I've been looking for a Lady Noir doll because I really want to customize it into Kitty Noir. And uh, I was looking at the dolls, didn't see Lady Noir, but I saw two uh, Cat Noir dolls because there's like a—you know—the regular Cat Noir doll, and then there's also this Adrian sequin doll that, like, you know, the, those flip sequins uh, mm -hmm. where you can switch the the picture and stuff. Well, they've got these uh, Marinette and Adrian dolls with the flip sequins that can you can flip the sequins to make them look like Ladybug and Cat Noir. And the the flip sequin one had Adrian's uh, scoleras. Like it looked like they painted his scoleras green, and then they repainted them white, but then didn't completely fill everything in. So they so it he's looks like he's wearing green eyeliner. Game. We should prepare for anything. And then the Cat Noir one, his eye, one of his eyes is com is facing the completely di different direction. So his eyes are, so he's basically pulling a derpy. <laughs> they did him so dirty. I, I have been half. I I am like. I watch a lot of doll customizers, but I've never had the confidence to try and do it myself because I'm not an artist. But I would totally buy, like, um, an aerial doll and, and just turn keep it, it so that, and turn it in, yeah. You, like, keep it, keep it in stock and wait for, for you to, <laughs> until you get here and then. Because we could get some fat, like, because they have the ones where, like, they have this, the fabric tail where you can slip, like, under, Ariel has legs underneath and you can just slip the tail on and off. Mm-hmm. So, like, um, we could use fabric paint to just recolor the tail. Already. Not going to fall for it. I love though the sound I think effects in this the, one. Though I don't know if the seashells for, like, I know it's just some of the more expensive, like, special doll like special release dolls from like the disney designer collection which are you know like they only make a limited number and they're like thanks to be you they're That's like high at, high end fashion dolls and like they've collaborated with like like actual fashion designers on like the, the, the outfits and stuff and the look of the doll mm -hmm. those ones i think have like removable shells but I think just the standard aerial dolls that you'd find at, like, Walmart. You can I always think, shave it I off with an exacto knife. Yeah, they just have, like, the sculpted shells. Mm-hmm. Nice place to set up house. Wait, was that a mirror? 
Oh, no, they're mirrored windows, but still. Oh, and it's not actually... Oh, that's a shame. It's... It's showing you the background, but if a character goes in front of it, they don't appear. I think there's actually... Uh... Some, a, a picture, like, so, stuff behind that, and you're seeing through it. Mm. And that might be why it's not actually reflecting anything. Because it looks like you're seeing through to the ground. Yeah. It might be a glitch. Because that does not, like, it does not look like it's reflecting the trees. And... Alright. Yep, I am. Okay, was there anything else in here? I know we got a macaron in here, but... You know what? I'm just gonna jump on all of these platforms to make sure we don't miss anything. This is going to take some concentration. Oh. Oh, okay. That's actually a safe one. Okay. Interesting that there's actually some safe ones. Okay, so we got everything that was in there. Yeah, he does. Cat Noir is a vampire. <laughs> oh, he has no reflection. Oh my god. Someone actually posted a comment uh, when I, because I posted a community post uh, with a preview of this model, and uh, someone made a comment <laughs> saying, "It looks like you drew female Batman." And I'm like. That's too easy. It's supposed to be me with the cat miraculous. It's like, mm, it see does, the it... bell? No, I don't see it. Female bell. No. But that also kind of reminded me. Ooh. This, we haven't been over here. That also kind of reminded me of. Uh. The show. Hmm. Uh, cause there's this episode where Master Fu gets akumatized after he's been, uh, after he's no longer the Guardian and doesn't remember who they are. But, uh, he keeps calling Cat Noir a wingless bat. And that just kind of kept, kind of reminded me of that. Of <laughs> Cat Noir being called a wingless bat. I am not a wingless bat! Eck. It's time I can. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. There. Ah! Can I just double jump back to the start point? Yes! Okay. So you know what? That works. Okay. So yeah, we just completely missed this area last time. How aren't I struggling with the controllers? Uh... I mean, it's not the controllers that's really an issue. For one thing, uh... I haven't had any Joy-Con drift with these- with these Joy-Cons, so... We're at least good with that. But... I- like, I'm not good with platformers! <laughs> so I do kind of struggle on the platforming side of everything. We managed to do all this stuff pretty well uh, the first time around. Okay, I do remember there was one place out here that we were able to access, but we failed it last time, so... Okay. All right, and there we go. No! Oh, we 
failed it again. No. We can't do that again until we come back. You're in for a treat. Oh my goodness. One point for Cat Noir. Have a good night, Dino Coffee. Yes. Uh, speaking of which, water break. Alrighty. My platforming is good. Well, thank you. I feel like I'm not good. Like, I've, I've never really been that great at platformers. This way I don't play Mario. Even though I do have some Mario games. It's a me. I got Mario Sunshine thinking that I would give it a chance. And Just then small sample of I had Joy-Con Drift. And I I'm rage quit because Mario this. kept committing suicide. He'd just go, Hoobie! Right up the side. Because, like, this is actually a good place to uh, to demonstrate. Because, like, I would be on this, uh, the scaffolding, and, you know, like, a like, little tight, tight walk, and then all of a sudden Mario goes, Yup! Like, can you imagine just, you know, you know, you're trying to be very careful, and then all of a sudden, the character just goes, Yup! That was so infuriating that I just rage quit. You're like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. Okay, we got a lot of stuff over here, too, that we missed out on the first time. Alright, got it. And Down to you and me. Oh, hello, gamer. One point for Cat Noir. Uh, okay, so this is the way we're supposed to go. Born ready. So we've just got to go back. Not going to fall for it. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, and here we go. Could have made a fighting game like the Gamer 2.0 episode. That would have also been really fun. Like... Hopefully, if this game does well, we might actually get a fighting game. That would be really cool. Yeah. Like, you're clearly okay enough- like, the sensors are okay with a fighting game for an episode, so... Well... Okay. So why not an actual fighting game? Okay, we must have gotten what was our over here already. Oh, no, never mind. We did not get what was over here. Oh, okay. Were we over here before? Oh, uh, this is not active. Okay. Oh, we almost fell again. Oh, is that? Oh no, that was just the lamppost. Dang it. Okay. And this we've already done, so okay. So we basically just went back. And... Okay. Did we go this way before? Well, I do see... Oh my goodness. I do see that over there. Oh, I think that's a smash point though, so... Just a small <laughs> sample of mine. One point for Cat Noir. <laughs> this, this is just is another example of mine. One, one point, point for Cat Noir. Noir. <laughs> just a small sample of my one point for Cat Noir. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that, that's funny. Okay, so now we can move on. So we got that red macaron. Okay. The gamer 3.0 fight reminds you of Mario 2D. Open sesame. 
Oh yeah, I forgot he was he he started saying this too. Alright, and here we go with another vortex. Okay. Now I do remember that we beat the plat <laughs> that we actually outsmarted the platformer last time. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Oh, I hated this. Oh, this is where you start questioning whether or not I actually am good at platformers. <sighs> ah! Okay. Yeah! <gasps> Alright, come up here to cheese it. No! <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the part that was difficult. This part. Ah! This part! I hate this part right here. All of my hate! You can't wait to get Ultimate Edition. You'll get gladly play as Cat Blong. It's the only costume he gets! Really? But he's had several different... Ladybug gets a whole brand new costume specifically for this game. And he just gets... He just Cat gets Cat Blong. Oh! I wanted to <laughs> fall. I wanted to fall because then we would have landed back up there. You should get three at least. Yeah. It's like you're having to pay for it. They should give you three skins for each of them. Yeah. Like, yes, his suit is perfect, but... That doesn't mean that she can't give him something more. No. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, finally. Yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you. It's over. It's over! Oh my gosh, thank you! I hate this part! Uh, a new s cap long, a new suit, and a shiny version like Ladybug. And then she'd get a Princess Justice one as her third. We don't have an official Princess Justice, but I do have my own Princess Omori, which is Marinette Akumatized from my fanfiction. Uh, miraculous tales of love and war. I love how we fell, but we still landed on the platform. Nah. Also, these feel like they should, like you should spin around on these. You spin me right around. <laughs> you spin me right around, kitty. Right around, kitty. Okay, so we can't actually go that way. Okay. We have to go this way I got this. and fight these guys. That's all you've got. Okay, it's telling us to go that way, so we need to break this and get everything that's over here. Okay. Orb. 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 I almost fell. I'm the fastest cat Oh, thank alive. you. Did he say he was the fastest cat alive? Because I love that. No! Oh! I'm the fastest cat alive. Oh, I almost fell again. Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> yes! Gold one, we've got 15 left. Okay, nothing down here. Uh, oh! 
Nope, nothing up here. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's a little scary. Okay. He's like, I'm- I am afraid of what I can't see. Because I know that what I can't see could very well be a pit trap. Don't know why Xbox One is so pixelated. Hopefully we'll get a patch for that soon. Because there are some areas in this game that are pretty pixelated too, like the caterpillar. I heard people saying it, the game looks the best on like PC and the and the um uh PS versions. Yes. But the Switch let me pre-order it for 40 bucks. Mm hmm Here comes a new challenger. Yeah, the Switch let me pre-order it at 20% off. Favorite, Ladybug's secret crush, Cat Noir. <laughs> I mean, in season five, he's not wrong. Wait, was that? No, okay, it wasn't. I thought I saw an orb, but it was just the green lights. Oh, yeah. And we can't activate this yet because we need to do the vortex first. Alright. This one... I... is... Is this the part that uh, you're... Born ready. Oh yeah, I do remember having trouble with this part. Uh, if you have trouble with this part, the trick is to constantly switch targets. Because then you can stun them. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Just interrupt our yeah. actions. I should be extra careful. No! Ladybug! This on yourself, Ladybug and oh. Although I didn't think This is the part. Okay, so yeah, the trick is to constantly switch targets. And also to try and get not get ganged up on. <laughs> Cause that's what just got me killed just now. Also the fact that Ladybug can't one shot stuff like Cat Noir can. <laughs> Cause he's got all the power-ups. It's just your fault. You're oh. the one who didn't give Ladybug any power up. That's because I want to do a challenge run beating all the Akuma levels with with late without any power ups. You crazy? That's an excuse. You didn't even know about Akuma mode until you actually unlocked one. <laughs> Ladybug. Ladybug no. died. <laughs> Ladybug died. It's Cat Noir's turn. You had your against lady, but you died. <laughs> Move aside, it's the cat's turn. Just a small sample of my many skills. Ah, also dodging. Dodge roll works too. Nah. Why didn't you dodge? Yeah, these guys with the rugby uh, shoulder pads. Those should be your main focus. Because they're the ones that charge at you. They're the really dangerous ones. No pain, no gain. Yeah, you see how I stunned that big guy and then I moved on to the other guy? Because he can't attack you while he's stunned. You can also go back to other parts too, since you've got some power-ups and look for more orbs. So you could just, you know, increase your uh, your health and attack. Yeah, I agree. If one hero goes down, it should automatically switch to the other. Because once one is down, the mission can't be completed. 
if you think about it. So we need both the Cataclysm and, and the, lucky, the lucky Charm. Yep. Alright, here we go. Like Mario Odyssey, you should take the shake the Joy-Con, causing a spin, hitting everyone with your tail as Cat Noir. Turn Paris into a video game? Really? Paris, the video game. I mean, you love video games, Cat Noir. Yeah, but I don't know how fun living in one would be. True. That would bring full, full, like, a whole new meaning to, if you die in the game... You die in you real die life. Real, if you die in the game, you die for real. Oh, and there's a ladybug spot. Oh, and... Oh, okay. It's this one. So we might have done this already. Yeah, it's actually telling us to go this way. Oh! Snap! Yeah. Cat noise. Cat noises. Okay, so yeah, we can't go that way. Okay, so we have to go this way. Okay. And there's no other way to go. Also, I love the sound effects when you walk on these things. I don't have time for this! That's how it's done! Good job, kitty. Eh. Oh, right, I do remember that. Okay. Yeah, I know we got that stuff over there, because I definitely remember doing all that. Eh. Couldn't you have started me back on this one? How many are there? That's too easy. I was born ready. I could do this all day. All right. I just realized I don't think we really heard him say I don't have time for this for a while. Maybe he's got time now. That was still fun earlier. I don't have time for this. I could do this all day. He blows Which one, one is DLC. it? Okay, I do remember going the right path last time, so let's go with the left. I don't want to have the order reversed. I could do this all day. I don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> ah! No! Oh! Okay, at least that time it put me on this platform. In the middle here. It's like, thank you. Oh. This is the part that I remember cheesing. Because you just go over to there. Black people say cheese. <laughs> ah! One more time, and then we're... Cheesing it. Okay, there we go. Alright, and... Got it! Mwahahaha! Mwahahaha! I got it! <laughs> that one last time- that one more time was the trick! Okay. Oh, and this guy again. I got this. Nope. And that's a wrap. You are not throwing stars at me. Nope, nope, nope. Ooh, yes, green macaron. Oh, and another one. So we clearly did not come back over here because there's three macarons over here. 
Nice. They just gave Mari and Ladybug more stuff to do. Yeah. Well, I feel like the I feel like the uh, the the those spots where you use their powers are are evenly balanced. It's just the city stuff is not. Like Cat Noir and Ladybug are balanced, but Marinette and Adrian are not. You're in for a treat. Yeah, yeah, nice. Why does everyone like Marinette more than Adrian? Not everyone. Developers of this game sure did. Yeah. The game and show devs prefer Marinette over Adrian. But fortunately, the worst offender of that is already gone. That's unexpected. And will no longer have any influence after season 5. What did Glaciator turn people into? Ice cream. I don't remember getting that question last time. What did Princess Fragrance oh. wield? A perfume gun. That one I do remember, but it was er later on, so I guess these are randomized. What happened when the Sapotees ate? They multiplied. They turned into food. Who did Reflecta and Reflectall fight against? Ooh, that is a new question. Lady Noir and Mr. Bug. Oh, I can't wait to see those two again. Unfortunately, we don't get a real transformation sequence. Nope. I'm really looking forward to that episode, though, because that's also going to be the one where Natalie gets akumatized. What was the name of the slimy monster that fed off fear? Ooh, Horrificator. That was Milen. That adds to the replay value. I'm glad that they changed the questions. What did Reverser used to get around on? Giant paper airplane. And this is the whole gamer fight. What did We're just party doing a quiz game. Yep. What did Party Crasher's hands look like? Disco balls. Yep. That was the one that had the focus on the boys. And then Marinette had to crash it. How did Zombie Zoo infect her victims? Kissing them. Kisu. Kisses. <laughs> that was the episode that really made it look like Chloe was actually going to get a, a redemption arc because she actually apologized of her own volition. It was like, oh my gosh, Chloe did something good without anyone telling her she needed to. She recognized that she did something wrong. Which holiday couldn't Christmaster wait for me? Christmas. It's in the same. Christmas. Christmaster. Yep. Valentine's Day. Uh, Halloween. Halloween's coming up. And for the last question, what lucky charm did Ladybug use against Pixelator? What? All right, I'm drawing a blank here. How am I supposed to remember every lucky charm I used? Any ideas, Cat Noir? No, but how about we take a selfie with that pocket camera you got for your lucky charm? Don't you want to see ourselves in a vintage style romance? Ugh, you mean you want to see how you look on a vintage photo? Why not use a mirror? Stop flirting, you two. I'm still here, you know. Unless... a mirror? Hey, I remember now. My lucky charm when we defeated Pixelator was a pocket mirror. Thank you, Cat Noir. I wouldn't have made it without you babbling around. But... I didn't do anything. You did everything! You answered all the questions! You fought all the villains! You well, did- Only because you were playing as him. <laughs> Still, you did everything! A pocket mirror is- The answer is correct! No! <laughs> Game over, gamer. System failure? No, this can't be- I'll kind of the most anticlimactic boss system. fight. Game no! over. Ah! It shrinks down to a normal size controller. 
That's gonna hurt your thigh doing that. You, I'm pretty sure a game controller would not be that easy to break. Well, I mean, she does have super strength, but still. Because the power, because the gotcha. super suits do give them uh, extra strength and durability. Mm -hmm. Like they are actually invulnerable in those costumes. So even though I say that has to hurt, she didn't feel anything. Well, where am I? Found it. Found it. Also, they they even cut off Max saying, "Where am I?" Because it's like, "Where am I?" Pound it. It's like, nope, quick, we gotta we gotta do the pound it. We don't have time to ask where they are. It's like, nope, we gotta do the pound it. That's it. That pacing is definitely off. I wish they would fix it. Well, I think that was the last level for today. Yeah, it's almost night well, it's not quite almost nine o'clock yet, but it is definitely getting there. And uh I got two hours of sleep last night. So Oof. <laughs> So yeah, we should probably go ahead and end it here. Uh, I hope that was at least enough for you to be able to see how to do that. Who is the hardest villain, in my opinion? Sphinx. We died so much against Sphinx. Well, Sphinx and Myura, they were both pretty hard. But uh, we're going to go ahead and end the stream here. Uh, we'll try to stream again tomorrow as well. So I hope you guys look forward to that. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I hope you all have a very magical day.